It's the Bob and Tom Show. I wrote this song about my dad. Uh, we didn't see him a lot as a kid. He traveled quite a bit. <laughs> we hated to see him go. Matter of fact, everybody in the house hated to see Daddy go. <laughs> so I wrote the song about him. It's called Daddy, Please Don't Go. Don't make me go in there. <laughs> I was just passing by. I don't want to go in there. Because I know if I take just one whiff, I'll die. Because <laughs> daddy's been in there. <laughs> He took the paper along <laughs> And he's been in there for hours And for a while Mom and I was sure that something was wrong But he said he was reading <laughs> But I think something's amiss <laughs> Cause if my dad was just reading Then how in the hell Could our bathroom ever smell like this? <laughs> Daddy, please don't go <laughs> Daddy, please don't go Daddy, before you go into your trance, <laughs> give the rest of the family a chance <laughs> to go before you go. <laughs> before go. <laughs> now the wallpaper's peeling. The fumes are out in the hall. They just bounced off of the ceiling and flew up my nose and just flattened me against the wall. Sing, you know the words, damn it. Daddy, please don't go. That's right, sing at home. <laughs> Daddy, please don't go. God bless you all. <laughs> Daddy, before you go into your trance, give the rest of the family a chance <laughs> to get in there before you go. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, before you go, <laughs> you smelly old soul. Daddy, please don't. Uh, fire in the hole! <laughs> <Go>. <laughs> Josh told us yesterday that uh, man's story of his father having a crud. <laughs> mm. <laughs> there in the smallest room in the house. Hello, it's the Bob and Tom Show. Did I say Bob and Tom Show? I, I, that's what I meant. There's Christy Lee at the Hello, news desk. There's Pat Godwin. Hey there, Chick. Hey there. There's Josh Arnold. Chick. There's Ace Cosby. Gee. Got that uh, joke of the day ready to go. Maybe an early uh, really shot wait, wait, of the wait, wait, Am I getting this? Uh, you're requesting the Ace Cosby joke of the day? I, I lost <laughs> all will to live. I'm Chick, and here's uh, here's Tom at this point. Has there ever been a uh, first break? break of the show Ace Cosby joke of the day? I don't think so. Has think that ever happened? I think it's impossible. I don't think... Uh, so those that only get to hear this break, maybe you're in your car every day at this time, you're probably wondering what we're talking about. Well, you know what I tell people who want to listen to the show? Yeah. I say every day, every minute, every day. Oh. Anything less, exactly. and uh, it's yeah. very disappointing. Uh, well, yeah, that's <laughs> not really possible. So uh, yeah. I, I say that we take you, uh, you up on this. And uh, Ace, I know you're always ready. Yes, you are. Uh, so here we go. Bruce, that yeah. sexy man with a deep voice. Hit him. Ace Cosby, <laughs> here he is with his joke of the day. Hey, Chick. 
Yes, Ace. <laughs> what do exploding pandas eat? <laughs> oh, this is a tough uh, one here. See, now this, well, I'll, well. I'll, I'll, I'll offer my thoughts after this. Uh, what do exploding pandas eat? I don't know, Ace, what? Bam, boom. Uh, that was Ace Cosby's joke of the day. See, now that's even more uh, similar to uh, Baboon. Right. Oh, that's, that's a monkey in the minefield. A uh, monkey in the minefield. <laughs> oh, I, I like that very much. Yeah. Huh? That was, that's a legend. Uh, baboon. Baboo. Uh, oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Uh, bamboo, of course. Uh -huh. uh, what was the monkey one precisely? How does that go exactly? What do you call a monkey in the minefield? Uh, what do you call a baboon? Ba baboon. Baboon. I see. I see. Okay. Okay. Uh, monkey in the minefield. Monkeys, I think the phrase monkey in the species, minefield. species probably, yeah. but uh, we're okay with that. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you very much, Ace. Uh, maybe we can get a bonus joke coming up. I do I know, know that we're going to speak to uh, comedian Tim Cavanaugh coming up later on. Uh, also coming up uh, tomorrow, we're going to talk with Peter Frampton. Mr. Peter Frampton is uh, nominated to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame at last. Well-deserved. And you can vote for Peter if you go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame website. I certainly would recommend that. See if any of your other favorites are up there uh, for the Hoff Hall of Fame. Yeah, you get to pick seven, up to seven every day. All right, so make, do your thing. But we'll, yeah. we always look forward to talking with Peter Frampton. He's touring once again. And he's the guy behind uh, one of the most famous uh, recordings of all time. Frampton Comes Alive. One of the biggest selling records of all time. Came out uh, my senior year in high school. We all lost our minds. It's great stuff. Yeah. Everyone Pete. played it all at, at, at the same time, everywhere. And Peter's playing better than ever. He's dealing with a uh, fairly serious illness, but uh, he's out there on the road. So we'll look forward to seeing what's going on with Mr. Peter Frampton coming up on tomorrow's show. In the meantime, we check in with today's show, and uh, we have today, uh, Chick today. McGee over at the uh, Bob and Tom Sports Desk. What do we uh, What do we got here? We're going to talk about spring training. We're going to talk about uh, hockey players and showering. Oh, evidently they talk have slower. Uh, they well, they have a very different idea on uh, on uh, showering and how they shower and how long they spend in the shower. And really, it's very uh, it's very different than uh, what people here in the uh, United States of America. Oh yes. Are it's very different. Um, how long? How long? How long in the shower for you? Are we talking? Shower? Is this NHL college? What are we talking about? NHL. What's well, in America for the most part? <laughs> um, okay. Comedy uh, show here, Tom. Okay, I'm sorry. You said uh, I would say 20 minutes. You're 20, 20 minutes, minutes in the I, shower. You were you were on the according to the survey you were uh, on the higher end. I would say I would say 10 to 15 for me. Oh, you mean for me? Yes. Yeah, for oh, you okay. personally. Oh, in the morning. If I do it in the morning. Maybe five. Why can't I get a straight answer out of you? Because I usually shower at night. Well, then how how long is that shower? Five to ten. <laughs> oh, it's here five to ten. Do you, do you just do you do you punish the bishop? Do you? Uh, uh, no, it uh, yeah. depends if I'm doing a shampoo. Yeah. You wring some stuff out. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta wash some things out. Rinse? You gotta you gotta, you gotta cream rinse your uh, you straightener. Your hang down. No, no. You gotta put a, you gotta pull, pull the kinks out of a couple things. Huh? Uh, <laughs> How about you, Josh? How long in the shower? Just an hour. Uh, about ten. About ten. Yeah. 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 I think so. Well, see, you're going to throw everything off because you're about a girl. fifteen. I'm not that much. Yeah. Do you uh, wear a uh, shower cap? No. Oh, you get your hair wet. You wash yeah. your hair every time in the shower. Every time you take not, a shower. But if I don't wash it, I put it up on top of my head in like a bun or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because all women, I don't know where they, uh, there's some class you take at some point, I guess, in high school to make you that. You are uh, always to uh, make that uh, fascinating teepee on your head with a towel. Yeah. You know they it's make pretty easy. They make towels that are specific for I wrapping have that. hair up. Mm -hmm. It's not a, a standard towel that uh, anyone would use. It's called the Turbo Twist or it's the Turbine Twist. Tur turby twi twist, turby twist or something. Yeah, oh, it's Velcro. And wow. It's, no, yeah. I, no, but my little girls can do it with a regular towel, uh -huh. much exactly. the way I can tie a Windsor knot with a tie. As opposed to a fake, so the turby twist is the equivalent of the fake tie. Is that what you're telling me? A true, well, it's it helps, uh, it helps on your way to. It's almost a clip on, but it's an entire a clip on. How did I get in this <laughs> I conversation? Don't know. Speaking of hair, do you use the toilet, as, uh, the shower, as a toilet often? Yeah, for either process, it doesn't ma make no difference to me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We've talked about this. I'll definitely pee in the shower. I thought I you were going to say, I'll defecate in the shower. No. <laughs> uh, I'll pee in the Cosby, shower. Cosby, what about you? How long in the shower? Uh, probably a little bit more than five. A little bit more than five. Hmm. So yeah, what does that do with the lucky. NHL? Oh. They are under the impression that if you're sh showering any longer than ten minutes, you're wasting water. And what are you, wa what are you washing? The average, a few professional hockey players, a TikTok video account, 
Uh, Travis Kanensky, Robert Thomas, Cole Caulfield, Mario Ferraro, Matt Boldy, and Johnny Godro sat down and they said, how long do you guys shower? And they said it varied from three and a half to five minutes. That's how long the showers were. The hockey players. Uh, that it, seems a little short, especially, that, especially after, as hot as they get and all sweaty and gross. Right, Josh, you were telling us you've been in, you've been in the locker room of an yeah. NHL game and it's pretty gamey. Yeah, it's uh, the uh, that equipment smells real bad, and we had, I had to wait for a couple players to meet them. They're like, yeah, they're in the shower, and I was like, oh, geez, I don't want to hang. And they were out and <laughs> <Boom. laughs> yeah, they and right they up. were dripping wet too. Sure. So I don't know if they take a lot of time to dry. Don't you just to like stand in the shower and let the world? Uh, just sometimes, yeah. Oh, the I, I want to get home. Oh my gosh, it's the best. I think that's why mine's fifteen minutes, fifteen yeah. to twenty minutes, because I'll uh, I'll stand under the water with my sure. head down and think about some stuff. <laughs> yeah, th yeah, sometimes that's really think about think about yeah. the blood swirling oh, yeah. around the drain. Oh yeah. Oh guys. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Is today the day? I'll say, you know, <laughs> stuff like that. Then I go down before I leave for work, and I make the uh, decision, what I call the decision. If you go over the garage or not? I open the door and yeah. I, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, Godwin, how long you shower? I uh, five, uh, five to seven. It's a whole process. No I got kidding? down to a science, oh. yeah. <laughs> so I'll bet there's some process. process. You know, I do have a, what I call a super shower su Saturday. Super shower I Saturday? I really go after everything now. Really? Yeah. And oh. uh, every now and then, things will get carried away. Oh, but sure. But that's just for, uh, you know. I mostly have a no-shower Saturday. Is that right? Yeah. No, I'll do that every now and then on a Sunday, but mm, primarily yeah. during the NFL season. Now, Pat, you said you have a silver hair shampoo? Oh, yeah, there's yeah. a process. Purple? It, it, it tones down the yellow that might come out, so you have to use really? the silver. Is it purple shampoo? It's purple shampoo, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No I could, uh, I oh, could yeah. make you up some uh, cream rinse. You could use it. All oh, right. Well, yeah. Thank you. I don't know. Uh, uh, coming up, uh, we have um, <laughs> Josh, you uh, get an update on the sure. meat straw. Uh, coming up, yeah, uh, also, we have a couple of world records, of course. And uh, do you keep secrets from your significant other? We have some numbers on people that do. And it's almost everybody, it would seem. Well, duh. <laughs> and um, if you were in the Ohio area recently, you may have looked up in the sky and seen a, a giant phallus. Uh, well, uh, huh? We'll find out about that. Uh, and um, uh, deep voices are in the news. Oh, Names well. you may want to. Is use. that right? Are yeah. they really? Oh, yeah. Well, well that's not news to me. Now, now, <laughs> now, now, Chris, let me ask you this real quick. Okay. Before we get off the topic of showers. Uh -huh. Do you do a uh, special cleansing prior to uh, going to the doctor? No. No, you don't really get, get well, out the, tooth, get out the toothbrush, doctor, do some detailing? No. A lot of times our doctor's appointments are right after work. I don't have time to go to the sh take a shower. I don't know if anyone at any point d does any detailing with a toothbrush. Yeah, what the hell are you exists. doing over there? What are you talking yeah. about? Getting those uh, moldy crevices underneath, moldy. you know. The... Well, fortunately, I don't have any moldy crevices I'm that saying. I'm aware you're not, of. You're not trying to insult her, are you? <laughs> no, no. Okay. How about uh, back in the day when you were single? Before a date, third date, is that the one where you really... Uh... I take a shower before a date, no matter what, even okay. now. Well, well, you know, the, the third yeah. date's the one where you shave your legs. And... Well, Isn't this a true uh, statement? Uh, if you haven't seen the guy very long, like if the second or third, you, sometimes you don't shave your legs. Yeah, because you don't want to have sex with them. You don't want, want to you want to keep yourself from that. You don't, don't want, want to be tempted. To, tempted yeah. I can't. I, uh, yeah. It's like a bull. The guy's not going to care, by the way. No, one no, no the guy no, won't yeah. care. No, the guy will he, he can go. Yeah, yeah, this reminds me of, you know, about petting a baboon. No problem. Are you serious? Oh, stubble is easy to ignore. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we gotta get. We're, we're getting. We gotta, fact, I dig stubble. Yeah, yeah. yeah. bring hair. it on. No. We gotta get to the hair cave. No. Okay. Well, we'll get, we'll pick this up in a bushy, minute. Bushy, bushy. Right now. Uh, <laughs> also coming up, we have uh, graveside flowers and why there are no clocks in the mall. Kind of inter interesting theory. But right now, I want to talk about cheese. Josh, you brought in some cheese yesterday. Thank you very I much. I sure did, and it seems to be gone. So, oh, yeah. Man, it never lasts long around here. I'm talking Gardner's Wisconsin cheese and sausage. Gardner's Wisconsin cheese and sausage. Their famous squeaky cheese curds are made fresh in the morning, most often delivered to your doorstep in only about 48 hours. And that is nationwide, my friends. My gosh, we have a new flavor alert. Anybody have a, you have an alert sound over there? Aluga. Yes, Aluga. new flavor alert. Aluga. Oh, what is, it? what is it? Today is the last day to get this, okay. all right? Oop. All right. Oop. Maple bacon flavored cheese curds. You've got the sweet. I'm sorry, I'm trying to find the alert. That's all right. I, 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 here, here we go. 
New flavor, new flavor, alert. New flavor alert from Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese with your host, Josh Arnold. Maple bacon flavored cheese curds. You've got the sweetness of the naturally oaky maple plus that savory bacon flavor. Yeah, you do. It's Sunday morning mm. in your mouth, my friends. Today is the last day. Be sure to order your maple bacon flavored cheese curds now. Otherwise, you're going to miss out. You don't want to miss out. Well, I'm going to come up with a FOMO <laughs> phrase for cheese. Oh. Fear of missing cheese. Foam. Foam. Fear, fear of missing a new flavor. Fomch. Fear Fomch. of missing cheese. New God, cheese we'll see it. Another popular <laughs> item to try. Got it. Gardner's oven baked cheese. It arrives pre baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, air fry it. I air fried some and brought it in yesterday. Mm. Disappeared immediately. Try a little bit of everything with the Bob and Tom sampler package. This is a perfect intro to all of Gardner's most beloved products. You get that eight year old super sharp cheddar, bacon oven baked cheese, buffalo wing cheese, teriyaki meat sticks, garlic summer sausage, and a lot more. Go to Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese.com slash Bob and Tom. They've made it easy for you. Right now, receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese.com slash Bob and Tom. Thank you so much to everybody who's already ordered, and uh, thank you to those who are going to today. And uh, if you suffer from Fompch, fear of missing cheese, remember, today is the day uh, <laughs> yes. for the... Uh, there we go. The, the, uh, what's what's the leak? What's Maple it? bacon flavored cheese curds. There okay, go, there you yeah. go. There you go. Thank you very much. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom, twenty four seven. Hello, friends. Thanks so much for joining us here on. Christy and I were talking about a dream date, and I thought we would yeah. maybe um, with each other, maybe for the first time ever. Maybe uh, it might be easier if I sent my assistant on the date with you, and then. <laughs> She could tell me if we had a good time or not. <laughs> and then, see, never, that's no, no. exactly what we I happen. see that coming. Uh, never mind. Um, oh, yeah. oh. Now, do you turn your phone off? I put it on vibrate. Mm. And where is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's in my yeah. purse, usually. Oh, purse. Okay. I mean, I don't, I don't mm. look at it. I wouldn't. Okay. But you have to keep your phone on. Oh, yeah, come on. You, I know, I even, know. No, not even only answer it. Hold he's on. He's wearing the important. Bluetooth during no, dinner. No, that's completely oh. false. Absolutely. No, this is important. Hold on. <laughs> completely false. I almost never answer my phone. All right. Very, very rarely. Yeah, I don't. And let, no. <laughs> All right. So you got that, unless, of course, it's one of your kids, right? Well, that's the thing. I look yeah. at it. And, yeah, you know. but you got five. Four so of them could call at any time. Yeah, six out of ten calls are from your kids. You know that. Yeah. Six out of ten. Uh, which happens right. seven no, no. out of ten times. Uh, yeah. Nine out so. of ten. The, other, then, the other four are wrong dials. Yeah, and chances uh, are you're going to have to go pick up one of them, so that means I'm going to be sitting there by myself for a while. You're bitching at me already? I haven't even answered the phone. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Uh, what, what, what would be your opening Shiraz or uh, Shiraz. salvo conversationally? What would you open with? If well, you, I've known you all yeah. half but my say life. What do you do for a living? Mm -hmm. Say you didn't. What would, you, would you ask me something, or would you start telling me about no, your life? No, let's not do that. No, let's just approach this like you two, the two you, people that you are. What would you talk let's to? Stay know each other let's stay in, let's oh, stay I know in reality. What we could do. So well, we go. We talk about. You know, I've never <laughs> thought of you romantically. Well, we have two hours to kill. Let's talk about what's wrong with chick. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Mm. Let's talk about uh, how you. Sex, baby. Yes, yeah, sex. <laughs> how you yeah. like it. How do you approach it? Well, huh? see, now we, yeah. we had. Come on. We had. Yeah, how you approach it? I'm going to approach it, Tom. See, now we had the list of first day turnoffs. <laughs> what's your move, I'm going to crack this code. Come on. Here we go. I'm going to get those uh, ankles little... on your shoulders. That's what I want. Yeah. Because, because yeah. see, not on this list from USA Today. Uh huh. Um, uh, mismatched clothes, 36% first day turnoff, oh, and you go up the clothes. list. And um, yeah, yeah, body odor, 94%. <laughs> I'm clean. I have no body odor. No. But my, my pet peeve of uh, uh, first day turnoffs women who don't put out. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hello? Hey, it's, uh, it's Tiger. Oh, hey, Tiger. What's going on, man? I need you to do me a huge favor. Yeah, sure thing, man. What do you need? Um, can you please take your name off your phone? I want to look through my phone and uh, maybe call me. What? <laughs> oh. So if you can, please take your name off that. Are you me? <laughs> she knows about us? Oh, man, this is bad. This is really bad. a number. Oh, boy. She hasn't seen the photos yet. <laughs> Tiger. You still love me, right? Okay, you gotta do this for me. Please tell me you still love me. Tiger? Tiger? Tiger. Oh. Hello? Uh. Today we're going to do a cover.
cover, the only cover that we do. Yeah. Oh, good. The entire program, but we'd like to play something for you dedicated to something that's been in the news this past uh, week. All I right. Forward to it. I think everybody's been surprised about it, and this is a song that explains how I feel about it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they're both ashamed of what they did At least that's what the paper said They walk all day cause they're always on the prowl Tiger and horse Tiger and horse His wife called him Doing them horse <laughs> They're both pros at what they do And both require special shoes Of each of their heads going down in the caddy Tiger and horse Tiger and horse His wife called him Doing them horse <laughs> Neither of them's made a peep And fire hydrants don't come cheap Be careful when you're out there Chasing tail. <laughs> you could wreck your truck and cut your head, but the number one lesson ever said no matter what you do, don't leave voicemail. <laughs> tiger and horse, tiger and horse. His wife called him, and the odds are pretty slim that you won't see him with any more horse. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> pie that we had it was so thick and beautiful i just ate it like a piece of pizza wait a minute so you ate a pie by cutting it into triangular pieces <laughs> and eating it one by one like a what pizza. a weirdo like a pizza no, like without a fork is what i meant you pick it up and you eat it like a piece of pizza you dick <laughs> a thought from Paul Gilmartin. Down the elevator shaft they plunged, hurtling towards their death. Their faces drawn by Edvard Monk. They smelled the devil's breath. <laughs> Your tongue, she said at number three. Let me see its size. He grinned and licked his forehead. She buckled at the thighs. <laughs> the impact satisfied them both. Police were left some clues. A smiling woman all alone in a stranger's pair of shoes. <laughs> hey, this is Frank Caliendo and... Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. All right. All and right. Remember from yesterday when Tom said this? I'm good on stilts. <laughs> He's good on them. He's good on stilts. And then, of course, this is from a long time ago. God, I love stilts. Yeah. We had a stilts world record. Yes, we did. Yesterday. 700 and some people on, on stilts. But uh, I thought I was they kind of very envisioning. very high in the air, though. Yeah, but I was envisioning a kind of a, a, a parade, like a regiment you'd see in a military parade. But they were in one long line. I think they wanted to make it like over a mile or yeah. something. Yeah. Kind of thing. It'd be kind of a yeah. rough parade to have to review. <laughs> All right, well, here they come. We got a mile of jokers on stilts. But none of them had the big long pants and the Uncle Sam hats. So <laughs> really, it wasn't all that much fun. Uh, now, um, we have a couple requests I want to get to. Uh, but uh, but first, you had some sporting news you wanted to pass along? Uh, I do, yes. Uh, Mexico beat the United States for the second time ever in women's soccer, getting golds from Lisbeth Ovalle and Mayra Paleo for a 2 nothing victory in the CONCACAF <laughs> Women's Gold Cup. That's right. Was that a Sammy Davis Jr. thing? Sure. Yeah, I don't know what song he, but he definitely did yeah. that. Conk. Yes. Conk. yes. Conk. Yeah. They, I, I follow the uh, account on Instagram. It's called History Photographed or uh, something. And they had a picture of uh, the Vegas Strip right about the time we were out there. It, it was from 1985, and I think we were there in 89 or 91 or whatever it was. But they it just said on the sign at the Riviera, Sammy! <laughs> That's all it said. Wow. Man. Times have changed. Yeah. Wouldn't you like to... Wouldn't you like to have been able to see Sammy Davis Jr. for a couple of hours? Sure. Well, yeah. Cool. yeah. Yeah. You know, I, he, he played the drums and... Hell of an uh, entertainer. It was great. Blew on the horn. And you can still see Wayne Newton do all that. Uh, he Does doesn't he? do all that. He just really stands on the stage and sings. Yeah. I'm guessing I he might him. get uh, he might get a little winded. I would guess. <laughs> well, I don't know. Rough. He's he's like the last I, of the Vegas. Isn't he the last of the old fashioned Vegas guys? I don't know. But hmm. by the way, they don't lock the doors. You are able to leave. I did after two. Okay. Songs. Really? <laughs> there you yeah. Are. 
I see. We um, will allow you to leave. It's but uh, the worst, okay. uh, the, the worst scatting in history, has to be Sinatra. Doobie when he doobie goes dooby dooby doo. I mean, it, I always liked that. You oh, liked that? Yeah, I do too. It's yeah, it's just it's oh, completely wow. natural. It's you're signature. doing more of an impression yeah, of Sinatra. It's yeah. signature. It's signature Sinatra. Yeah, you're doing uh. Piscopo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that's, I consider that an insult. <laughs> well, well, no, I always, I always, I know, I always love Joe Piscopo. I know that's not correct, but you're, he's funny. I, I I like him too, but he yeah. Uh, you no, know, I just thought that was uh, you. Uh, the best scatter I know, of course, is Josh. No, no, no. Oh, oh, yes, you're so it's, modest. It's, uh, it's almost wizardy. <laughs> what, did you say wizardy? Yes. <laughs> it's wizardy. Instead, instead of doing this standard scat sort of syllables, you sounds like a spell. Well, I I'll, I'll be honest. I don't scat. Scat uh, does Josh is what uh, happens. I, uh, the, I see. the scatting overcomes me. Okay. I, uh, I don't. Uh, yeah. I just listen and report what the scat is telling me. Uh, when when will it be calling? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you wanted some now? Uh, oh, if I if we could. <laughs> Good way to Pat, do you want to give him some music to scat by? Sure. Oh. Music to scat by, Jim. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, yeah. Out. Scarble dibble, sip flowers, old and dizzy. Oh. Full <laughs> flu and a rappers and gay. Dooby doo. Yeah. <laughs> See, well, now if you do it in a stupid way. <laughs> God. I think Christie's dealt it. Josh kind of, he's like pulling things from sci fi yes, novels. It's a wizard. Slips like and vodka like. Any, anybody can do it. You just got to see it in the air, my friends. I believe you. <laughs> you got to feel it. It's more, yeah. not, it's really not seeing it, is it? You're, You're feeling just, it. I'm just right. more in tune with it. That's right. <laughs> Everyone can do it. He's just in Are there German it. singers who scat? Yeah, we'll go with in touch. It's really not in touch. Oh, there oh. we go. Um, they sure. scat and scat. Oh, shaft and plow and mink and boots. No, it. We all oh, know, know it. Dick and mine, puss and shaft. Dick and mine and puss and shaft. Okay. Uh, okay. We have a special request. I got to catch you. Uh, get off here. It's for Dustin in Des Moines. Uh, as we speak, he is. Uh, he's heading for the airport. And um, so we're just uh, we're just playing stuff for people. Who well, I, I, this is a, running errands because he's going to a special place. Where's he going? He's going to uh, <laughs> Houston. Houston. Oh. And he wants to hear what's he going to Houston for? Well, he doesn't really elaborate. It's, he said it's a business trip. Is it a penis reduction? Ah, uh, <laughs> it's a prison. <laughs> that is the place to go. I don't know, know if he's going for the penis no reduction. I, by the way, Dustin, if you are, I donated mine for the. It's, it's, it's a similar organization <laughs> to uh, Box of Love. It's quite similar. There's a big rooster on the cover, uh, but he wants to hear this famous uh, uh, Chick McGee moment. No, uh, the Chick meltdown. Oh. I got you. But no Houston. No Houston. Not Houston. According to this. Houston, Houston, Houston. Hello there, Houston. Hello there, Houston. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. But he wants me to stop this. Don't do that. That's irritating. Don't ever make that noise again. I can't make Houston own that noise. If you make that noise. <laughs> no, yeah. Stop flying whistling that people can't hear Houston in the load air. Hatbox! Woo! <laughs> 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 We're watching a show breakdown. Nervous breakdown. June 21st, 2018. June 21st, 2018. Houston in the load air. Houston. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I, I wish we could all a, a team of men in white in white scrubs come in and drag you off while you're while you're yeah. just Houston, hello there. We're going viral. Uh, Dying up, breaking away. Yeah, and then, and then they hey. they inject you. They inject you with something. 1936 Beatles. That's so. Ah, John Kennedy. As they inject you, it's Houston. Houston. Hello, Houston. Happy summer solstice, everyone. There you go. Uh, it goes back a few years by request. The famous Chick McGee meltdown. You feel better now? Uh, Me? Yeah. You had the date wrong of the Beatles thing, by the way. And whatever. What did I say? 56? 36? 66 or 36? No, you said 36, but you were just listing what had happened yeah. that morning. Yeah. All the data oh, yeah. references. I see, yeah. I see. Okay, well, um, uh, thank you for the request. Um, and by the way, I should point out, Dustin begins his letter with, Hello, Dare. Of course, the uh, famous uh, Marty Allen, uh, Hello, Dare. Right? Hello, Dare. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
yeah, I'm already hearing that. Uh, now, um, uh, what have you got over there at the sports desk? Spring training uh, showtime oh, starts yeah. this afternoon. Why am I saying showtime? Because show. Hey, Otani. Hey, hey Otani. Otani. Doesn't really work. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little mm. close. We just haven't done it. Enough. What was the best one? I guess Saquon, Saquon, Saquon Barkley. Barkley. Saquon, Saquon Barkley. Barkley. We say Quan Barkley. I still do yeah. that. I and, thought uh, his name really was <laughs> you Dar- Quan Barkley. I didn't know it was. Well, you Darvish. I love that. You Darvish. Me too. I love yeah. that one. Yeah, that's a fun one. And is it you or ooh? It's you. You Darvish. Why you Darvish? Because okay. like ooh thought. The famous, uh, once again, <laughs> just fresh as today's headlines. <laughs> you remember Uthant, Chris? Yeah, from the 50s. He spelled was his first name, U. letter U. Yeah, didn't he run the U-N? Kind of cool. Or no, it wasn't the U-N, it was the U-N. Oh. <laughs> uh, precisely my point. <laughs> then, of course, he retired and became a famous capitalist and started the U-Hall, <laughs> which we here in the States pronounce U-Hall. There's a guy on NPR whose first name is A. Really? Well, yeah. A. Whitney Brown. He but I mean, he, he calls himself A. That's it. That's like weird. Whitney, just A. Well, maybe people who know A. Whitney Brown just call him yeah, A. Yeah, maybe his friends do. You think so? Great comedian. Yeah, Possibly. he's been in here. I don't know. A. Whitney Brown has the period though after the A, which is nice. Yeah. Does this A? Do you know? That's I don't true. know. But the period is uh, not mentioned when you're saying his name. Yeah, you would never. You would never go A. Period Whitney Brown. Maybe his wife uses the period. At uh, one point, I bet, yeah, yeah. she got a period. Do you know anybody that just has a single letter for an N? I don't mean like J, where it's J-A-Y, but do you know anybody that's... Single letter? I don't. No. Not in person, not personally. I mean, as a no. nickname, I know a couple. One of my favorites, oh. uh, one of my radio heroes when I was a kid, uh, E. Carl. He was uh, the guy who had uh, the idea for morning radio and what were... Uh, put a, three or four people in a room and have fun and just laugh and... Maybe e? not ever. E. Did they e call period, it E? E period Carl, yeah. They called ah. Elvis that, right? Uh, hey, e. How about that? Big E. E. What does that got to do with your thing? It's really <laughs> There was an SNL sketch called Tiny talk. E where he was uh, Tiny Elvis <laughs> and Rob, Rob Schneider was, he was literally like four inches tall and he would sit on their shoulder oh, and was oh, Tiny yeah. Elvis. That's right. I'm sorry. I, I bet back to Sporting News. Hey, Tiny E. We got off the topic because yeah, um, not Rob Schneider. Um, you want to do the... Uh, <laughs> There's no pitching, right? No pitching. Show hey, Otani, woman. Hey, Otani. Thank you, Josh. He'll make his exhibition debut. That's where he plays without his pants. Oh, he's mm-hmm. wearing the he's wearing the new pants. They can't. Oh, How long is oh, it going to take them to replace all the pants? They're going to have to. If the union gets involved, the crap's going to hit the fan. Okay. Why well, don't was he crap in the pants? No, no. and the crap wow. in the fan. You can you can see everything through those pants. Yeah, you can. They what? bend over. It's startling and they had pictures i saw pictures yesterday. you could see when they tuck their shirts in you can see the size and the, right through the pants yeah Ooh. but the worst thing is they look they just look cheap they really do look it's cheap. not look, good as josh summed it up best it looks like they purchased the new major league baseball uniforms from timu timu yes what movie is that where the poop hits the fan is airplane it, <laughs> is it airplane yeah because now the ass is going to hit the fan and then it cuts right to it <laughs> I couldn't right believe the it. Uh, have you ever watched <laughs> Zero Out? The, the movie that I have. Airplane? It is almost the, even the dialogue yeah. is the well, same they, as Airplane. They ended up. Yeah, they were writing a parody of Zero Wonderful. Hour. Wonderful. And they ended up buying the movie because they were afraid they were going to get spooked. <laughs> Turner Classic shows it every now and again. And- yeah, the hospital. What is it? It's a big building with patients. That's practice. <laughs> that's, that's in Zero I, Hour. I was smiling as I was watching the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shohei Otani. Hey, Otani. Thank you, people. He'll make his exhibition debut at the Dodgers. He serves as the designated hitter. That's him. He'll hit for the Dodgers this afternoon against the White Sox. Los Angeles has been taking it slowly. Uh, nobody takes it slow and easy. With the two-way <laughs> star who signed a record, uh, hold on to yourself, Christy, $700 million over 10 years. And that's... Seventy million a year, Josh. Oh, uh, the two-time MVP, the Mop, is coming off right Bobo surgery last September that will keep him from pitching this entire season. He's yeah. just going to be a wow. Still gets all that money. So, well, he can hit. He should take thirty-five million then if he's not pitching. Yeah, exactly. He's only doing half the job. You tell him that. He's got a good agent. He's very tall. Jeez. It's not his fault. He didn't want all that money. His agent insisted. His bloodthirsty (laughs) agent. That's right. Look at a lot of eyeballs. It'll be worth the money. Uh, Duke coach John Shire wants the ACC to implement measures to prevent court storming. Where are you people on court storming? I love it. I love it, too. They need to wait a bit, though. 
Uh, yeah, it shouldn't be immediate, right? Let and the then, players get out of the way. Yeah, people are getting hurt. And then Kyle Filipowski, the guy for Duke who got uh, ran into on at Wake Forest when the Wake Forest fans stormed mm -hmm. the court. Right before that, you can see him purposely, it looks to me like this report, tripping a Wake Forest fan. Oh. As plain <laughs> as the nose on your face. <laughs> I can't do that. They're not long out there. Do I don't blame them. I don't either. Filipowski sported a bag of ice on his knee after banging his right leg into the leg of a fan running by him toward midcourt during the court storming. Hmm. Um, I also like uh, court storming when there's a verdict announced that you're not you don't agree with. Yeah. I think yeah. everybody should get in there. I just love can it. I scream? You're all out of order. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That? And if somebody yells order in the court, you can yell. I'll have a ham on rye. <laughs> We've got a new referee sound. This is very popular among the people who uh, listen to the show. Uh, this is our, this is, before the new one I'm going to play, this is our second newest. New York, number 75, Minnesota, from Gaze Eats, for fighting. Fighting. What, what is uh, he saying? That's well, Wes McCauley. Uh, that's uh, hockey. <laughs> Uh, five, uh, the penalty, five minutes for fighting. And this is a uh, You like the band Five for Fighting? <laughs> I do. I do too. Superman. I love nice that songs. Movie. Yeah. Good piano. It's Superman mm -hmm. sad. He he yeah, can't true. fly. Yeah. Very, yeah, he's tired of flying. Very emotional. <laughs> and this is the new one. <laughs> no, this is the second newest one. You're not gonna like it, but the call on the ice was correct. No goal. And this has been like shut up. This has been voted uh, the favorite so far. Intentional grounding. Offense number seven. <laughs> this is uh, the newest newest well, one. I, 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 I dispute the vote. I thought we voted <sighs> the one where he goes, uh, he's trying to describe what's going on within everybody's. Foul number 99 of the defense. After he tackled the quarterback, he's giving them business down there. That's a 15-yard penalty. See, I love that one. You like that one? Yeah. Well, uh, okay, we've recounted the votes, and that is the most popular now. Okay. See how I did that? Yeah. And here is the brand newest one. This is a Legend, the guy who used to work out. He, he can bench press like 300 pounds. This is Ed Hockley from the NFL. Yes, there are penalties in the Pro Bowl. Pass your parents. <laughs> Defense number 24. Boo! Yeah. <laughs> so they're booing. What do you think of that, Tom? Uh, they're booing at the Pro Bowl, no? Oh, uh, no. No. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's entertaining. That you, it's regular season. Okay, uh, now, uh, what's coming up in sports? Uh, we got uh, world records, and uh, what are children doing? And I get to say, we are going to pay a visit to a little place in Canada called Regina, Saskatchewan. Oh, oh boy. Who's ready? Carry oh. me back to, to old Regina. Regina. <laughs> Why are there no clocks in the malls? We're going to find out. In the meantime... Simply safe. It's the do-it-yourself, design-it-yourself home security system that we all absolutely love and trusted by the experts. Named best home security system of 2024 by U.S. News and World Report. Simply Safe offers everything you need for whole home protection. HD cameras inside and out, advanced motion sensors, entry sensors, as well as hazard sensors that detect fire, flooding, and frozen water. You know, your pipes. They've got a sensor for that. It's Simply Safe. And the system is oh so easy to set up yourself without any special tools or know how required. But if you per prefer, you can. And if you prefer, you can get someone from Simply Safe to come out and install it at your compound. Plus, with the 60 day risk free trial exclusively from Simply Safe, if you don't love your system, you return it for a full refund. It's just that simple. And for Bob and Tom Show listeners, order now to get 20% off any. New Simply Safe system with fast protect monitoring. Just visit simplysafetom.com. That is simplysafetom.com for 20% off. There's no safe like Simply Safe. Thank you very much, Chick McGee. Yes, sir. Uh, also, as you, you mentioned, some world records, and uh, one of them involves uh, amplification and uh, the electric guitar, in this case, actually, the bass guitar. When we come back, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show. part of the team that launched the first, the first low salt, low sugar, peanut butter into the category. It was called Simply Jif. It was targeted towards diabetics. I wanted to call it type two peanut goo. But... 
<laughs> yeah, of course you don't feel good, Greg. You ate an entire rotisserie chicken at 11.30 at night. You shoved the whole thing in your fat face in six minutes, Greg. I think you ate the rubber band that holds a legs together. I mean, come on. My birth certificate? That document is 54 years old. I also don't have the Declaration of Independence. Because I don't know if you've ever seen an organic peanut butter kid go off the deep end. <laughs> it is not pretty. OK, these kids, they spend 18 years eating it, then they go off to college. They have one bite of a GIF sandwich. Six weeks later, they're passed out on a park bench with Nutter Butters all over their face. It's a Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, hi, how we're hanging out with me and Ron Ramey. Chick McGee doing double duty. Chickster, anything else? Uh, what's the most dangerous thing about uh, starting a new relationship with a girl, fellas? That, uh, that's right. What kind of pet does she have? Oh, oh. I was going to say finding out she's a psycho. And what you does know, it mean you don't about know. her? This well, is from, maybe dep depending on the kind of pet, you can tell she's a psycho right away. This is from yeah. HolyTaco.com. Huh? If she has a big dog... Yeah. Uh, what she thinks what she thinks it says about her. Mm -hmm. I'm not like those other girls with their tiny, yappy dogs. Mm -hmm. I'm a strong, confident, independent woman who's making it in a man's world. I see. What I it love really big, says. I love big dogs, though. What, what it really, really says, says about her is a big dog says, I want a boyfriend. I want a boyfriend. I want a boyfriend. I want a boyfriend. <laughs> really? What, really? What the pet is thinking is, please stop using me as a body pillow and grinding on me in the middle of the night. Oh, oh my. Oh, 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 oh. Grinding? No grinding? A small dog. Okay. okay. What she thinks it says, I'm not just adorable. I'm really adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so adorable that I have a living accessory. All the cool people are doing it. I'm just like a famous celebrity. What it really says, I want to be exactly like Paris. So if you're looking for a stupid, mm. annoying, talentless woman like Paris Hilton <laughs> with a little dog, I'm your girl. Really? Or well, maybe pet, it says, I like a little dog. What does the pet think? What the pet says, the thinks, <laughs> is if that purse she carries me in is full of used condoms again today, I'm going to bite her. <laughs> <laughs> I miss my ex-wife. <sighs> this is a mean, uh, mean website. Here's a cat. What, if she owns a cat, what she thinks it says, I'm responsible enough to care for another living creature, but... I don't want to have to pay a lot of attention to it. That's mm -hmm. why I have an animal that I could potentially leave alone for a few days, and it would be just fine. What it really says, having a cat. I don't like having guys spend the night at my house, so I adopted one of nature's ninjas to scare off any non-regular visitors <laughs> using a razor-sharp pounce attack in the middle of the night. Uh -huh. Ouch. What the, what the cat is thinking, come on, dude, that I'm not familiar with. Show me something dangly. I dare you. <laughs> what fish. she thinks it says uh -huh. only a fish. Fish tanks are sexy. Uh -huh. I know this is just a small bowl, but it still oozes sex. This fish depends on me, and if it lives past the first day, people are going to know that I'm responsible enough to take care of another life. What it really says, one time I had sex with a biker in the parking lot of the county fair, and he spent $26 winning me this goldfish to remember him by. I forget his name, but I call the fish Nemo. Okay. What I the like pet that. is, what the pet is thing? thinking, the, that whore hasn't fed me in six days. <laughs> My water looks and smells like a sewer. <laughs> and finally, a parrot, uh, what she thinks it says, I enjoy having a pet that's interesting and intelligent. I am an exotic person, so I have a pet that reflects my personality. What it really says, if you own a parrot and you're a girl, my grandpa died recently. <laughs> he was known locally as the crazy bird guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So he left me this temperamental, awful bird to remember him by. Mm -hmm. What the parrot is thinking, squawk, F you, <laughs> F you. <laughs> Second time there, you know, and, and I'm like, you know, uh, I go, oh, now look here. This is the knee. I, I, e, poo, lo, o, o, k, a, u, t. And she said, that's look out, you idiot. I'm like, oh, oh. I, guess, I guess I'm a little used to uh, <laughs> I'm gonna read these signs around here. <laughs>
I see. And they, they Fascinating. Have, they have two airports on the island of Maui, and one is called like Hilly Willy Pooly, and then they call the other one Willy Willy Polly, and then I go to the wrong one, and I'm the idiot. <laughs> You're supposed to be in Hilly Willy Pooly, not Willy Willy Polly. It's going to be an hour and a half apart. They shouldn't sound exactly the same. <laughs> not Hilly Willy Pooly, Willy Willy Polly. You know, I, I, well, I have a theory, and uh, I think everything in Hawaii was named by Mel Tillis in a hurry. Is what happened. They just brought Mel over. Mel, what's called that? Okay, come on over here. Pipe, 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 pipe. Mel, what would you call that big, beautiful bird? Well, I, 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 yeah, that's good. That's the I, 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 I. Bird. <laughs> Hi, this is Dr. Will Miller, and you are listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Joining us in the studio, comedian Mark Eubanks. Did you go to college down in... Uh... I went to college in uh, University of West Virginia, Morgantown, West Virginia. Oh, really? I was a mountaineer. Hmm. Well, why would someone from Florida go to college in West Virginia? Well... Uh, because you didn't have to be real smart to get into school there. <laughs> 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 Basically, showing up got you that piece of paper. Yeah. Oh. Valedictorian was a 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> On the breathalyzer. <laughs> <laughs> Comedian <laughs> Bruce Clark is our guest. Oh. How about that Pictionary? You ever play that game? Pictionary? Sure. Yeah. That's we crazy. almost got in a fist fight over that, oh, didn't yeah. we, Chick? Yeah, we hey, sure did. And uh, you play with your friends, they're always drunk, too. You know, all your buddies are always loaded up. Like, mm -hmm. Playing there. I get this uh, phrase, I draw it, you know, they're like, hey, how about a guy frying his own penis? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> That's in Pictionary. <laughs> idiot. It's Peter Pan, you idiot. <laughs> Ain't Freddy here, you moron. Essential morning radio. All day and all night. Yeah, this is Bob and Tip into those shortly. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. North America, and all the ships at sea. Hey, here's Tom. Sail ho. Sail ho. Is that what you say when you get, uh, yeah, instead of let's go, sail ho? Could be someone listening on a boat right now. It's mm. nice. Thank you very much. When you Is that when you're on a sailboat and you're leaving the dock or something? Sail ho? Or? Sure. Say it whatever okay. you want. <laughs> it's fun. Now, um, <laughs> we are at the sports desk with Mr. McGee uh, temporarily. Uh, I temporarily? <laughs> After 35 years, it's temporary now? What's going on? No, no, no. Our, still our, our, this morning's uh, visit to the sports desk. What else do you have over there? A case of old hockey cards, possibly containing the game's great one. Oh, Wayne Gretzky. Wayne O! Has fetched more than $3.7 million after it was discovered in a home in Regina, Saskatchewan. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. Right, Regina. What do you mean possibly Regina. containing? Hang on. Heritage Auction says the winning bidder bought the case of 16 sealed boxes of O.P. Cheese 1979 Hockey Card Collection, amounting to more than 10,000 cards. The auctioneer says the case could include 25 or more highly coveted Wayne Gretzky rookie cards. Wait up! A man in Regina had kept the case in a packed storage room. The auctioneer says the longtime collector asked to remain anonymous. Yes, he paid $3.7 million on a possibility. Okay. Gosh. They'll make his money back if there are 25 in there. How many, uh, but don't they lose their value if, you, if you open them up and look at them? Flooding the market? Not in this case. No. Mm -mm. I don't know anything about collectible cards, even baseball cards. I don't, because I swear, I told you this this morning, that the, the, all of the major, major league base, all of the trading cards lost their value, mostly. And now they're back again with a vengeance. So I don't know what's going on. But that's nothing new to you people. You see this but every day. How stupid for contemporary I figures, I mean, it's a false scarcity. Um, I don't think that's true. Well, sure, they could. No, I think they, as they, many they, as they want. I think the trading card companies purposely right. manufacture only a limited number exactly. of cards. Exactly, they're creating a false scarcity. Well, well, the scarcity is real, though. In that the scarcity there are is less real. Than, yeah, there aren't. Yeah. It's it's manufactured scarcity. But, but do they know at the time that a rookie car? They did. No. They didn't know Wayne Gretzky would be the well, great one. They, no, no. They, they should have. 
<laughs> well, well, they had their inclination, but no, yeah, I mean, nobody but... knows exactly what somebody's going to do. They knew he was awfully good. I... Well, he was very good. But he could have course. had his uh, the hand cut off in the but first would... season. <laughs> Who right. would say? Oh, good point. I forgot about that. <laughs> then he really would have been the great one. One hand. Oh, man. All those goals, one hand. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, my God. Maybe even super great. <laughs> yes, yes. The great one. So that guy, whoever that is, has tons, uh, plenty of money. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's yes. a hell of a gamble. So they do open them up then. <laughs> yeah, cards are different than like action figures and stuff like that. And well, the, yeah, and the mint and box kind of thing. Well, actually, some of the more serious collectors have uh, um, these fluoroscopes that they uh, <laughs> run the packages underneath. Really? And you can, if you uh, if you take the package and you, it's like an X-ray. Okay, That's it can it. tell I which bet. cards are in there and which cards aren't in there. You, how do you feel about the people who use those fluoroscopes on their scratchers? On a personal level, you're saying they buy they buy the scratcher, they go just run it, and then they beep. No, it's a loser. No, they. Uh, uh, they, there's an app on your phone you can do that. You can do it yourself? Without you scratching? You can do it yourself. Um, no, you ha I think you have to scratch off the indicator. Okay, there's, there's some, some that you don't have to scratch. Really? See, that's, like, see, that's no fun. When you go to Vegas and there's no arm to pull anymore. Yeah. Oh, I don't mind that. You just press the button. Yeah, oh, yeah that's I okay. I like the arm. Like, it's mm, fun. I don't know about lazy. <laughs> Now, all the, all the exercise you're getting is shoving that cigarette in your maw. And there are no coins. I mean, that, that was half the fun here, and the coins fall. Now it's just lose again. Ding, 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 ding. That still dings. Oh. Yeah, they, they, they kind of try to make it sound yeah. like coins are falling. Right. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Why? All right, I'm looking up. Slang for the human mouth. <laughs> Maul is up. Maul is big. Yeah. I don't think I've ever heard, heard Maul. Have you heard that, Pat? No. Yeah, I never either. heard it. Uh, the you know, first one on here is Mouth. M O U F. Yeah. yeah, that's the old lady you see at the, you know, she's got, got all her stuff and she's sitting at her machine and oh. puffing away. She's got the card that you shove in order to put <laughs> money in. It just... I remember being in a theater watching a documentary about the Titanic mm -hmm. and uh, James Cameron was narrating and uh, my buddy and I were watching and he had like this drone and was going to go into one of the holes in the ship. And he goes, uh, and then as the drone entered the gaping maw of the Leviathan, and we laughed out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Relax, James. You mean the hole in the boat? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The gaping maw of the Leviathan. Boy, is that a good documentary about the uh, the one that uh, they took it down and it exploded like last year? That oh, there's a documentary oh, out yeah, about there it. There is. Man, Where's yeah. that on? Only. Everybody told him not to go and not to do mm. it, and oh, no. the whole thing was being run with a uh, game controller. Oh. Yeah. oh, yeah, it's uh, really something. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, boy, and it was essentially an RV, right? <laughs> More or less. <laughs> yeah. Well, and they they said, uh, you know, the, uh, the the classic Greek architecture of the uh, arch that that is incorporated into the spherical shape that. Actually, the more pressure makes the object stronger. Uh, they discarded that and went with the tubular shape where it can actually really get pressed down, especially oh. in the middle mi Middle when you get uh, really... The worst uh, thing about that whole depth. thing was I, I thought it was tasteless when the Flex Seal guy came out with that commercial going, <laughs> if they had used Flex Seal, that wouldn't have happened. <laughs> that would have happened. Well, all right, but I mean, you don't have to but don't rub, rub it, it in rub it, Don't rub it in. <laughs> How many successful trips did they make? Do you remember? I don't I remember. One. one. But they could hear it crackling every time they went down the carbon fiber mm. when they went down in the you could hear oh man wow yeah seems safe to me wow. steve that's either the crackling or my bowels <laughs> <laughs> not sure uh what's coming up in sports british uh, expression for mouth gob i love oh, yeah. that one that's gob. such a gob that's where gob, like gob smacked gob smacked that's where the gobsmack or gobsmackers came from. And yeah. gobstoppers. Uh, how about uh, cake hole, chops, clam, clam shell, hash trap, <laughs> hash trap, pie hash hole, trap. Is that uh, pie holes here, uh, bazoo, oh, kisser. Uh, kisser's that's an old yeah, fashioned. Like yeah, hit him in the kisser. That's <laughs> Jackie, Jackie yeah. Gleason. Oh, oh yeah. right in the kisser. Yes, oh, that's um, right. Mush. Oral cavity. Well, yeah, but that seems a little more uh, puss medical. Yep. Yeah. Potato mm -hmm. trap. <laughs> it's funny that puss has uh, two meanings. Yeah. I mean, it, yeah. my mother would say that all the time. What? I, puss? Thought, I thought puss meant oh, the whole face. I think it does. Mm. But, but it all, you can also say puss for a cat. Sure. Remember when uh, Zsa Zsa or Ava came on uh, the Tonight Show? <laughs> 
pet her. Again. And she asked Johnny, "Would you like to pet my puss?" And he <laughs> so said, "First, well, you have to move that cat out of the way." I have to move that cat. <laughs> oh boy! Uh, I think that's uh, apocryphal, but it's a great story. He was not. Uh, what's coming up? Uh, world records. And uh, children and how they're behaving. We're going to solve it. Oh. Okay. For everything. And if, uh, once again, <laughs> if you were in Ohio and saw a large phallus in the sky, you're right. We'll find out what that was. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Got something to say? Send us an email. Bob and Tom at BobandTom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or Anytime. Excuse me. Are um, are you serious with it? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I uh, look. There's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin cheese, jalapeno flavored oven baked cheese. It's now available in Gardner's oven baked bundle package. So try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Hello. I mentioned that our guests include that man. He is comedian Greg Warren. And uh, this other guy who is um, word dude lexicographer. Did I get it right? Yes, you did. Mm -hmm. um, Steve Kleinedler, who is uh, originally from Flint, Michigan, now living in Boston, part of the American Heritage Dictionary Group. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, they've got a bunch of uh, books that are actually kind of fun. The, the series is entitled 100 Words, uh, etc. 100 Words, for example, that make you sound great. 100 words that make you sound smart. We're looking at 100 words for lovers for uh, Greg Warren and uh, Christy Lee. Here's one. <laughs> we're not lovers. Heart, well, no, but you were, we're on, you're on your dream, but we're here's one. Yet. Mm -hmm. Matter of time. Here's yeah. one. Heartthrob. Mm -hmm. Oh, heartthrob. Come it's an on. easy one. That's sure it is. I bet you're quite the heartthrob. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I can feel my heart throb in my pee. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. Hello? No, no. <laughs> when I pee, is that what you said? Oh, wow. No, that is, uh, 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 wow, that is really bad. Uh, what? I am uh, very, very I'm uncomfortable. Uh, do you have another word? Um, now let's move on. I like how the pigeon and I cannot <laughs> lie. <laughs> See, that's where um, I, I say that. Mm. One of the, your people up front were telling me you were having a problem last time with the word entrance. Mm. That you were all reading it as entrance. Uh, well, well, when we first got no, it, so why in the world would it. entrance be? Oh, yes. oh yeah. Why entrance. would entrance be in a book uh, about lovers? Uh, about lovers. That, that, is going, well, that is not an entrance. That is not an entrance. That is the wrong entrance. <laughs> that is an exit only. Yeah, that's uh, how we were doing it. That's Christy. how we, uh, yeah, mm. yes, you're right. Entrance was. Uh, yeah, here it is right here. Mm -hmm. Greg, your eyes are so entrancing. Mm. See, I told you they twinkle. Look at them. They do twinkle. To oh. fill someone with delight, wonder, and love. It looks like an entrance to an uh, empty room. <laughs> <laughs> There's nobody home. I got stuff up here, Bob. I got stuff up here. I'm sorry. All kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> here we go, Bad. Greg. Here's an easy one. Uh-huh. Ecstasy. Oh, yeah. Ecstasy. And don't be gone. Right. Do you know where I yeah. buy some ecstasy? <laughs> you know I'll tell you what would really make this date go better. The only way I'm getting laid is if I can find some ecstasy. <laughs> well, uh, uh, next word. All right. You'll notice, uh, uh, <laughs> you'll notice the American Heritage Committee did not put date rape in here for a reason. <laughs> All right. <laughs> is Rufy in there? No, it is not. Uh -huh. Okay. Here we go. Here's an easy one. Crush. Oh. Crush. Oh, yeah. I, I I need to confess that um, this chair is crushing my guts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, crush, please. You are a uh -huh. horrible date uh, yeah, you doctor, are. counselor. You're telling me. Uh, <laughs> I'll yeah. have a beer and she'll have an orange crush. <laughs> <laughs> and keep them coming. <laughs> now here's a word. If you can use this on a first date, mm. comely. 
Oh, uh, that's not. Mm-hmm. You don't want to use if that this word. <laughs> 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 <laughs>show christy lee at the news desk hi there's pat godwin in the performance room hello chick i'm feeling like a pat godwin song it's been a while hasn't right it? about here well, what do you think Tom? You do, a, do a couple stories and i bet he'll have something that matches up with your uh, stories all right sir there's josh arnold hey chick i'm, I'm gonna hold you to that there's ace cosby i'm chick and here's tom but here's me again Right? Yeah. Sure, go for it. A new study reveals that parents' sideline behavior at student athletic games affects how their children conduct themselves during matches. No kidding. Well, no. Sh- uh, <laughs> this is from the... Uh, the uh, uh, Mr. The, Obvious. The, 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 uh, no S. Sherlock. Researchers <laughs> say that when parents behaved well by applauding good play... Yes, Jolly good, jolly good. Encouraging players or enjoying the game. I'm enjoying this. Their child was more likely to project positive behavior. Nice job, Stevie. However, the more a parent behaved poorly, get your head out of your ass. (laughs) You know, (laughs) I was at a three- or four-year-old soccer game. (laughs) That's a long game. I'll tell you what. Yeah. Yeah. By a three-year suck, you always to score two nil. No, and they're they're they're, they're adorable. It was Little a kids, yeah, sure. just running around the field, you know. And there was some of them were running the right way, and some of them it's aren't. Awesome. And one of the parents, honestly, this I'm not making this up, screamed, "You're blowing the game!" <laughs> oh my goodness! I don't. Goodness. I don't. I don't. So this is saying crappy parents <laughs> equals crappy kids. That's the more a parent behaved poorly amazing. by being overly critical, second guessing the ref, or yelling abuse. Such as, well, <laughs> their child was more likely to, to display antisocial behaviors. Yeah, yeah, that all course. makes sense. Absolutely. And if they're like that in public, what are they like at home? Yeah, Ugh. there you go. Yikes. It's a real battleground. And now here's Pat with a new song about... Kids. Uh, <laughs> kids. It's <laughs> not that kid today. <laughs> you have a song about this, Pat? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just enjoying the, the news and the sports. Uh, we're on to this. Stupid world record. 
An octogenarian from Texas has claimed the Guinness World Record as the oldest fitness instructor. Yes. Tim Minnick, who works as a trainer at Gold's Gym in Austin, achieved the record title, the oldest age of fitness instructor, 81. All right. Good for him. Busting the previous record of 65. Whoa. Minnick what? earned his personal training cer certification from the National Academy of Sports Medicine when he was 73. He told Guinness, I'm healthy. I'm hopeful I can do this for a while longer. I like watching the ladies' bosoms. <laughs> and make How them about jump up and ass? <laughs> First thing I do is to clean and jerk. That's getting my balls off the floor. I bet this guy can kick all your asses. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. He's got I'm just saying, when a sc scrotum falls out of the sleeve of by his ankle oh. in his sweatpants. <laughs> <laughs> Do they all fall down like that? I mean, no. No, no I've said this before. My, no. My, no, my but... testicles are right up right where they are. Yeah. I will put my testicles up against anyone. I'll put mine up against <laughs> yours, too. Well, you know, I'm, I'm very limited as to who I put mine up against. Uh, I'm just good. I'm you. glad to hear that. Yeah, okay. Uh, I yes. have the testicles of a 25-year-old man. Do you? He yes. wants them back. <laughs> very where are yours... Um, <laughs> during. Are they close to the body or are they... Well, they well during, they that's one close. of the uh, physiological... Yeah. Do they, they kind Mine of... Mine get real close. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Well, they, it, oh, yeah. It's a squeeze yeah. process. How do you know? Yeah. Um, How do you know? You mirror? No, you just know Since and you, you feel yeah. it. What do you know? Because there right, have yeah. been times where they haven't done that. They've stayed low. Really? That's impossible. And it's not impossible. Well, then you did not arrive. No, because I had, I had to adjust because it was not uh, pleasurable. There was too uh, much banging, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like a pendulum. Yes. Wow. Uh, like you're a pendulum telling doom. me yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. you're just too no. energetic. <laughs> oh, I can get frenzied. Is that... <laughs> <laughs> if someone said, came in, and didn't know any of us, and said, who has made frenzied love? <laughs> you would raise your hand. No. I, uh, <laughs> you I, yeah, just... yeah, I have. I've, yeah. I have done it. Okay. But that's not my norm, no. Okay. It's hard to be Slow frenzied when you when you insist on being bottom. <laughs> um, I don't know how this happened. I thought we were talking about some fitness well, instructor. All of a sudden, well, you and your ball talk yeah. got us thinking. You've got uh, chicks' balls close to anyone he wants to play. Right. It's very, very disturbing. Put them up against anybody. All right. Well, you've all but said that yours hang in, impossibly low. Yeah, you said it, they yeah, hit the make, water. You, make the that you said it was dramatic. No, no, no. no that's no, what no. you said. No, 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 when they hit the water. <laughs> That's, that's it. That's, that's, that's when you're done. You get your stuff and go. You get your stuff. Uh, you well, the way you guys and... talk, I didn't know. It sounded like everybody no had a classic this problem. Uh, okay. Yeah. Just asking. Just I don't great. have any. It's just gravity. Yeah, sure. It's Can a you similar imagine? Thing, a similar thing that might happen to the female breasts. Okay. Can you imagine what it would be like to have these uh, no, carrying them around? Sweaty? Don't they get go sweaty? Get a, go get a tube sock, a tube sock, a golf ball, and a pool ball. Okay, Whoa, that's a dramatic. That's pretty heavy. Go get, go get a whole fried, uh, a whole chicken, uh -huh. and uh, cut it in half, mm -hmm. and then <laughs> wear it around your waist and hang it from your groin. <laughs> that's exactly what it's like. Half a chicken. Half a chicken. <laughs> really? Isn't it? No. Half a chicken. It's always there. You can feel them. Oh yeah. Ace, hey, what are your balls up to? Yeah, same, same place I've always been. No, I've never sat on mine. See, it's because I have their nice, uh, yeah. Oh. Okay. I've heard of people. Mr. Oscar Belvedere. sat on his guy. He was just talking about it not that long ago. Sat on them. <laughs> sat on them. Wow. He did. He... I think it was at a strip club. Really? And as I'm saying this, I don't know if I'm supposed to be saying it out loud at all, let alone are. on a radio. Many show. years ago, I'm sure. Uh, could we move on? I Organizers of the longest sled dog race in the eastern United States. How long are these sleds, anyway? <laughs> <laughs> they are canceling the event due to lack of... Snow. 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 Mm. The Can-Am Crown International Sled Dog Races have taken place in northern Maine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For more than three decades, but this year's below average snowfall make it's not safe to run the 250 mile long race. Sometimes sled is better. <laughs> Can Am President Dennis. Oh, come on. What? Dennis C Y R. Sir? Or Seer. Ky I knew a C Y R and it was pronounced Seer. Kyer? Okay. Kyer? It could be Kyer. Kyer? 
Smith. Chire? <laughs> but me knowing a guy named C-Y-R and, and, and being pronounced Sear... Doesn't help? No, nothing? Yeah, come okay. on. <laughs> Real yeah, life experience? A forecasted a heavy rainstorm and unseasonably warm weather also bode poorly for trail conditions. Uh, Kyer? <laughs> I think we're losing the meat of the story here. Said it's a decision made with heavy hearts but necessary caution. No, it's a sled dog race and there's no snow and now it's going to rain. That's the story. I don't know why I'm reading it other than... I think it could be a uh, one of those Hallmark movies, Josh. Oh, yeah? You know, she's the... Uh, Musher? No, she's the clerk. <laughs> I guess maybe you could have, you could switch it around. She could be a musher. Yeah, she could be a musher, and then she goes and he's the organizer of the race, and she's really mad at him for canceling the race. I came all the way up here, and now you're going to cancel this? Yes. No, you're missing it. <laughs> the old Listen, yeah. bitch. The, the, the meat cute, as they say. Yeah. No. He loves that. Who told him about meat? I, no I want to punch whoever did. I want to kill them. Uh -huh. Whoever said it's that. A technical I have an term. Idea. It's like 19 times he's it's already such oh, a yeah. dumb, dumb term. Meat right. cute. And what about the musher's mother? Where's she? Mother musher? That's right. Where is she? Uh, she'll be there. Oh, no. right. she'll yeah. fly. The, you, you, you've got to have someone from virtually every ethnicity. Uh huh. Another meet cute Hallmark movies. Got to cover every base. Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Um. I'm Finally, <laughs> stupid world record. An Iowa musician. Ace has broken the Guinness World Record for the most amps played through at the same time. We had this story because I have this in my calendar to look at Amp World Record Update. I oh. actually put it in here. It's, it's, it's happened. So Mr. he did. John Locker played through 81 amps simultaneously for five minutes straight on his bass. All right. Boy, I, I bet that was unlistenable. <laughs> His, his successful base. attempt at the renovated Val Air Ballroom in Des Moines, Des Moines. <laughs> beat the previous record of 50. We've I been see. there. Good for him. Yeah, we've been there. Now, um, oh, we have been there. While, yeah. he, was, while he was right. playing his bass, who was delivering the pizzas for him? <laughs> Why, was he hungry during it? <laughs> oh, uh, you're saying that he would normally be an employee. Delivery yeah. man? <laughs> Poor bass players get, they don't get the respect. They don't. What's he, what, what's that joke about, what do you do with a bass player on your port? What is it? Tip him. A lot of times it's like, what do you do if there was a Webster University graduate on your porch? Oh. You uh, pay him for the pizza. Yeah. Pay him for the yeah, pizza, that's it. That's where I went to school, that's why I used that. Yeah, oh. now yesterday we had the story of the um, bass player that had said that he didn't know uh, if his band had broken up or not because he was, like, fourth on the list. Right, because yeah. he's a bass player and nobody tells it. Rage Against the Machine, machine bassist, yeah. Bass, yeah. yeah for Rage Against the Machine. It's a good way not to answer the question, it. honestly. It's a nice... It's yeah. cute. Yeah. Leave me alone, people. <laughs> um, I don't know what those other a-holes... I don't know. Yeah. I don't get involved I'm in that. I'm a bass player. player. Yeah. So going through 50 amps, is this all about volume? I have no idea. It must be. It's all about... Uh, he's it's all a about that bass. Great electrician, <laughs> I guess. Uh, Chris is not wrong. Hey, thanks a lot for that. You know what we're going to hear now. <laughs> turn, turn it up to 11. Uh, right now. Um, you know what you're going to hear? The, the amps, the 81 amps. How would you like to hear them through a uh, Raycon earbuds? Oh, wow. See how they sound. How about it's that, huh? I'm all about that bass, there you go. No yeah. I'm all about that bass, oh, about yeah. That bass, no now, that, that, this really isn't about basses. It's about butts, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, so you have a fat ass and no boobs? Terrific. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they're saying. <laughs> can, I you you can I tell you a little bit about... Can I tell you a little bit about... Thank you for that interpretation. I, I didn't understand what the song was about. I, I, I liked it. Can I tell you a little bit trouble. about Raycon Please. earbuds? Please. Possibly in a way God's we sake. can share it with them. <laughs> Raycon have optimized gel tips that fit every ear ever made. The Raycon earbuds are comfortable, actually stay in your ears, whether you're going for a run, walking the dog, dancing to your favorite tunes. That's right, dancing to Megan Trainer. Like any love story, Raycons are here for a good time and a long time. Eight hours of playtime, 32 hours of battery life. This is how you meet your Raycon, the meet cute from your Raycon earbuds. <laughs> oh, yeah, she walks up and she can't yeah. hear anything he's saying because uh -huh. she has the earbuds in, and he's saying, wow, right. you wore that? She's thinking, um, this is a great song. He looks really cute. And then eventually <laughs> she realizes Don't that he's... Don't ever say that to a woman. What? Can, you, can that? you see him the first time uh, he heard this? 
Well, you know, that's called a meat cute. It is. That's <laughs> fascinating. A meat cute? Really? Now, the ideal uh, thing about the uh, about the Raycon earbuds uh -huh. is you can tune everything. I could have, for example, tuned out Chick McGee just yeah. and listen to something else more The thing I love about them is they fit even my tiny little ear. Well, I nose. also like the, the standard headphones from Raycon. Uh -huh. I keep telling people if you're going on vacation, get them for your kids. They'll just sit there in the back seat uh, watching a movie, <laughs> quiet as mice. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh -huh. Ah, uh, you don't have to hear them going, are we there yet? <laughs> Sorry. We've got a deal for you. Go to buyraycon.com slash Tom right now and get 15% off your Raycon order and you get free shipping. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Score 15% off and free shipping. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. When we come back, a request. Uh, also, oh, a uh, request. A request. We're going to also uh, hear from Mr. Godwin. Sure. Is that correct? We have a song over there? Whatever you want. Okay, good. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, this is Nick Griffin, and you're listening to... This is a song so girls don't get anorexia. Okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> Ooh, I want to be a plus-sized model, <laughs> the kind that can't run very far, doodle-doodle-doodle, because doodle -doodle. if I could only be a plus-sized model, I know I'd be a big, big star. Please feel <laughs> so some, some people get sensitive about it, uh -huh. but don't because the beautiful women are the big women. And, I agree. Uh -huh. And I like I gained some weight, then I couldn't afford to keep it. And I want a carbo load without having to exercise. I don't want to worry if the fat goes to my thighs. I want to wear a plus size preserve of room. I want to eat chips and wash them down with beer. <laughs> well, I've got a plus-size dream, but I'm plus-sized ornery for the best job in the world goes to the bigger girls than me. They're all sluts. <laughs> <laughs> You uh, kind of came off the road as a comedian uh, many years ago when you started doing the TBS show. How many? We started in '95, so really, 14 years. Wow, doing it. But you occasionally go back out on the road and do I do. Stand -up. I do. I took a little time off uh, the last couple of years, but now I'm uh, I'm getting back out there. You know, mm -hmm. it can it can kind of burn you out being being on the road. But, sure. You know, I always see stuff on the road that you just don't see anywhere else and it just makes you laugh and, and mm -hmm. i was staying at this uh, this uh, hotel and uh at one of my club dates and uh i go down to the to the jacuzzi uh, mm -hmm. and there's a sign above the jacuzzi that says no one shall jump or dive into the jacuzzi <laughs> Now, if you're going to dive <laughs> headfirst into a jacuzzi, are you really going to be swayed by the word shall? <laughs> Come on, boys, let's go into jacuzzi. Uh, hold on. I see the king's English. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What the heck? I'm guessing that was a, a, a lawyer. They really should That have just gone. made me laugh all day. Mm -hmm. That takes away the loneliness of the road. Yeah. You can't get lonely. Mm -hmm. in last week and said yeah, Thursday. He always listens on Thursdays because that's the best day that there, there may be an incident. <laughs> Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Bob and Tom 24-7. Not on air, online, all the time. Bob and Tom 24-7. Has this ever happened to you? Scalpel. Clamp. Knife. Ow! Oh, hey! What the f***? Ah! <laughs> Waking up during an operation can be both traumatic and painful. Ah! 
<laughs> Did you know that you have a choice when it comes to choosing an anesthesia? Really? <laughs> what? <laughs> Introducing Ed Padurl's Anesthesia City. Anesthesia City. Hey, Eddie Padurl here. When you need to get gooned on the goofy juice, it really helps to shop around. And there's no better time than now, as we're getting giddy at Anesthesia City. Mm -hmm. It's our once a year Malaise Days. Malaise Days! <laughs> Bring in your Zoo Book coupon, and we'll knock off an additional 50% on scratch and dent ethers, pentothals, and nitrous. Anesthesia City! And oh, yeah, free balloons for the kids. Hey, if they're real young, Make sure they don't suck on any of that balloon air, if you know what I'm saying. Anesthesia City, open every day, 10 until 10. Nine. <laughs> I'm Ed Padurl saying, so what's it going to take for me to put you in a coma today? Bob and Tom. Five. Four. Three. Two. two one. <laughs> 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 they put the F in professional. Can I tell you something? Hey. My mother used to chew her toenails. No way. In front of me. Oh, God. Oh, boy. And Clothed or not? I would Clothed. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is a visual. Poor Bob has lost oh, it over there. Hello, little best of right here. <laughs> right here. That would be, I, you know. I, totally I even, naked. I think How did you, you even get, think of that? You would get, See anything you like, boy? I, think I remember you get that. Free psychiatry for life. Free Prozac, whatever you want. program for that. <laughs> we are going to fix you. How about it, boy? <laughs> Anything you like? You can imagine the twisting oh that would be involved. There's a lot of people who can't even do that. Okay. She was Show's very over. limber. Show's over. Morning laughter. <laughs> Just might be the best medicine. If you want to turn your daddy parts orange, eat some Cheetos and watch some porn. Bob and... <laughs> well, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Joe, you, you never heard that uh, phrase. Remember, they used to say, "Well, I never." I love that. <laughs> you know, I'm, I can tell you, never did, um, ma'am. No one would mount that on a chair. <laughs> oh. Chick, may I tell this story? You once told me that you there was a guy who was treating you very poorly. Yes, and you you didn't you kind of went, you know what, sir? Uh, and he goes, hey, let me get a picture. And you're like, no, I'm not gonna. Uh, no. You haven't been treating me well. <laughs> Why would I do a, take a picture with I you? I don't remember this. It's happened so often. And he goes, well, I never. And you said to him, you know, that's the problem, is that no one has never said to you, oh, no, you're acting yeah. wrong. Yeah. Ah. I remember that now. And I remember yeah. thinking, that's a pretty good way to... Uh... We were signing something somewhere, and you saw for the first time, someone just came up, looked at me, and threw me a CD <laughs> with a smirk on their face. Yeah. But I did the same thing to Joe Gibbs when I met him at Cleveland's, Cleveland's Municipal State. People get nervous. I couldn't speak. Yeah. I just thrust my sad hat at him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah people get nervous. It's all right call. to yeah. be nervous, but it's not. Say it ain't so, Joe. This guy was being rude to yeah. you. So. He was. He was yeah. mean. He was oh, mean oh, let's man. just move forward. We'll be polite to everybody and uh, yes. continue with sports. That's all we had. Oh, Joe. that's it? I have an update on our swinging pots from yesterday. Do you remember when we were talking about that? Like used in a Catholic service? Yes. We were talking about Lent, and we were talking about... Uh, about oh, never mind. Extra. No, I was, I was looking for a news uh, extra for your... Oh, it's not really piece. news, but okay, Father John weighed in on this. No. Because... News extra! Now, we were talking about Lent, and the fact that some archbishop somewhere said it's okay to eat alligator... Because it's a reptile. It's and, a re and that's actually true. I mean, that's not... But And I was saying, it seems like these... There doesn't seem to be a hierarchy where, like, the Pope tells you what you can eat. It's all these random archbishops. And one guy said you could eat beaver because I, it swims. I mean, that's... Yeah, but that was in the 1600s right. that he declared 16, that. Right, 1600. So then so. it's law. Right. That's how it works. Uh, yeah. So what did... Uh, uh, to me, were... there seems to be a very clear hierarchy when it comes to the Catholic Church, though. But the, not when yeah. it comes to land, apparently. But then you were talking about... <laughs> Somebody was talking about the pots that they use with the Chick incense. Chick enjoys them, and uh, yeah. I enjoy the pots. They, what is it? No, they, you, they swing the pots, and they're full of And you asked incense, if they could yeah. go all the way around. Yeah, they do a 360. And I'm Father sure they John can. sent me a letter. What does this Father John know about Catholic schools? Well, he's a priest. Oh. And oh. I don't. <laughs> right. Hey, Christy, FYI, swinging the incense pot called a thurible. Oh. Now we learned something. 360 degrees is liturgically 
permissible. Well, it's rare to see it practiced anymore, but in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, it was not completely uncommon. Holy cow. That's cool. You put in the soul and Cirque the soul land. That's what he says. <laughs> no, he said particularly at African-American or gospel masses, which tended to be much more free with incorporating movement into their worship style. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, you could... It's a full 360. A yeah, wow. it's possible. So I are, no are, they on, are they on uh, chains? Or? Uh -huh. They're on like a long... Chain. How big? How big is the smoke thing? Um, uh, it's like this. like a lantern size. Okay. Yeah. Lantern. Yeah. Exactly. So if you were going to swing it around, you'd re you'd have to make sure you didn't. You'd have to really get it going like a jump rope because if you if you pause too far up, it's going to yeah. fall down. Father John said, "I've n I've seen it done, but I've never had the guts to try it myself." Yeah. Yeah. What kind of incense do they use? It's like a briquette they light and it turns into ash. I know, mm. but I mean, is it like, can you go get it at like you mean a the head scent? shop? A <laughs> scent? Yeah. Is that what you're after? Shop? I don't no, know what scent they use. Wouldn't that be a great gag? You go, you go get that marijuana incense and slip it in there. <laughs> that oh, that smells like marijuana. <laughs> Uh, no one seems to be <laughs> uh, laughing. Okay, Why it smokes a lot. I know that oh, it can boy, be it really. Ever, yeah. But Pat, you were an altar boy. Yeah, I was. Yeah, we swung in those babies. Yeah. Have you ever had the pleasure of going to a black church? Yep. I, I mean, have. Well, it is a pure celebration. Man. I went to a Catholic mass in the Bahamas. Yeah. It was unbelievable. They were dancing joyful. in the aisles. They joyful. came down. Oh, it's, it's really so wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful mass. Better music. Yeah. If you get the opportunity to yeah. worship at one of those, do it. I went to boat in the Bahamas. A uh, church boat? No, just a boat. Oh, that's really <laughs> joyful, too. I went sailing. It was awesome. I went, no, yeah, it was awesome. Yeah. I, went, no. I, I, I felt the glory of God as I, I just, you know, peeled through the water. Of I course. went to a casino in the Bahamas. That was fun. That's pretty rad. Yeah. Oh, you guys. <laughs> Played uh, that Korean poker, whatever, Pai pi Gao. That was fun. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Pai Gao. Pai Gao. Yeah, uh, so we have Christy at the news desk. Anything that's going to lead to a Pat Godwin story? I don't know, Pat. Oh. What do you got for me? Oh, I got uh, the, the, the cocaine story. Oh. All right, the, I got the, that. The sky. And oh, the uh, was... coke in the boat. That one. Yeah. That'd be no. Good. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> not. <laughs> no. It's, Can we? You're I close. Like that you'll, you'll know as soon as I say. Okay. U.S. Customs agents in California intercepted over three million dollars worth of cocaine hidden in a shipment of limes. Oh, oh wow! Oh, well, that's Limey. that's because if you're you know going to do cocaine, you don't want to get scurvy. <laughs> is it scurvy? Is that the, which is it? I never can remember. Ricketts? Yes. Is it Ricketts or scurvy? Oh uh, yeah, it's scurvy. Is it scurvy? I think no one's lime and one's scurvy. Uh, iron anemia. I, I what? Don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll find out. I'm sorry. Oh, somebody <laughs> find out. Officers at the Ote Mesa Commercial Facility. Oh, Ote. <laughs> well, those guys must man. hate Eddie Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> Every right. time, where do you work? I'll work at the Ote. And, uh, Ote oh, really? Mesa. Ote. Uh, the 42-year-old man was driving a commercial tractor trailer with a shipment manifested as Persian limes during an inspection. A canine unit screened the shipment and alerted officers who removed 158 suspicious packages from the trailer. They were found to contain 435 pounds of cocaine, estimated street value $3.4 million. Ah, now, uh, Pat, you have a, a song? Sure. <laughs> wonder what song it's going to be. <laughs> Custom check for cocaine smuggling. This a crime. They pulled her over a truck. It was full, full of limes. They put the dime in the cocaine. They wrapped them all up. They put a driver in the truck. Man, he's out of luck. They put the lime in the cocaine. Thinking you won't find it. Put the lime in the cocaine. El Chapo is behind it. Or Custom says it looks like three million. Yeah. Custom says it maybe it's a million. Yeah. Customs, it'll never hit the street. All that lime and cocaine make one hell of a margarita. Now let me get this straight. <laughs> they put lime in the cocaine. They wrap them all up. They send one poor schmuck alone in a truck. They put the lime in the cocaine. Thinking we won't find it. Put the lime in the cocaine. El Chapo is behind it. You put the lime in the cocaine. You swallow them together. Put the lime in the cocaine. Strap it under your sweater. Put the lime in the cocaine. Better hurry fast, put the bomb in the cocaine and shove it up your ass. Win the keister, just in time for Easter. <laughs> Boy, it shows you how tough, uh, what a great singer Harry Nielsen was, doesn't it? You nailed it, Pat. Oh, thank you. So that, good. That one part where you go, Doctor, 
Correct. That's rough. I've always liked that song. Oh, yeah, it's cool. That is a great song. Well, you want to sing in a low-pitched, sexy voice because that's what people prefer, apparently. That's right. They say that the crooners, like Barry White, is sexier for a long-term relationship. That low-pitched tone. Researchers found mm-hmm. lower voice pitch makes men and women sound more attractive to potential long-term partners. Uh, oh, yeah. I've heard people say, uh, oh, yeah, baby. People say too much of anything is not good for you, baby. Other than navy beans. I can't get enough navy beans. I don't I just love it. I like a lot of butter on my navy beans. Oh, it's cornbread. Cornbread. We love the cornbread. on my navy beans. It's not a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good is he the uh, fattest uh, of all singers? He was a large man. Yeah. yeah. He's I don't think he's guy. the fattest of all singers. Well, I mean, you know, with the, let's, let's put had, it up on the board. Yeah. He was the fattest of all uh, that, singers. That had hits. I mean, uh, John Popper was oh. up there for a while. Yeah. This new guy, Jelly Roll, may be the biggest. He's, he's a big, big dude. Yeah. 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 Barry White no longer with us, but he's yeah. had, he had that deep voice. Israel. Oh, that guy, the uh, Kama Kauai, who's a somewhere Hawaiian, over the rainbow Hawaiian singer oh, right. whose weight peaked at 756 pounds. Whoa. Yeah, he was just deceased. No, uh, Hawaiian singer. Yeah, wow, great singer. They also found a lower pitch in men like Star Wars villain Darth Vader Ooh. boosts their social status. Oh, really? It makes them sound more Let's formidable. Don't make me destroy you. Are we sure the author of this study wasn't just into black dudes? <laughs> <laughs> That's a very real possibility. Hey, Cheryl, can I talk to you for a second? Uh, is there any way I can hit on Barry White <laughs> and James Earl Jones and not make it seem uh, obvious? The you like pitch. fat black dudes, don't you? <laughs> Uh, made them sound more formidable against amongst rather younger men and more prestigious amongst older men. I don't think it's hurting David Beckham any to have a high-pitched voice. Well, no, probably not. Ah. I don't know about that. Have you ever heard him talk? Yes. It's really <laughs> easy. Don't, don't women, uh, shut up, shut up, and just yeah, take your shirt Lord, off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good point. Yeah. Just show you me a picture of your, uh, what ad is that in the underwear? Oh, uh, Calvin Klein. Who else is the deeper singer? Josh Turner, you ever heard him? The uh-uh. great uh, country... A lot of fun country stuff. What about the guy from the Oakridge? He's very yeah. Oh, yeah. sure, yeah. So do men like a, a, a deep I, voice on a woman? Uh, I don't hate it, um, depending on... Yeah, But I again, so. looks go, uh, you know... Right. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want anybody hideous with a deep voice, then that's more of a... Who's the most famous? Deepest deep, voice Kathleen, famous? Deep? Kathleen Turner, maybe. Yeah, hers was kind of... Brenda a, Bacaro, maybe? Demi Moore has a kind of a deep yeah, voice. Lauren Bacall had that smoky... That's but okay. if you have a girl that sounds like this all the time, wouldn't that be a little annoying? Uh, okay, don't do that anymore. <laughs> and of course, Pat, yes, the uh, B. Arthur, Arthur uh, yes. the number one sex Maud. in there for a while. Yeah. <laughs> Emma Stone in uh, Superbad's voice is pretty deep. I don't know what happened She kind of has a deeper voice. Yeah, yeah, a deeper voice. They say that Abraham Lincoln had a very high squeaky voice. Yeah. I'm the president of the United States. Yeah. Thank That's you. very Thank good. You. I like that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You know, Daniel Day-Lewis did not answer to anything but Abraham or Mr. President on set. Oh, boy. That's, yeah. that's the old race. Why don't you try acting? That's the old Lawrence Olivia. Yeah. That's the uh, Mr. President, would you like a pepperoni or sausage pizza? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> Mr. President, your cell phone's ringing. Yeah, yeah. Mr. President, you're Pardon bad me. Uh, Mr. Bad Lincoln, uh, here. <laughs> here's your latte. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's decaf extra hot, Mr. President. Yeah. Voices can really make a difference, I think. I mean... Well, you uh, one of your favorites is Sam Elliott. Yeah. And my gosh, if he isn't way down there, Ooh, huh? Yes. He's the guy that goes to the beef people. Yep, yep. that's yeah. it. For dinner. Do you assume deeper voice, larger... No, I never thought that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Cow. Dr. Cow. Dr. Cow. Is that, is the I'm not voice, a meat honey, true? so I don't care. <laughs> It's a meat honey. It's what for, it's I was, for dinner. I was not aware that that was a term. I don't think meat it is. Honey. I like be. that. Is it a beef, beef honey? She just said meat honey. Meat honey. honey. Meat honey. Meat honey. We're going to go with meat honey. She, she, I have she never does. heard it, but I've heard, made it It's the up. opposite of a size queen. Right. I'm not a I'm meat a, honey. I don't. No, it's, it's the same queen. as a size queen. It's but the same yeah. as a she's size saying queen. That she's just, not one. Yeah. yeah, I'm not. That's never been a but priority. Honey. Didn't you famously tell us a story one morning about a teeny nope. tiny? <laughs> uh, I thought no. it was on the air. No. 
She accidentally walked in on me while I was peeing. Itty bitty. Sock. I did not. Now people are going to think I really did. I did not see. <laughs> <laughs> Tom walked in on me when I was sitting down one time. Did he? Well, he did really? that to me one Chrissy time. Chrissy walked in on her when she was <laughs> sitting on the toilet. You didn't lock the door. I forgot to lock I the door. I forgot to lock the door, I, uh, too. Oh, boy. I, I forgot to lock. I Tom everything. cursed when he saw. It. I forgot to lock the door one morning. <laughs> shut the door. And Bob walked in on me, and he hasn't come back since. <laughs> <laughs> now I have a paranoia about it. Like I double. I make sure yeah, I do too. Yeah. yeah. I told you I, I went to the. Uh, I was at a, a Target. I love Target. Great stores. Always yes. nice and clean. Some of the finest shopping carts that are out there. And yeah, uh, I walk into Target. Popcorn. That's and there's cute. a lady standing in front of the uh, family bathroom. <laughs> Just standing there. Yes. You know? Yes. And I look around and uh, the green thing on the door or whatever, so I guess I can go in. I yeah. walk over. She steps aside. I open the door and there's her friend sitting down. <laughs> well, what the hell? What kind of friend well, yeah. is Tom, that? What? Is they she's... were hitting on you. What kind of lookout is that? Did you I... go home with them? Oh, that no. was a trap. Yeah, you almost got snared in their little web there. <laughs> yeah. It's a common thing That's called, uh, what is it? It's a last week. target. All right, you, Shirley, you go in there and pretend to take a dump. Pig butcher. We're going to wait for <laughs> Don't lock the door. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to stay I, out why here. Didn't, she should have said, oh, I'm sorry, my friend's in there. First of all, why are you using the family bathroom? Because I was in a rush. I had to go, much like right now. <laughs> this is a real thing, Tom. Pig butchering is a scam involving a fraudster posing as a friend or romantic interest to deceive individuals into providing funds for fictitious investments. It's uh, the subject of last week tonight with John Oliver on HBO this week. Hmm. They, and they can send you texts, and they'll say, hey, is this... Uh, is this uh, uh, Tiffany that I met last night at the dance club? And you go, no, uh, wrong number. And then that, that's all oh, I need. Yeah. Oh, yeah, never respond to no, those. No, you don't, yeah. na- don't ever respond to a text unless you know who it is. My husband yeah. gets some of those sometimes. Yeah, there's a, yeah. There's a, the big scam is the... <laughs> oh, well, he's a trafficker. <laughs> <laughs> the big scam is the, is the hospital. Well, he's on the list. Now uh-huh. it gets weird. What's the hospital one? The hospital one is, is in essence, you uh, send someone a thing, and it's very elaborate, and then... Uh, then you're, they think you're going to send them back. Oh, this is this text was not meant for me. Sorry. Oh, so the, it's almost it's real then, hard. Then the conversation begins, and pretty soon it's oh, this was about a friend who was having a heart no, transplant. Just, if you uh, don't know it, delete it. And then uh, pretty soon they're asking you for money. And that's a yeah. major scam. It's oh, a really bad deal. I've like, gotten some that like some of those spam ones where if I were married, it could lead to divorce proceed. Like a, oh sure, a picture of some chick. Yeah, yep. and it's like, hey, I love, yeah. I had fun last night. You're like, hey, what, oh, honey? I swear to God, <laughs> that is not that's my, why he that is not my handwriting. Yeah, yeah. that is and not my signature. Gonna, who's going to believe you? <laughs> right, right. So, uh, we've in conclusion, deep voices are uh, are sexier, hot. Okay, again, yeah. this is like uh, more hey, news from the Mister Obvious Institute. Mm. Is there? A, do you suppose there are guys that are turned on by the like the high squeaky. Oh, I don't know. Uh, depends. Uh, of course. Yeah. There are, there there are yeah. people that are turned on by sure. everything. Yeah. People, there's a woman out there right now, Tom, that her only dream is to take you to bed. <laughs> <laughs> and she just wants it so just bad. Just wants it so and, uh, bad. To the point it needs it. Needs yeah, it. Needs right. it. Wants right now, it. I got one word for you. Baby. Has to have it. <laughs> <laughs> Two words. Explosive <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> oh. And... and she just had an orgasm. Yeah, <laughs> that was the capper. That, yeah. was, the, okay. that was all yeah. she wanted. So sorry. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, let's Yikes. see now. Uh, it's true! We have uh, uh, a bunch of Poor stuff. Poor woman. We, uh, we, don't, we don't really talk about all that much. What? Uh, we should probably point out to people that we have our uh, a live stream on YouTube. You can see what's going on yeah, here. Yeah, you can. Once well, I we got have, sick uh, the other day. You go home and you, you t- and you bob and, t- and it's here live. It's the it's weirdest like, damn thing. It's like thing. you're sitting in here, isn't yes, it? Yes, it's like a 75, you guys in 75 inch high def. It's creepy. Now, um, we will be <laughs> also telling you about the Bob and Tom 24-7 all day replay. Here, what's going on at the show. And here's some classic stuff from the past. Speaking of classics, comedian, classic, Mr. Tim Cavanaugh will be joining us later on this morning. We have more music coming from uh, Mr. Pat Cavanaugh. Godwin. And uh, Pat, I know you had some spinal surgery. Yeah, a couple years ago. We have a, a story coming up about someone who stole a bunch of spinal implants. <laughs> now, I don't know how you black market those babies. Yeah. Mm. If you're walking down an alley and someone goes, Psst, I've got something for your 
posture, <laughs> you're going to need a really good surgeon. Take this to your surgeon. <laughs> we'll see what, what's going on there. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Catch any part of the show you missed later today on our YouTube channel. Strapping on a guitar, and now what, are you going to play your new one here? No, I'll play. I'll play a new one. Okay. Well, I'm would, not I, like Haywood. I can't write a song about two minutes, but uh, I don't know. But you had a really good one you played last time. I really liked. There we go. That's that's working. Wayne had a wreck with a big old buzz, and you couldn't tell what kind of car that was. He rolled it in a field where he turkey hunts. That's four total cars in the past six months. But Wayne must not have learned his lesson yet. He just stuck a handicap tag on a black Corvette. <laughs> Who the hell puts a handicap tag on a black Corvette? Kawasta me bag and the cast is still wet. A shattered left leg with his neck in a brace. Wayne's trying to get to heaven in a high-speed chase. He's squealing tires and won't turn around. Got on a damp diaper and a hospital gown. <laughs> Doing a 120 in black fiberglass. Got a nurse on call and a cop up his ass. On 14 prescriptions for a compacted desk. Wayne's doctor's worried and his wife is pissed. And the news chopper chase. Chasing him up in the air. Wayne could give a damn about Obamacare. And his all state agents getting all upset. Who the hell puts a handicap tag on a black Corvette? Hey Amen. Do the big Bruce Springsteen in it. Uh huh. It's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Last time you were here, Eric, you impressed us with your uh, musical skills. You uh, Oh, that's right. You, you are, are a manualist. manualist. Yes, I am. Now, for those that don't know what that means, manualism is the um, art. art of manipulating one's hands to make, uh, there you go, to make that sound. <laughs> that, that wasn't me yet. I didn't. There, there we go. <laughs> you, oh, you man. must be, Sorry, uh, excuse you me. must kick ass at parties. My, that was my no hands. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know the chicks dig this. Yeah, well, I know they do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're at a party. Yeah, this is my, Eric, this is my, this, I go, this is my go-to on a first date. I'm going to say, if you're at a party hey, and you see Eric and there's a big group of guys hanging around him, this is what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> they're looking, yeah, they're looking uh -huh. for that, and then my Dungeons and Dragons kit, too, uh -huh. as I'm doing that. <laughs> so, uh, uh Give us a sample. All right, there you go. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Push it. 
<laughs> I see the, see the group of guys <laughs> laughing now at yeah. the party. Uh-huh. Yeah. What? Oh, wow. While the girls are all over there have rolling you, their <laughs> eyes. That is amazing. Have you ever been laid doing that? <laughs> Your wedding vows didn't include a vow of chastity, but you're not going to see any action unless you act now. So pick up the phone and order the, I know I'm not going to get any for a month unless I send you some flowers bouquet. Right now. That's the, I know I'm not going to get any for a month unless I order you some flowers bouquet. With one phone call, you can cover your ass and get some ass. It's a win-win. Call now. Because when Cupid shoots his arrow on February 14th, you won't be shooting anything unless you get her some flowers. <laughs> Hi, this is Larry Reeb, Uncle Larry. It's a sick world, and I'm a happy guy, and you're listening to the Bob and Tom Radio. Morning, Bob and Tom Show. Hey, boys, is it a Pope? Hi, hey, your pontiffness, how are you? Uh, can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm on a Pope phone in the Pope mobile. We were, we were talking about road rage. Uh, well, you know, you just got to learn how to calm down. Uh-huh. Take it easy. We all are brothers out of here. Yeah, that's right. Hey! It's the one on the right. Step on it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, even the uh, the Pope. The, 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 you know, the, that's the trick is to just to kick back and relax. You know, maybe sure. pick up some tunes or whatever. And, well, you're a very. Hey, Grandma, it's a green. <laughs> 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 it's time once again for people who suck at small talk. <laughs> hey, nice weather we're having today, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, it, it is rather amazing the cyclical manner in, in which meteorological trends manifest themselves. <laughs> Jeez, sorry I f***ing asked. <laughs> Join us again next time for People Who Suck at Small Talk. <laughs> Bob and Tom, 24-7. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Friend to that show. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We're uh, listening intently to the news being delivered by Christy Lee here, here we on are? the show. Yes. <laughs> when do we start when doing did, that? Yeah, thanks. Well, let's... let's Pretend? <laughs> start right now. Okay. How's that? Hey, Christy, what do you got over there? Yeah. Philadelphia police are asking for the public's help to identify a suspect after an unusual car theft in Center City last how, week. How do they say Phil, Philadelphia. 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 A total of 26 spinal implants were stolen from a car parked in a garage on the 2300 block of Race Street, February 19th. <laughs> the medical implants valued at more than $100,000, according Whoa. to authorities. Hmm, that's right where I so lived. Presumably this person had no idea what they were stealing. Well, would you look at it and go... How am I going to... Why would you steal it? He maybe, didn't know what it was. Maybe you have a girlfriend that's a hunchback. You <laughs> figure one of these will work. Yeah? You're good to have so straighten her out. Yeah. You know, she's what got... If- Hey, Modo, let me put these in you. Yeah. <laughs> Three humps. I prefer the two in the front. <laughs> titanium, maybe it's worth something. That's what I was going to uh, ask. What was it made out of? Because the Pat, metal you, you might You have, be... uh, you have stuff. Uh, I have rod screws in one cage, yeah. Seven, oh. eight screws, three rods. But you and, can't do a back bend. I don't think I could do a good one. <laughs> and you're still paying them off, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, got, you got your monthly on that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got my bi-weekly. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, you have a song about this? I do have a song about uh, a bed. I mean, my, my bedroom is a mess, is it, if that's oh. what you mean. No, but I'd, I'd love to hear it. Your bedroom is a mess. Why is that? Because of because I have, to, I, have and... a, my habit, I have a bed, a different bed. I've got a side rail. I've got the ice packs. I He's got a lot of problems. Pap. i got a lot going on yeah. with the back. And the, I have to have a heating Poor pad. Man. You have a heating pad? So dating, obviously, is, is difficult. Yeah, I have a heating pad still. It's who, only been who, two years. Who, who sets all this stuff up for you? You can't even bend over. Well, they came over initially in the first place, and, uh, and now I set it up myself. It's been two years. I'm bending over a lot better now. But oh, good. Hmm. I still have yeah, all yeah. those things in place. So if I were to date and somebody were to come into the bedroom, I have some explaining to do. Okay, well, tell me about it. All right. Lay, 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 lay. <laughs> lay across my just above bed. That side rail is there because I fell out of bed, waking up violently <laughs> from what's called sleep paralysis, and I busted my right eye. Why won't you stay here? Is it the CPAP I have on my head? I have sleep apnea, and the CPAP forces air into my lungs, allowing me to sleep better and longer. Lots of people have them. Whatever image you had in your mind, 
I'm guessing it wasn't that. A nursing home kind <laughs> Stay, let it stay. The heating pad is for my back. I had a spinal fusion over a year ago, and they put seven rods and screws in there, so I have to sleep with a heating pad, so, you know. <laughs> oh, I shy away. <laughs> is it the back brace and my cold ice pack? <laughs> the ice reduces the inflammation, and I also take medication for nerve pain called Lyrica, which can make me impotent from time to time. I take a Cialis. <laughs> let the loving begin. <laughs> I may only last a minute or uh, two. Uh, and then these sharp bolts of pain go shooting through my legs and feet at the small of my back and spasms, and I have to stop making love immediately. Run, lady, run. <laughs> Why does this happen every time? Oh, Aww. thank you very much. You're well, sorry for you, Pat. Yeah, sorry, oh, Pat. Sad. But you're getting better, right? Much better. Yeah, it's been oh. two years. Okay, very good. Do you different. feel the cold in your back when it's I don't. cold outside? No, it's not too bad. <laughs> I don't even notice it. Hmm. Things are a lot better, yeah. Is that all that hard work and stay in there? Get better. Do they? Do you shoot off the thing at the airport? I do, indeed. Do you do what to the, huh? <laughs> do you shoot off your thing at the airport? Yeah. Uh, you know. You have to go yep. through the one with your arms up. I'm in the stall when he's oh. born. He just goes in there. <laughs> you have to okay. tell him. I think everyone. Really, uh, once again, we're attentively, attent excuse me, attentively listening. Is that right? Right. To Christy Lee News. Paying okay. attention. You ready? Here we go. Here, Here we, we go. go. Authorities in Poland. Caught a man trying to lead a horse up the stairs of an apartment building. I love this joke. <laughs> yes. <laughs> would Why try? would you lead a horse? You <laughs> ever try to push one? <laughs> oh. Here, you try to change that light bulb. Police in the town of <laughs> Verova reported that a bystander noticed the unusual situation and contacted authorities. Huh. According to police, the bystander took hold of the animal while the suspect fled the scene. I'm taking was, you to bed. <laughs> he was taken into custody when he returned to the building. An investigation revealed that the 19-year-old had <laughs> stolen the mare from a local stud. The horse was the mare? And the, the mare, mare is a stud? Oh, a mare! Oh. From, a, I would say, a local stud farm, maybe. He faces a possible jail sentence of up to five years. Christy, were you disappointed the first time you ever went to a stud farm? <laughs> <laughs> you there picture just there the, wasn't a these cowboy muscly inside. men. Yeah. <laughs> All the muscly men. So was, why would the guy want to take it up to his apartment? Well, Tom, I don't know if you know this, but... We were going to do it. ...have some weird, creepy fetishes. I mean... You don't want to know what I thought you were going to say. Because yeah. it's why stolen. Why would the guy want to take it up his... <laughs> no, 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 I mean, I, the, the thing is going to start to urinate and defecate all over his apartment. Is there, you're not worried about that if you're no. A, 19, and B. Well, you're going to worry about it about 10 minutes in when fury lets it, lets it lets <laughs> loose. <laughs> uh, or maybe he was trying to... And why the stairway? I, mean, I don't know the old adage, you could lead a horse to the elevator, but you can't make him get in. That's right. Uh, How are you going to get a horse in an elevator? There may not. Maybe there wasn't well, an elevator. I love this question. Um, hmm. How do you get you know, the horses won't back out down a set of stairs. They won't? No, no, they, they no. refuse. You gotta go upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, you, if you have a horse on the eighth floor and the elevator's out, yep. you can't get down. You just have to stay there. <laughs> you're gonna need some straw. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get comfortable. Yeah, <laughs> straw yep. and a shovel. Yep. Start peeving it out the window. What movie is Clint? No, Arnold Schwarzenegger on a horse in an elevator. Is that true lies? Yeah. I think it is, yep. yeah. It has a big elevator. Yeah. Remember this? That's a great movie and a great scene. It's a really good yeah. movie. Yeah, yeah. So we're, this is like you a full-grown horse. This isn't like one of them little mini pony horses, miniature horses, right? This is a big... In the movie? I don't know. No, in this story. No, it is an actual uh, uh, full-size horse in True Lies. Wow. He has okay. to duck down so he'll fit in the elevator. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah. yeah. Um, this one is a... Uh, yeah, this is uh this is a full size horse. It looks like yeah. Wow, uh, uh, not fully grown, but pretty good size. Looks like it's as tall as this person holding the horse. Yikes! So, uh, well, maybe he needed a new mare. From what I understand, his old gray mare ain't what it used to be. <laughs> there we go. I need a new mare. <laughs> One, One that won't that nail night. <laughs> <laughs> nail night. <laughs> need a new shoe. A Georgia woman is accused of stealing 100 flowers from grave sites at an Atlanta cemetery. What a nice thought. That's Officers so responded to the Rest Haven Cemetery and found the woman along with 100 artificial flowers in her van. WSB TV reports. Some bitch, you'll love it. <laughs> 
<laughs> SBTV. That's right. The officers took the woman into custody after determining the flowers had been removed from grave sites. Wow. But they're fake flowers. Yeah. Aren't you just asking for trouble? <laughs> yeah, karma. Yeah, that's karma. Trouble. Holy heck. I don't know why I have 30 ghosts now. <laughs> 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 well, yeah, I don't know. There are bats Boy. in my bathtub now. I don't know what the problem there Wolves is. Wolves in the basement. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's sad. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> Jackals surrounding the house. <laughs> yes, it is sad. She probably figured, well, they're not really using them. Oh, uh, yeah, that probably what is. is the ce- what is the cemetery? Is there like a... Is it like parking? You can only leave it there for... What? Is it like alternate... What do you mean? Alternate what? headstone. Talking... I mean, do they leave... If someone puts artificial flowers on a grave, do they leave them there indefinitely? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah they can yeah. eventually be... Sometimes I'll There are caretakers, for... right. I think if it's a really or... nice cemetery, I think someone keeps keeps tries to keep things nice Straight and clean yeah. a little bit, at least. But the artificial flowers, that's the whole reason you get them, because they last. You don't have to replace them once a week. Uh... What do you think about that? <laughs> I'm not a big fan of that, but I'm not a big fan of headstones in particular or mm. in general. You don't want a headstone? I don't like going to the cemetery. No, I don't want a headstone. I don't. I want to be cremated and oh. throw me in the garden. I don't care. Where do you want to be thrown? In the garden. Oh, oh I heard garbage. So I'm glad we clarified. <laughs> yeah, that. me too. I was going to say the dumpster. I heard garbage. They get really mad if you put stuff in the dumpster here at the Frigamall building. <laughs> No, I, I, that's that just never my gets old. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, we could put you out in the, the the field where the towers are. Sure, why not? I don't care. The broadcast don't forever. Care. Yeah. Oh, what if your ghost started broadcasting? Oh, you could be interrupting Tom. That would be great. <laughs> that would that's be an interesting great. question. Is this signal from our uh, shows decades ago still out in space somewhere? Yeah, it's got to be bouncing around. Yeah. Be oh, right. just, sure. just littering the universe. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there's an alien somewhere going, will you turn that sh- off, please? Oh, there's an alien out there who can't get enough of yeah. Mr. Robbie. Yeah. <laughs> he thinks he's a genius. <laughs> hey, pay. hey, hello, Earth. Play camel toe. <laughs> we are going to destroy Earth. No, no. That is where Mr. Obvious is. Uh, I, well, I couldn't bear it. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming right back. Same as John, you know. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll uh, feature a little bit of Mr. O when we come back. Okay. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Get a look at today's show on our YouTube channel. Now, when you, when you first got out of the Marines, didn't you have to didn't you have to be an usher like at your sister's wedding or something? What was that story? <laughs> Right, when you come out of boot, first of all, let me just say, I was engaged once, uh-huh. and uh, the girl kept the ring. Oh, no. That was two hours of salary gone! <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. No, 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 when you come out of boot camp, you're ready for anything. I mean, you know what I mean? Outstanding, that's the attitude. Outstanding! That's the Marine Corps. When I came out of boot camp, yeah, my sister got married. She had me seat the people at her wedding. Mm-hmm. They'd come walking up to me in front of the church like, oh, you must be Patricia's brother. Sit down! <laughs> Shut your pie hole! I don't want to be your friend. 200 people showed up. I put them all in the same row. Tighten it up. Tighten it up. We don't have all day. We are totally uncomfortable. Outstanding. Shut your cake, or pie. What do you eat, cake or pie? Oh, my God. Comedian Greg Hunt. Why can't we have single vows? How about some single vows? Single vows? I vow to be single. How would that work? vows, you know. Do you promise to sit all by yourself in your quiet apartment with your frozen dinner and your stupid pet fish? Yes! Yeah! yeah. I, Never have a ride to or from the airport? Yeah! Sign me up! Parked a lot 88Z, schlepping your stuff. But I want to clarify for Christy, because I know Christy's a big Catholic, and I grew up Catholic. I was an altar right. boy as a kid, and yeah. I think Jesus is a great role model, but I think mm-hmm. he's kind of like the popular guy in high school, yeah. where everyone says they're his friend, but he wouldn't name you as one of his best friends. Yeah. Like, if you asked him who his best friends were, he'd be like, Gandhi, Martin Luther King Jr., Matt Damon. And he'd be like, what about Mike Brabant? He'd be like, I feel like I'd recognize his face if I saw him, but the name doesn't ring a bell. <laughs> Jesus has a lot of Twitter followers, he does. actually. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. God. <laughs> you know what? Let me tell you something. I'm going to have I'm gonna have a wedding agreement I'm yeah. putting together right now. I've been writing it over here. Uh-huh. The girl's going to have to sign this before I get married. Okay. Well, Number what, one, what yeah. at no time will your rear end be wider than your shoulders. <laughs> okay. Number two, your eyebrows will number two. 
<laughs> Normal size, not super skinny or painted on, thus reflecting mental illness. <laughs> it's all making good sense so far. So far, Three, keep going, uh-huh. We will have a dog for me to play with and for you to care for. Same with children. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> Greg is serious about that. He is, I, you you, we have, had, the, this. We have yeah. had that oh. conversation where you don't say that in joke form. No. You don't do your... Version <laughs> where you said to me, yeah. "I want a girl to marry who who we can get a dog and she'll take care of the dog when I go on the road." And, and that's one of your prerequisites. And pick me up at the airport in your pick SUV. Up the airport. <laughs> You've had this conversation. Why limit it to an SUV? Why not a limo? Because you want to drive. Limo is a good idea, Bob. <laughs> good idea. I like limos. Matt Kirshen is with us in the studio, and uh, Matt is uh, from London, England. That's hello. Right. Hello, 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 Goofner. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I never knew he spoke like that. I had no idea well, until you, I came over here. You talk like, funny, don't you? <laughs> I've been doing it wrong for like over twenty years. Like, hello, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just a friendly chimney sweep. <laughs> Call the yeah. army, Mary Poppins. Let's have a tea party on the ceiling. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Well, the real joy of doing this, by the way, is I could do this impression in front of Americans and half of you cannot tell the difference between my normal accent and the funny one. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, I, I know that because I've done that voice in the middle of gigs and I could just be there going, hello, how are you? And they're, they're like, I don't get this joke at all. I do not see what he's doing. He says some things in an English accent and then he says some more things in an English accent. <laughs> <laughs> how is this comedy? Please uh -huh. explain to me. Well, uh, we're talking with, with uh, Matt Kirshen. He is from uh, London. In the in the, could you grow up in the city of London? I grew up in the outskirts of London. Yeah, mm -hmm. suburbs, if you will. Suburbs, very suburban. Scotland. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love the cities. They live. Hampshire yeah. on the fortnight or yeah. something. Uh, yeah, what's your, what's you, the name of the town you, you were in? I was in Northwood, which is very unimpressive. Oh, no. does and that then go Northwood, on? Is, then is, is that on the is that on the subway or tube line? It is just it, is. It's just on the like very on the, edge. The very of it. fringe. Is the it very near, very fringe. Is it near Sherwood? It is no way to okay. show it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Could you please live near someplace we can, you know, fantasize about really, Sherwood Forest? Yeah. Have you ever seen uh, Daffy yeah. Duck as Robin Hood? Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> that's the greatest. Every day. That, that's just my life back home. Trip, 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 So did, did you go into, to one of those all-boys schools where you have to wear a little suit every day? Or? <laughs> oh, yeah, and, you, you know, you have to play rugby. And, uh, yeah. Right. Dude, if you, and you have to keep going, stuff. they're going to ask if you know Harry Potter. Defend yourself, sir. So they'll stop, and I'll get there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was kind of a, a detour. But here, two splendors just like you like it. Oh, thank you very much, Carol. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> uh, 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 Carl, could you come back to the studio to sign some photos for us? Oh, okay. I can do that. Sure thing, Tom. <laughs> <sighs> Made it. All right. Give me a pen. <laughs> this has been Flash Traffic with Carl Lewis. Bob and Tom, you can pick your morning radio show, and you can pick your nose, but you can't wipe Bob and Tom on the couch. Today's Cliff Notes Theater, the monumental epic movie, Titanic. Oh. Man, this is some boat. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> this has been Cliff Notes Theater. Uh -oh. Cliff Notes Theater. Uh -oh. When you just don't have time to set through the whole movie. <laughs> Can I just say that I really love doing this program? Oh, thank you. You know, as a comedian, this is like such a fun, it's actually entertaining and fun to do it, you know? And as a comedian, you... You do a lot of shows, and, uh, you know, like, I was, I did a radio program a few weeks ago, and they introduced me as the bad boy of comedy. Mm -hmm. I never said I was the bad boy of anything, nor do I want to be introduced as such. Mm -hmm. they get Only in comedy do you ever hear that. You never hear that in other professions. You never hear, he's the bad boy of gynecology. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. See, the, see, the, see the guy putting on his yeah. gloves with had his fingers his, cut off? Had his finger in a dike. Yeah. <laughs> you don't say we didn't warn you. <laughs> There's laughter ahead. You guys want to grab lunch? We yeah. can't go anymore. <laughs> Holy That's cow. a good day's work, everybody. This is Bob and Tom. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show at the News Desk. 
It's Christy Lee. Hey. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hi, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Hello. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. There's Jeff Oske joining us. Hi, Chick. Or are you like Ed Septic or something? No, I'm Jeff. <laughs> okay. I don't I'm know who Jeff. this Ed fellow is you speak of. <laughs> okay. I'm, uh... <laughs> no, it's Haji. <laughs> and uh, rough and ready. Uh, Jeff Oske will be on um, in Tiffin, Ohio at The Ritz, along with, um... Greg. You don't really need anybody else after you have Oske. Yeah, uh, but we have Han instead. Oh, Han, okay. You got He's Dave there. Dyer. Yeah, you got Dave Dyer. Somebody's got to get the drinks ready, I guess. Wow. Um, no. You can park the cars, right? Yeah. You know, Han can... Uh, Dave Dyer is a, yeah. is a full-time fireman, also a great comedian. Wow. Uh, Dave yeah. Dyer, Greg Han, and Jeff Oske at the Ritz Tiffin, Ohio, this... Saturday. Now, uh, uh, Jeffrey, you have a quiz, I understand? Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you guys have heard about this uh, chat GPT. Have you heard about it? <laughs> oh, sure, sure. Have you read about uh, it? Have you heard about it? It's, it's, about it's it? the newest Pontiac, right? my, Yeah, my kids are using it to write all their <laughs> all their papers for school. And nice. Getting straight C's. <laughs> um, for those of you who don't know, uh, chat GPT stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. I'd never heard that. And that's the only one you hear about, but there's also quite a few uh, lesser-known uh, AI chatbots. Um, so I put together a little quiz. Uh, the winner gets absolutely nothing. Oh. Uh, Tom, uh, I'm going to let you keep score. And I'll give you an example. Uh, one of the... Uh, so if you need to learn more about plumbing, you would use chat... PVC. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. Yes. All All right. Right. Um, if you want to learn more about being a paramedic, you would use chat. EMT. EMT. All right, so we all understand. Yeah, uh -huh. great, We're going to go around the room. If you don't get it, then I'll be open for the room, but I'm going to go one by one. Uh, okay. Uh, Pat, if you need help blowing up a building, you would use chat. Uh, that's uh, C four, C P four. T N T. T N T. There you guys go. Nice. Dumbass. Nice. Uh, Josh. Wait, chat C four. You idiots. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of the C four. C four. You idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he had it right. It's, it's C four. You idiot. Uh, Josh, if you want to learn more about Lexington Steel, you would use Chat. Um, I, I mean, that's a, a famous porn star, a male porn star yes. with a very prestigious. BBC. Predi yes, Chat yes. BBC. That's right, Chat. Very Thank good. Thank you. Yeah. So Chick gets that one. Okay. Oh, I'm big, exempt. Uh, uh, and he does have a big black yeah. Yeah, gotcha. C. Uh, here's one for Christy. Oh boy. If you want help learning more about New York City's punk rock clubs from the early <laughs> 80s, <laughs> you would use Chat CBG. CBGB. Oh, close. CBGB. Okay. Oh, very close. I didn't I was know. Say we Max had... is Kansas City. CBGB. I didn't know we. <laughs> no, yeah, CBGB would be correct. Rough okay. trade's pretty good too. Uh, yeah. Chick. Huh? If you wanted help learning more on how <laughs> not to be fat, you would use chat. Chat. Oh, I'm stumped. Um, mm. Chat. Um, not to be fat. fat. Thin, thin, skinny. Uh, Teeny, uh, tiny. What is it, Jeff? Uh, chat OBCD. Obesity. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no one got that. Okay, see, That's uh, here's the problem I have with I thought this. they were all three letters. So three did letters I. That's what? what I... Oh, I'm that going is... wrong, baby. That's why I said CBG, because I thought it was three CBGB, letters. CBGB, okay. I would have said CBGB. I'm not stupid. Hey, it's the internet. <laughs> I don't, don't make the rules. I just... Okay, okay, what's next? Uh, <laughs> you can tell he's having a great here's time. One for, here's Someone's one for dismissed you. you. Good luck. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're Tom, if you want to find out why it hurts when you pee, check out Chet. STD. STI. Yeah. Very close. Yes. Well, now no, wait a minute. What about UTI? There's I'm, a two, there's I'm, a old, I'm old school. Yeah. Yes. Chat you UTIs know we'll also. Take it. The, only, sure. the only tra transmissionable diseases I want to have are the old classics, gonorrhea, uh, syphilis, none of this new stuff. Have you ever stuff. had a urinary tract infection? It's painful. Yes, I have. You wouldn't <laughs> let me go to the bathroom. Called we were the honeymooners signing party disease. for an album, and I, you wouldn't let me go, and I had, I, I had a... <laughs> you, 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 I thought you, you, it was you, the what, dirty D disease. You, you caught the mean? nail from that I Dave in Fort Wayne? It wasn't. Uh, Too much sex. I'll give you a UTI. <laughs> That's the Miller Light like. Grape Lady is what yeah. you're trying to invoke. Uh, yes, I don't think. Uh, here, Ace, I got one for you. If you want to find out when the next bad moon will be rising, <laughs> <laughs> you would use chat. CCR. Yeah, you nailed it. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, <laughs>
Uh, here's here's a good one for Josh. If it's important for you to learn what lies between the two Koreas, you could find that info on chat. Oh. DMZ. DMZ. Oh, right. yeah. DMZ. Yeah. Zone. Very good. <laughs> Pat, here's GPS. one for you. Uh, <laughs> no, but close. If you want help chilling out, but marijuana is not legal in your state, try chat CBD. You nailed it, buddy. Oh. Everybody's a, everybody has at least one now. Yes. Okay. I'm so sad I didn't get BBC. Okay, here's one for you, Josh. If you need help paying for groceries when you're down on your luck, <laughs> use chat EBT. Yes, you know. I wouldn't have gotten I would, that. I would, what does that mean? That's the uh, yeah, that's that's the electronic food stamps. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Okay, here's one for you, Christy. Okay. If you need help because your phone stopped working last week, you don't want to use chat ATT. <laughs> that is right. They're killing it now. Oh, and so aren't, aren't we who are? Have AT, we're getting five dollars. Five whole dollars. You're out. Yeah, I didn't get my phone for two hours. That's when right, you, baby. Five dollars. Hang on a second. Next. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one's for you, Chick. If okay. you need help getting out of a conversation you don't want to be in, use chat. Oh, that's a tough one. I don't know. Uh, chat uh, O U T. <laughs> chat B R B. Oh, oh, BRB. What's yeah. BRB? Be right, be right, right, back. Be right back. That's oh. uh, that's tech speak. Oh, I, yeah, I wouldn't oh. have gone that one. I wouldn't oh. have. Here's a isn't food that, one. Isn't that, isn't that big uh, no, BR... rubber, uh, rubber <laughs> balls? <laughs> Baby buggy <laughs> bumpers? BRB. Uh, big rubber balls, of yeah. course. BRBBC. Uh, Ace. <laughs> big rubber. Ace, if you want help making delicious sandwiches, use chat. <laughs> hmm. Oh, BLT. There, there you go. go. Yeah, good job, Ace. You guys are good at these. Did anyone else see Ace's eyes they light up up. when he got there? Yeah, why, why wouldn't they? He was yes. very excited. Good for him. That was a hard one because the question was poorly worded. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's mine, of course. Listen to chat there SOB over there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Uh, oh, boy. Okay, Tom, Mr. Genius, yeah. if right. you want to know Mr. more Genius. about a the financial prosperity of a country use chat chat gdp that's right yes. he's on it here he's let's uh it. i got one for christy okay uh -oh. <laughs> i know that you're uh you're uh but not boyfriend your husband yes uh, that word it's, it's, i know some people it's hard to, <laughs> it's it's hard to say <laughs> uh is a really cool car guy uh -huh. loves old cars uh -huh. if you're a fan of vintage Pontiacs, you want to get... Chat GTO. Yes! Oh, mm. that's easy. Oh, you nailed it. That was easy. Uh, here's one. Josh, I think you might know this. Um, it's very specific. Hmm. If you want to be sweaty and naked in Debo's chicken coop, <laughs> you would smoke chat... What? What? I, THC? Ah, uh, PCP. I, oh, from the movie okay. Fridays. Oh. I thought maybe. <laughs> That's a good one. Maybe. Uh, wow. That Man. was a good one. I didn't know who Debo is. Oh, here's one for Christy. Okay. If some random dude texts you out of the blue asking for a nude, it gives you the chat. Uh, DP. I don't know. Heebie jeebies. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's, so a lot that's of not fair because that's. Heebie jeebies. No. No. You Christy. are not very good at this, Christy. No, you're, you're <laughs> screwing this up. Christy, if you wanted to learn about the, uh, the sloughing of your uterine wall <laughs> and the hormones and emotions that go along with that, you would use chat. PMS. Yes. yes. That's right. Oh, very Maybe. good. So oh, it's done. I'm not here's, stupid. Here's one for you, Pat. All right. Because uh, if you need help clipping coupons and finding the best deal on frozen pizzas, <laughs> use chat ACE. That's right. That's right. Very good. That was a good one. And uh, two more, uh, real quick. Uh, Chick, if you needed help trying to get laid, Ooh. you would use chat. Um, cl a, chloroform? Uh, <laughs> is it chat chloroform? Is chloroform? Is it chat I give up. It is. It's chat chloroform. Hey! Uh, no, it's it's uh, Tom's favorite word, chat DTF. Oh, oh, DTF. Yeah. oh okay. That's kind of where I thought you were going with yeah. that picture thing. And finally, uh, if you want help insulting your closest co-workers to the point they cry in their cars <laughs> on the way home, use chat T-O-M. That's right, baby. <laughs>
Stop crying, would you? It's a joke. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Jeffrey. You're Who won? Welcome. Uh, Jeff Oskey will be on stage uh, with Greg Hahn and Dave Dyer. Tiffin, Ohio's The Ritz, coming up this Saturday night. Just around the corner. That's right, baby. That'll be nice. I love that shirt, by the way. That is super cool. Oh, thank cool. you. That's that from nice. my Magnum P.I. collection. Oh, oh, very it's good. It's got parrots on it and everything. No, Magnum P.U. Are those card parrots? Card <laughs> well, I guess they are part yeah, there's parrots, car cardinals. cardinals. Well, I don't know. There's a bear. Kind of birds. And a waterfall. Okay, there's oh. got to be something else to talk about. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Uh, coming up, we're going to uh, visit with comedian Tim Cavanaugh. Later there this, you go. Uh, later, huh? this, later this week, Bill Burr will be joining us, and also the great Peter Frampton, guitarist, songwriter, singer, rock star, who is up for the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Well deserved honor. You can go to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame website and vote for Mr. Frampton. I certainly would recommend it. People often ask me who's the nicest guy you've ever met that's a rock star, and the answer is always Peter Frampton. There's a whole bunch of really nice guys, but uh, Peter is like the greatest. Right now, this portion of the Bob and Tom Show brought to you by BetterHelp. You know, we all wish all the time, God, I wish I had more time. Didn't have enough time. Time for what? What are you going to do with that extra hour if you got one? Well, would you read a book? Would you watch TV? Would you go to the gym? Uh, maybe work on your head. Maybe uh, try to get your mental health in great shape so you can help everybody else. Therapy can help you find what matters to you and help you do a lot more with the time that you do have empowering you to become the best version of yourself. And that's where BetterHelp comes in. And BetterHelp is a pretty simple idea, brilliantly executed. They have 25,000 therapists on hand. And when I say on hand, I mean online. And you go to betterhelp.com slash BT show and you uh, fill out a form that will uh, essentially let them know uh, what's going on with you and they will match you with a participating therapist. And then the therapy itself is done online. So it's a lot more convenient than hopping in your car, leaving work, driving here, doing this. You do it online so you can do it uh, like a phone call. You can do it as if it were a Zoom situation where you're looking at uh, the therapist on camera. Or you could do it chatting uh, with texting. Whatever works for you, that's what BetterHelp is all about. Making it easier to access therapy. Uh, and uh, like I said, 25,000 therapists online already. And they're trying this out. And you can try it too by going to betterhelp.com slash BT show. Try it today. It'll knock 10% off your first month if you use that slash BT show little tag on it. So it's betterhelp, H E L P, betterhelp.com slash BT show. Uh, coming up, we have uh, a runaway train in the news and um, salad in space. Apparently not. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, this is Larry the Cable Guy, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. If you're not, you're a communist. Hey, Larry the Cable Guy, let me ask you a question. Do you have the Bob and Tom Show app on your phone? You know someone who might like the Bob and Tom Show app? Well, it's free and available. You heard me, free, F-R-E-E, -E, free, in the iTunes or Google Play Store. Once you download that free Bob and Tom Show app, you can listen to your local radio station. Tune in to us here on Bob and Tom Radio. We're here for you 24 hours a day. We are are the 24-hour comedy station also set hi man it's donnie baker guess what i saved up some money and bought this new badass spy camera i swear to god i did check this thing out yep this is where it happens a bob and tom studio Oh, perfect. Don't even look like they're busy. Hey, guys, I got a question. Uh, excuse me. Hey, what's happening? What are you doing here? Donnie Baker. Well, Donnie, we're working here. Yeah, well, I'm working too, because the fact remains, I ain't going to just keep calling into you guys without a pay raise. I need a pay raise, and I want a better parking spot. Employee, you moron. Okay, well, I, I'm not taking less than what I'm asking for. I swear to getting anything. Well, but I. I won't settle for that. Okay. I want to pay it. And we'll, we'll multiply that by two. I'll call FACA. You go, okay, if you're going to you times go about ahead. Go right ahead. You, will you just get out of here? You don't even work here. Well, okay. How about some Bon Jovi tickets? Uh, Angel Skinner's loves John Bon Jovi. Sure. You've got Bon Jovi tickets. Absolutely. We'll get one for Angel. Parking pass? And she'll get to go with uh, with Jay Baker to see the show. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. right. Those are great seats. Uh -oh. Tell them to bring extra pants. I, 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 I got to go. Oh, man. Hi, man, it's Donnie Baker. Guess what? I saved up some money and bought this new badass spy camera. I swear to God I did. Check out this bad boy. See, I've got some Velcro here that I can put it right on my 
tap out cap, keep it right here on the side, nobody would ever notice. They'll just think it's like a pacemaker or inhaler. Plus I've got full coverage connected right here to my pager. So between these two things, I'm basically like a Navy cell or a coal miner, except now my head's above water. Check this out. Hey Chloe, I'm Donnie Baker with the Bob and Tom Show. I'm one of the sound guys. I need to put one of these lavender microphones on you just to make sure we can, you should run this anywhere you want to. I'm a big fan of 24. Hey, is Martin Sheenson really full-blooded Cherokee or is that just a rumor or, or bourbon legend? Is that, um, here, maybe we should I, go this end first. Wanna, but, hey, yeah, it's a lavender I, microphone. It's just done. a What the hell are you doing? I'm putting a lavender, oh. I, You've got a restraining order. Oh, You're not I even forgot. supposed well, to that, be. That's I'm a so different sorry. permit. So that's sorry. a different, I'll be right back in a second. We'll so clear. That's a different. I'm that doesn't close. work I was that close. Get. <laughs> You're so weird. You have no idea. Essential Morning Radio. <laughs> this is Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7, 24-7. Oh, he was so sweet. It was our first date, and he went all out. He bought me dinner, he got me drunk, and then I got bald. Oh, <laughs> did you ever. It was perfect. Britney Spears recently shocked the world with her latest fashion statement, oh. a completely shaved head. Now, to commemorate Britney's new look, Bob and Tom Labs is proud to introduce their new perfume, Bald. B-A-L-D. Bald. A fragrance for today's unraveling woman. <laughs> she's kooky. She's crazy. And she's getting bald. <laughs> Tomorrow's my girlfriend's birthday, and she'll definitely be getting bald. <laughs> what woman wouldn't love to get bald? My wife and I are celebrating our 30th anniversary soon. I thought she'd be thrilled when I told her she was gonna get bald, but she just rolled over and went back to sleep. <laughs> okay, almost everybody wants to get bald. Be sure to get some today. Just look for the slick box, and you'll know you're getting bald. B-A-L-D. Bald. Hi, this is Augie Smith, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Eyebrow dandruff. That's yeah. disgusting. <laughs> Is that a thing? I'm not proud of it. There was, that's, that's why you, why would you real. bring that up on the air? That's I just... didn't. It was Christy did. Yeah, it was said yeah. in oh, confidence off sorry. the air. Yeah. Don't ever say eyebrow dandruff in front of a potential lover. Oh. oh. oh, okay. oh no. Hey, look, ladies. If I'm on top, you might get sprinkled on. <laughs> well, let it snow. Well, you're on top. Well. <laughs> I'll just let everybody else finish that. Oh, I see. Oh. If you're on top, you got about eight eight <laughs> seconds to live. Is that it? I wouldn't say eight. Oh. If you're on top godspeed to your ribs <laughs> ladies is that what we're getting at? <laughs> hi this is andy kindler and this is a different register in my voice and you're listening to bob and tom radio hey welcome back to the bob and tom show got a couple of letters here specifically for uh tom would you care to hear them tom huh oh i'm, I'm sorry i'm reading out no what, what do you think during the uh chat gpt quiz that yes. uh, mr oske was mm -hmm. giving us uh this is from chris he says i really felt the energy from all around the world as you guys said chat t-o-m <laughs> at the same time for a co-worker who constantly picks on you and makes you cry standing by the vending machine <laughs> i don't just make you cry by the vending machine i make you cry by the coffee machine by everything in the green room you're oh, welcome. yeah, that's true. Uh, I don't understand this one. This is from Rob. Cat GB, GPT, the answer is always meow. Oh. I don't know. Mm. I'm just reading the letters. <laughs> well, they'll read them if you don't understand them. I think it's funny. Well, cat GPT, wouldn't... it's kitty cat. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a cat, but why does the answer meow? Because that's All what I cats, cats do, you idiot. <laughs> cats meow? What do you want it to be? I, I don't want it to be cat GPT to start with. But don't read the letter. 
And we're back to that. Well, All right. You made a choice, and it was wrong. Face it. <laughs> Face it. Ick to mine pussy, Jeff. to mine God, I love stills. Okay, that's enough. Okay. Uh, now, Christy Lee is still at the uh, news desk. What have you got over there? A recent poll of 2,000 Americans who live with their significant others reveals a quarter of couples keep secrets from one another. <laughs> A quarter. That's a little low. They're liars That's is what way, they are. Yeah, way yeah. low. Yeah. According to the poll, the most common secrets include details about past relationships. Yeah. You don't talk about that. Doing something they know their partner would be upset about. And undisclosed spending habits. Mm. Wouldn't you go do something, though, if you didn't, you really could care less if you did it, but if they were excited about it, you'd go do it, right? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but this, so it's kind of but a secret that you're not into it. That, right. that kind of oh, thing. You're I see what you're saying. You're pretending more, yeah, that that's you're. That's different. I think this is saying, you know, she doesn't want you skydiving, so she's she's on vacation, so you jump out of an airplane. And we've talked about this before. When you ask someone how many partners they've had, the five. answer is always five. Yeah, always. Always, no matter what the real answer is. Oh, yeah. You don't <laughs> you don't give the real. So answer. I shouldn't grab a pen and paper and say, "Give me an hour." No, you. It's always you. Fun. Yeah. Or did you yeah, say that's always do you have a, fun? Do you have a slide rule? You know, something like, do you want it an exponential? Or also, the, you don't uh, say things like DeWalt does oral count. The uh, no, and you can't say <laughs> keep it simple. You can't say something like that. I honestly, there are too many to remember. Never don't mm. say that. Don't say that. Oh, you to, to get a good laugh. I'll always it. say women only. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good too. Yeah, and she thinks, oh dear God, what's going on with this? This guy's into everything. Are we limited to humans? <laughs> this guy's in the <laughs> no, but well, I mean, Of course I you don't tell them every... I mean, no. no. Yeah, but to say that it's only 25... It's, that's a lie. That's because people doing this survey are lying. Of course. Are there varying degrees of lying, or are you guys black and yeah. white? And no, there are yeah, varying degrees, degrees, of course. There's so, lie by omission. Yeah. There are white lies. There I, I, are no, 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 say you've got... Say save you, feelings to lie? Yeah. 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 Yes. Say you're hiding... Uh, I was recently experienced... You're, you're hiding something. That's uh, like a birthday present, like the neighbor's head in the freezer. No, I mean something really. F <laughs> like I've got a although I've I've hidden you know, Finn's birthday right? present in that cabinet, and so and she goes, "I'm going into your office." Oh yeah, wait a minute, I think you should go. You make up some. Of course, it's not really mm -hmm. evil. It's just you don't want her to go find the present. Right. We do that's that. a little white lie that is fine. Sure. Uh, but but you're talking about your daughter. I'm talking about your significant other. Do you hide stuff from her? Similarly, um, okay. birthday stuff. Yeah, sure. All right. I mean, and I think if 25% of the people say they're, that, that, it's 99. Mm -hmm. Honesty yes. can be a very selfish thing in, in that, let's say uh, I have an ex-girlfriend who I cheated on and she doesn't know it. And I go, you know what? I think I would feel better if I confessed to her, even though we haven't been together for years. That's a horrible thing. And I do. call her up and go, you know, just so you know, when we were together, <laughs> oh. I'm trying to clear my conscience here. I, I cheated on it. Why am I going to make her feel terrible? That's a humble right. brag. That's, <laughs> but that's really come 180, right? Aren't you supposed to tell the truth always? And of forever? course, but I'm, I'm saying like that's some secrets go ahead and keep to yourself. Yeah, yeah. but I don't, you know, Josh, that secret you always so it, it's just by chance that uh, a porn hub and sports center. Um, when you press the button, they, who knows which is going to come on? Sure, yeah. I, <laughs> if, if the... <laughs> oh, I, I, I left you in bed and I went to watch sports center, and by God, there was. <laughs> oh, I see what you're grandma saying. Grandma porn. Grandma and, uh, porn. Oh, that would be a secret oh. you would keep from yeah. gilfs. Yeah. Hey, babe, I'm into gilfs. Yeah. You're not a gilf. Are you upset by this? <laughs> I just want you to know. Gosh, you're not a gilf. Yes. Doesn't make me love you any less, but I can't love you more than a gilf. <laughs> okay. I'll never love you the way I love my gilfs. That's right. <laughs> that I haven't met yet. Yeah, sometimes it's better to just keep your mouth shut, right? Sure. Yes. A determined pilot in Ohio spent six hours drawing a penis in the sky along with the word see ya. The art. <laughs> six the hours. See ya. <laughs> The art in the sky was created by a pilot flying a Diamond DA-42 plane and spotted by Flight Radar 24, an online flight tracking service. So this is one of those things that draws the image on the radar. A screen of radar. You're not seeing it from the ground, correct. So it's not sky writing. No. 
According to Flight Radar 24, the plane took off at 8.47 p.m. on Saturday night and landed at 2.47 a.m. on Sunday at the Bellefontaine Regional Airport in Ohio. Bellefontaine. Sorry. It's not clear yet who was piloting the plane, but the unknown artist quickly developed a fan base online. No, he didn't. <laughs> no, there's no fan base for people watching these uh, airplane. Well, sure there are. <laughs> Come on. Viral Ten art. people. Look at that. <laughs> See? Uh, that's pretty good. It, not bad. I mean, that's, he had to map that out. So uh, is that's there. That's really hard to do. If is, you're, it, it looks like a giant, uh, a primitive drawing of a giant circumcised phallus. Uh -huh. Oh, look, Tom, there's Mansfield. There's uh, there's Upper Sandusky. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do you suppose that, um. Mount Vernon? Do you have to... Uh, oh, there's Waldo. I always wondered where that was. Mm, do you fuel Do you fuel up and say to the guy, hey, give me enough for a circumcised uh, giant phallus. I'm heading toward Lake Erie. <laughs> <laughs> what a uh, crazy... What a waste of time and money. Yeah, a, we, uh, he must for be six doing, people to see it. Yeah, no, but it's obviously... It's Quite a, a fan base. Yeah. It's a message for somebody, right? Sure, the guys that watch Flight Tracker. No, no, the SEA... Yeah, it's not that he's quitting or he's about like, to... Yeah, he's either quitting a job or he's... Blowing off a girlfriend or something. Uh, I don't know. I'd be nervous if I if a pilot ever in any way said see ya. I'd be yeah. like, well, I guess we're not getting that plane back. <laughs> oh, I never thought about it. That I mean, yeah. would you be like, hey, 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 what's going on in there? Have everything all right? Oh. Wow. The, did the plane come back? Do they know? I, I don't. That's if, all if, I if, have. Yeah, if it hadn't, they would have. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure <laughs> that would be the story. Yeah. Not this yeah, dick okay. in the air. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Dick is in the air. Do you have a song, Pat? Well, oh, there was a skywriter years ago that got in trouble doing this that I have a song about. And okay. it actually was Ohio. You want to hear that? Sure. Sure. Woo! <laughs> when I'm flying, boy, it's the best. I get a little naughty, I confess. I make the other pilots laugh till they cry when I go up and write. A penis in the sky Going up right A penis in the sky Penis in the, in the sky. sky Two smoky balls And one big eye One, one big, big eye. eye I leave them laughing In a cloud of dust And a couple of puffs At the tip That's a must <laughs> Might be in trouble When I get back Dick joke They'll say What a hack It's easy enough To draw a big old Woody But what about that Sweet, sweet booty <laughs> Right a vagina in the sky. Vagina in the sky. It's quite dangerous. <laughs> I might die. You might, might die. Ovals and openings, canyons and cliffs. Just thinking about it makes me stiff. Oh. <laughs> Just thinking about it makes me stiff. One and we're out. Woo! Nice. Thank you, All Pat. Right. Whip, whip, Thank whip, you, background whip, singers. Whip, 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 whip. Uh, one of the uh, weirdest. Big hits of all time. I oh, love that tune, yeah. song. Are you it's kidding? Really? Going on it's a grinding yes. guitar. Yes. No, I said it's, it's, it's a, got a weird at the time, a very weird sound. That's weep, why weep, I weep, love weep, it weep. so much. It was different. Yeah. Yeah. This is great. 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 Um, Greenbaum was that his name? Norman Greenbaum. Norman yeah. Greenbaum. Normie. Now, uh, we have uh, more to get to, but I want to remind you, coming up, comedian Tim Cavanaugh will be joining us. Timmy C. Next, uh, let's see, tomorrow, it, are we going to be speaking, am I correct, and saying, well, Peter Frampton tomorrow. Yeah, we are. PDF. As well as uh, oh, Allie Breen with Sexy Time. Oh, he's a uh, special early edition. I just ordered, I forgot what album, it was a vinyl of Peter's, and I was going to bring it in, have him sign it tomorrow, but he'd need really long arms. <laughs> yeah. It's a Zoom call. Yeah, it's a Zoom. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, what else you got, Christy? <laughs> um, a woman has lost her $800,000 injury claim after she was seen tossing a Christmas tree. Ms. Camilla Grabaski, or Grabaska sued an insurance company claiming she suffered lasting pain to her back and neck following a 2017 car crash. She could only bowl on Tuesday. The 36-year-old <laughs> said the disabling condition left her unable to work for more than five years or play with her children. Her claim was thrown out by the high court judge after a photograph came to light showing Grabaska tossing a five-foot-tall spruce at a charity event in January of 2018. <laughs> Throwing a tree. Wow. Yeah. Duh. This is a real thing, right? Insurance fraud and people sure. trying to... Yeah. I, well, I worked with a guy named Steve, and his he had a his side hustle. He worked for a detective agency. Oh, that's right. And he, uh, uh, he, 
I, he the one case he'd been working on, he had a camera and they were he, they were watching this lady at this house, this guy rather at this house that had had you know applied for this huge disability all these checks and um they have all they had all kinds of photographs of him building by himself an outdoor swimming pool oh. <laughs> carrying cement bags and the whole deal right. mm. yeah they they nailed him mm. this is this is sort of the same thing i'm a, a put her to death as far as i'm concerned that's it, pretty severe because this is why insurance companies don't pay out real people who with real issues because of fraud like this mm. yeah and why our claims are, or our premiums are so high, because we have to pay for people that are scamming them. What yeah. kind of a charity do you throw Christmas trees? By? I don't know, but that sounds, sounds fun. kind of fun. Yeah, five foot tree. Oh, there you go. Whoa! Wow! You never, uh, you've never competed in a Christmas tree toss? No. Hmm. That's a big tree. That's, that can't be real. That's, that's way throw. in the air. That, that, they get. No, I bet no, no, that's no. real. Yeah, sure. You they think? get really light when they're when they're out, been out of the ground for quite a while. They're yeah. dry. There's no water in there. It's dried no, up. It's, yeah, it's all dry. You can toss that. But that also proves. Hey, speaking she's of dry, not very, <laughs> speaking, speaking of dried up bush. Where are you going? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Where, where, are, where you are you going to go in there? Oh where no, he's go, uh, that, all of that lady's mm -hmm. vagina. <laughs> all of a sudden, he's trapped. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. What else have you got? He wasn't using it as a segue. He's the picture of she's an older lady. She was 36. <laughs> what is that? Well, she's it's lived a literally. rough 36. It says 36. What was the 2000 uh, and one Space Odyssey monolith in the background there? Can we see that picture again? What is, who is it? See the thing in the background? I do. <laughs> yeah. What is that? I don't yeah. know. It is huh. Kubrickian. Boy, it's a really good turnout. <laughs> Am I, doesn't she look 74? Like well, shows. I can't really see the... Yeah, she looks uh, yeah. kind of old there. Get your yeah. life together, lady. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now on the booze. A runaway freight train in India traveled for nearly 45 miles without a driver. Mm -hmm. Video now, shared... This one threw me because at first I thought it was like cowboys and Indians. But it was in, in, in India. In India, not with Indians. Yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah. You thought it's it was not, what? <laughs> well, you know how many Westerns get moving. I thought I was the one. This is where we all try to next. tap you on the shoulder to confuse you. You don't do that to yourself. Video shared on social media showed the train zooming past several stations at high speed. This is a classic Western thing. Indian Railways, as in India the country. That's, see, that's oh. where it threw me. Said the train. Well, which, that's where they lost it. Which was carrying stone. How many Indian railroads do you know of in the United States? And westerns, I bet they Well, have. how do you think they're going to get to the casinos, okay? Oh, God. <laughs> this train was carrying stone chips and had stopped in Hatua for a crew change when it began moving down a slope on the train tracks. Soon after being alerted about the moving train, officials closed off railway crossings along its path. The train was stopped after a railway official placed wood blocks on the tracks to stop the train. How does that work? It managed to reach speeds of 62 miles per hour and crossed about five stations before it was finally stopped. First of all, it'd be a lousy movie. Wooden blocks. Oh, you want to have a guy ride up next to it on a horse? <laughs> oh, and jump off and jump jump off and jump into the train. Yeah. Uh huh. And, and then he puts the brakes on, and the people that are in the back in the cars all go flying forward. Now, that's a way to stop. A Do train. you remember how loud that train was that we rode on? Oh, that that's why we're both the, deaf. The horn thing. Yeah. Yeah. We <laughs> famously rode the fare train. We never recovered. Nope. Uh, well, I'm glad everybody's okay. That's where I lost it all. Uh, I just thought, <laughs> how would the wooden block stop the train? It's. They did. Put them on the tracks. And yeah, they put them on the it'll tracks. Make, it'll make it knock it off the tracks. You know how you know a train's gonna, been. You know how you don't know a train's been through here. Oh. No. You, you can see it's track. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, I wouldn't have given you the story if I'd known that it was going to end that way. All right. Uh, well. I like when you give us stories and then ask us questions that uh, the story didn't answer. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. my favorite well, thing. Well, what about the wooden blocks? How do we know? I think you would, uh, maybe do a little reading. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so okay. you want us to okay. come in. <laughs> Never mind. I know. You don't want us to come in. No. That's, no, yeah, no, yeah. no. I will gladly stay home in my compound where I have peace of mind <laughs> yeah. because I have my Simply Safe. Design it yourself. Do it yourself. Home security system. Simply Safe, you know, is trusted by the experts named Best Home Security System of 2024 by an outfit called U.S. News and World Report, offering everything you need for whole home protection. Simply Safe has HD cameras for inside and out. They also have advanced motion sensors, entry sensors, hazard sensors for fire, floods, and ice. 
Simply Safe's system is easy to set up without any special tool, tools or know-how required. Let's put it this way. I installed it in a couple of places. And, and I put in uh, Mike Marks, uh, Simply Safe. Did you know that? Nice. Yeah. Over there and put, got it up and running just for um, whatever that What'd guy's you charge name is. What you charge for that? Mike Marks. Uh, absolutely free. Oh. And now for Bob and Tom show listeners, I can't get I cannot get you a free price, but I can get you 20% off any new Simply Safe system with fast protect monitoring. Just go to simplysafetom.com. That's simplysafetom.com. Remember, there's no safe like Simply Safe. Thank you very much, Chick McGee. Yes, uh, when we come back, uh, you were asking about uh, how our uh, signal is going out into outer space. Uh-huh. And bouncing back? I have some answers. Cool. Wow. Kind of cool. We're going to find out about those when we return. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Just got to get a hold of us? Call, fax, mail, or email. Get all the contact information you need at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Yeah, man, you know, they burnt the pig for us and everything. It was fantastic to see a pig come out of the ground, and we just ate on pig. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I mean, it was kind of weird looking at him with his nose sticking out at you, but, you know, he was still delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. I just <laughs> ate from behind, you know, that's what I did. Yeah, no, uh, no pig face. Yeah, right, you no. Know, no, you don't want no pig face. To, but my cousin and them eat pig snoot in St. Louis, which is crazy. They eat the snoot. The no snoot. way. Yeah. They do, really? Heck yeah, they put barbecue sauce on it and eat it. They eat the feet. Mm. Some black yeah, you will not lead us astray, I guarantee. Because I hate restaurants that have those, you know, named best barbecue ever, you mm -hmm. know. And then you go in, it's some old burnt barbecue, and, mm -hmm. and it don't taste good. I mean, they only have what you want because, you know, I'm from St. Louis. We eat rib tips, you know. Mm -hmm. And rib tips is like the top part of the rib. Yeah, and you cut delicious. it in, listen, oh, my oh, good Lord. Oh. <laughs> mm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lavelle Crawford. Uh -huh. Lavelle Crawford is our guest. And so far, we've had a tour of Hawaii. We have yet to see anything except for a pig nose. Well, well, well you know, I won a luau. I won, a lu I won the uh, hula dance competition. You did? Know. Yeah. Wow. Uh, you yeah. can move it up. Huh? One thing I know about paradise for black folks is just it's something black people want to do that we see white folks do that we shouldn't do. Like, you know, go on the catamaran. That's just like being out on a raft with a motor. Mm. It ain't safe. <laughs> <laughs> and, and my wife went, let's go out on the catamaran. I said, have you ever seen a catamaran? You don't even know what it is. She's from Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know nothing about no catamaran. Uh -huh. and, you, and then she can't swim. She ain't never been to a YMCA, learned how to float or nothing. <laughs> but she want to go out in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> See, I learned my lesson with that jet ski. They flying around <laughs> on that jet ski, jumping up on the water. And I realized that water's hard as hell. You know, <laughs> it is. Because every time you hit a wave, man, my junk was hitting me in the chin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, so, wow. <laughs> so, so I, I know what water, you know, it's dangerous out there. Mm -hmm. And then my jet ski conked out on me, so I'm sitting down in the middle of the ocean. They had to tow me in, you know, I, and I fell off the jet ski. I couldn't leapfrog back on it. No. So, no, I couldn't do it. I, my blood sugar got low. I just had to lay out there, and they had to tow me in. I'm looking like the Loch Ness Negro trying to come back. <laughs> People t taking pictures. What they catch? What you is know? that? <laughs> I think it's a killer whale. Oh, so, my. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> Was that your surfer voice? <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. Hey! 
That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Keeps oh. pinching. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Uh, feeling fine. Yeah, yeah oh. mine's pinching oh, yeah. a bit too. Let's just take them off. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> He's living rent free and getting an eyeful. Cindy, what do you think of my new negligee? Do you think it fits? Oh, yeah, it looks great. What do you think of mine? <laughs> She's invisible and insatiable. Gee, Cindy, this bed sure feels lumpy. Boy, that's uncomfortable. <laughs> Come to Papa. You know you want it. <laughs> invisible Dave and his two stacked roommates. <laughs> followed by the fast-paced action of pro basketball with a moral twist. Meet Carl Goodman, Amish power forward. <laughs> we have worked together, my friends. We shared the ball with he who was open and were blessed when two points were bestowed upon us. Now we must pray. Oh, merciful God of all It's Carl Goodman, Amish power forward, right after Invisible Dave and his two stacked roommates. Thursday on ABC. <laughs> Ye be thar. <laughs> Bob and Tom. They put the F in professional. And Jesus said, take this bread and eat it. It is my body. And the disciples said, Jesus, we're all on low-carb diet. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate you dying for our sins, but we're all trying to slim down. Right <laughs> we want to look good in the painting. I actually uh, I have a, a sexual fantasy associated with the earthquake. Go. All right, woke chick up. Uh -huh. mm. uh, in my fantasy, I'm making love to this woman. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, she feels the earth move beneath her. Mm. Ah, yes. And then she rolls over on top of me and shields me from debris. <laughs> 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 Safety first, everybody. Safety <laughs> first. Hi, this is comedian Rob Haney. Egyptian room down. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Uh, we're at the news desk with Christy Lee, are we not? Yeah, coming up a little Timmy Cavanaugh, but right now, Christy, what else have you got? If you've ever lost track of time at the mall, there's a very specific design reason why. Writing for The Hustle, Mark Dent draws comparisons to malls and casinos, noting that neither feature natural light nor clocks. By removing distractions like clocks, windows, and interesting design elements, people's attention is reunited to their products. That's right. Hmm. Much like casinos, mall operators also want to keep people inside for as long as possible. Researchers from Bangor University discovered that when we shop, we have about 20 minutes before our brains lose the power to keep us from making questionable financial decisions. <laughs> 20. 20, I was going to say. <laughs> they don't shop with me. That's why you go to the mall to make questionable financial That's decisions. That's right. After 40 minutes, brains effectively shut down and struggle to make logical decisions, making it more likely for people to buy things they did not intend on getting. That's the message of Dawn of the Dead. Is it? Yes. Yeah, I've not seen it. In a mall. It's a wonderful satire. <laughs> Consumerism. And do you uh, <laughs> often find yourself going into, say, Target, and you just want to get one thing, oh, and you oh, walk sure. out with 40? I call it the $200 Target. Absolutely. No matter what I go in there for, really? I spend $200. It's like within, it's literally within two or three bucks. It's unbelievable. Wow. 
Target's Thanks, a good Target. store, huh? Real good. Yeah. They got popcorn. Well, they've got everything. They've got food. Yeah, it always smells good. So they they have, have... They've got popcorn. They yeah. have housewares. They have clothing. They. I, I submit mean, the finest shopping carts in a retail They have great shopping series. carts. Now, are you, do you just go in to get one thing, Josh, or are you able to... You know, I, I talk, I, I say all that. I haven't been in a Target in, in a while. Uh, I, yeah, I'm real good, though, at going in, getting what I came for, and, and not getting anything else. Yeah. Is not that me. right? Yes. You strike me as that guy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm jealous of you, actually. You get the, I am totally the opposite. You get the popcorn, right? I don't. Ah! Oh! <laughs> well, there's no other reason to go to Target it's, without the popcorn. It's now, salty. Do you know, how about if you're doing something, say you were buying something on Amazon. Yeah. Do you get the one thing, or do you go, hey, well, since I'm here? No, you guys won't like how I shop on Amazon. I uh, if I'm go. if I'm going Amazon just for one thing, I just leave it in my cart until I need another thing. I wait until I have three or four things. Well, that's good. Th that saves trips so, and really, that's nice. yeah. I'm not a mm -hmm. I, I, yeah. I, you know I, Chick I, McGee, where you have to have it right now. No, I don't need. In fact, I I uh, I try to beat the system. I do the thing of like. Hey, you, you can send it to you tomorrow or in a week, and you'll get a buck fifty on your digital things. Right. I, I always go for the week later. How do you know that I get the pay, pay extra for shipping that I can get it later? You today? talk about it all the time. Yeah, I do. <laughs> <laughs> no, I try to I try to make money when I'm on Amazon. Really? Huh. By doing that. Hey, yeah, I'll ship it in a week, and I get the dollar fifty off a movie I want to rent or something. Do you do? But do you use it? You it automatically deducts, yeah. Oh, when you go to rent okay. something, that's or right. So you know what we've got here with yeah. Josh and Ace. <laughs> we got a couple of coupon clippers, is what we've got, and we've got a couple of coupon redeemers by mail. Is that right, gentlemen? Rebate. I am absolutely. I have become a. I, I will fill out the rebate form. Good Lord. and mail it in. Yes, and I have uh, made money. You're uh, frugal. I. Uh, I. You're tight. I know the cheap. I know the uh, the worth <laughs> now of the, a dollar. But the essence of the story the is that, that, that there are no clocks in the mall, so you you lose track of time in theory. Of course, makes sense. Now, yes. do you apply this at your home when you bring one of these ladies home to your bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> to you what? your various do you, no, you can't. Do you not have a clock in the bedroom because after forty minutes, her brain stops making logical decisions? I have to have a clock yeah, because it's pay, you pay by the hour. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> but I don't want what's called a clock watcher. I don't want her to be oh, looking at her watch. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, don't worry, babe. We'll, we'll take care of this. Worry about By the that. way, multiple pops. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if, if ladies of the evening wear an Apple Watch so they get track for the movement. <laughs> That's... Oh, get their steps in? Yeah. Is there is there yeah, a, on their ankles. Yeah, is, there a, is there a they thing on the uh, on, on the fitness app that I know that they have one for, like, Pilates and for swimming? And right. Do, do they have one for uh, no, intercourse? No, but they, they sure. don't, but they have, I mean, they have a, an activity circle. Right, it will affect circle. them. It'll affect sure it yeah. will. Yeah. Absolutely. If you're wearing your watch. So at the at the end of the day, if you're a prostitute, you look at the watch and you can do a little... Oh, I closed all three circles today. It was a good day, honey. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Some people get their steps. Yeah. yeah. Some people get their thrusts. That's right. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Well, yeah. Oh, I, uh, by the way, you coupon clippers, uh, you will take care of me when I'm penniless, right? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're good, man. I appreciate it. Okay, good. Thank you very much. What else you got, Christy? A uh, new research out there says salad is less healthy in space. I've been trying to tell you people. <laughs> <laughs> well, S ISS astronauts, that's a space station, can eat salad grown from controlled chambers. There are concerns that pathogens on the International Space Station can colonize lettuce and other planets, uh, their plants, which could lead to an outbreak of E. coli or salmonella. Oh, man. Scientists at the University of Delaware grew lettuce under conditions that imitated the weightless environment aboard the International Space Station and found plants were more prone to infections from salmonella when grown in simulated microgravity than on Earth. Okay. Huh. Are the they next time I'm in space, <laughs> I'll order salad. the soup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't they recycling the water, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's part of it. I wonder if the cuisine up there has gotten better over the years, or is it all? Well, Josh, don't they have several places to eat that the food's pretty good? Yeah, they got some. Uh, awesome they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The food in space is good. Yeah, oh, is yeah. it? Yeah, of course. The atmosphere is terrible. But, uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Mm. I'd like to. Be, wouldn't you like to be weightless? 
Wouldn't you yes. like to float around for a bit? God, I think it'd be great. Yeah. That'd be like flying, right? Yeah. yeah that'd be cool. Be fantastic. I, would, be I think wonderful. I'd get violently ill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the vomit would just float right there next to Why me. Why do you think you would get ill? I don't. It, it feels like I would get, uh, if I didn't know what was up or down, it wouldn't matter. I'm sorry. If I, it wouldn't matter what was up or down. I don't think I could uh, Function. wrap my mind around mm. that. Now, you don't speaking get sick of space, when you're flying, right? Yeah. Uh, we uh, were talking about uh, does the radio signal just go out into space? Mm hmm. And apparently it does. Yeah. Um, um, Mr. Blair was kind enough to send us this letter. Uh, with the number of years you've been broadcasting, your signal's been heading out at the speed of light since then. That means your signal has reached at least 71 star systems. Holy wow. Heck. Systems within 40 light years of Earth. Oh, that's cool. Since Josh joined seven years ago, uh, is it eight years ago? Almost? Almost, Almost yeah. Uh, your voice has reached at least five star systems, Josh. That's crazy. Want to say hi to anybody? What? That, yeah. Uh, hello out there. Uh, uh, please practice the prime directive. If you do come oh. and study us, we right. just leave us be and uh, get your info and leave. Don't uh, do That's anything right. else. Yeah. Okay. All no right. probing. No probing? Nope. Well... <laughs> I'm not going to knock until I try it. I'll I see. I Pro, see. You okay. probe a little. You came all this yeah. way. You can push on it. Do yeah. they warm that uh, <laughs> nerve? Do they, do they bring that, uh, that that probe thing up to temperature? Or they you? breathe on it like a gyno would a speculum. Yeah, you don't want it to. <sighs> just, uh, I told you when I got my last ultrasound, uh, I, uh, they have a hole where they put the ultrasound gel that heats up the gel. Yeah, it's very it nice. It warms it up. It's very, very nice. It's wow. true, Tom. I'm not. I'm, I'm not doubting it. By I'm the just... way, ladies, if you go to a gynecologist and he breathes on a metal speculum and then wipes it off with his <laughs> shirt, oh. time, time to change. Go to a different guy. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Yeah, if you hear, <laughs> yeah. You, you, yeah, just yeah. Yeah. excuse me. I left my car running and just go. Yeah, he says something like, "I'll tell you what. Last hour, I didn't think this thing was going to be strong enough to hold that baby open." <laughs> Oh, Boy, the last, the last lady fought like a Comanche. <laughs> she was mad. Very bad things, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, okay. okay, thank you very much. Uh, coming up, little Timmy Cavanaugh. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Reach us toll free at 1 888 Bob Tom 1 or at bobandtom.com. This is the Bob and Tom. Uh, we have. Uh, have Etta May in the studio with us. Uh, Etta May is um, uh, the mother of several. What, what is the official count now? Uh, four. Okay, great. Not counting wow. my husband. Okay. Yeah. Um, You're done, right? Uh, my, yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> my oldest boy, Bud, is 17, and Bud. then Corona, she is 16, huh. and Miller is 13, and then Jack is 8. There's, there's a theme there. <laughs> well, Jack. no, trust me, after the third one, I had graduated to hard liquor. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, Understood. It helps. Uh, yeah, and, and Jack is a, just a dream. Is he? My little eight-year-old. Yeah. He started kindergarten this year, so we're very... Oh, he's eight? Wow. Yeah. Huh. Chick, take you back, does yes, it? Yes, it does. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That kid's Woo. huge. Nothing yeah. like being 20 during your senior year in high school. <laughs> You're popular. Yeah. You can drive and... Drinking. And, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Drive your buddies yeah. around. Yeah. 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 So we're very proud of him, and... Um, my 17-year-old is, uh, uh, problems are arising. Mm. And I, I, I'm, I'm seeing flags. Mm. Let's put it down. The other day he walked in the house. Uh, he had pierced his bottom lip. Ooh. Jeez. Um, and, uh, that, uh, and tried to hide it from me. Mm. It's like, you know what? Be a man. Own it. Mm -hmm. Don't hide it. And it's like, you know, it's like, hello, you got a spike sticking out your bottom lip. <laughs> Man up. I'm like, yeah, I might notice that at breakfast when Cheerios keep getting hung up on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah my son for his graduating class now looks like a ring toss game. Mm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he tries to hide it. And it's like, hey, mom, I'm going to I'm going to go to my room. Okay. And it's like, come here. What's the matter with you? Why are you talking? Mm. Come here. And I, and I said, put your hand down. And he, and it's like, oh, honey, what did you do? And I said, did that hurt going in? Did it hurt coming out? Oh. Oh. Hey, any holes be put in my kid's head, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is the kid he runs with. That's yeah. his the bad influence. He, this kid has so many piercings, he looks like he was attacked by a nail gun. Okay? <laughs> Somebody from Home Depot did a drive-by on him. <laughs> I mean, I call him Tackle Box. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds attractive. Oh, yeah. Gunner, you can take him fishing.
Uh, really? He, he, he's got a couple fish hooks right here. Oh, yeah. Oh. About 13 lures in his ear. A couple sinkers <laughs> coming out of his nose. It's convenient, yeah. The kid can't even walk past my refrigerator without all the magnets going. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, did you enjoy those videos played in that break? Check out the Bob and Tom YouTube playlist for more great stuff. My mom and I, we've been playing this new game uh, over the holidays. You might want to try it yourself. It's called Joy Whack-A-Mole. <laughs> what happens? I bring up something that I'm happy about, and then she comes in and slams it down. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I can never feel too good uh -huh. about what's going on. I see. Okay. Um, All right. Um, I told her, uh, Mom, my fr Amy had her baby. Oh, that's great news, honey. That's not the greatest news for the 600,000 kids in foster care. But if she wants a fresh one, uh, everybody wants one that looks like them. Oh. So, Mom, I'm doing a show tonight. Oh, sweetie, I have a joke for you. Listen, a friend of mine, Quinsley, she was in foster care. She was airlifted out of the Sudan in the late 90s. She'd been be armed and be legged by the John Jaweed, the horseback militia. She'd love to do stand-up, but she can't. Uh, uh. She's just a hoot. She's in a hospice situation. It's really just a matter of time. But uh, the priest comes in and asks her, would you like us to light a candle for you in the chapel? And she says, sassy as you please. Teletyping through her eyelids. Well, how many candles you got? Because so many horrible things have happened to her. And keep happening. Sweetie, have a good show. What you do is so important. <laughs> Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better. Do more with orange insoles. Tom Radio. Jimmy Schubert is our guest. Any uh, other interesting news headlines, Christy? The FBI has identified the source of the virus-like blaster infection on the Internet. The suspect, an 18-year-old who has not been identified but is expected to be arrested today. Now, can we execute 18-year-olds in our society? Yes, we can. Yeah. Okay, I'm there. I'm voting for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, you can tell the kid's not getting laid. Any kid that's getting laid on a regular basis is not creating computer viruses. <laughs> How so, true. So it's basically, that's a sex education in high school. They, you know, all they talk about are diseases and things you can catch and the girls stop putting out and kids the hole up in the room and create a virus. He's going to be receiving a different kind of sex education, I hope. <laughs> yeah, I yeah his right. baseball hat and his uh, dirt yeah. button are going to be the same size once they get done with him. This kid's going to be able to do deep knee bends over a fire hydrant. My most recent marriage was a disaster. It made the wreck of the Edmonds Fitzgerald look like a fender bender. <laughs> wow. Sorry to hear that. Uh, hello. And you remember Lord's famous line about uh, gun control. More ah, or less. yes. yes. It, it, the relationship taught me a lot. It mm -hmm. taught me they won't sell you a handgun if you're crying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jimmy Pardo. You, and you'll be up and running. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Pat Hi. Godwin in the performance room. Hello, Chick. There's Ace, uh, Ace Cosby. Hey. Josh Arnold is over there. Hey, Chick. I'm Chick McGee, and here's Tom Griswold. Well, thank you very much. Uh, coming up, we're going to uh, 
hook up on the uh, big screen with, uh, there he is, it's Tim Cavanaugh. Hi, Tim. Hi, Tim. Hey, Tim. Hey, you guys. Uh, Tim Cavanaugh is a new shade of white if you um, <laughs> are going to paint your house. You can get uh, bright white, lunar white, ivory white, or Tim Cavanaugh white. It is, uh, Tim, it is... do you come in matte? <laughs> well, wait a minute. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Josh, your thoughts on that question? He didn't mean it like that, Tim. <laughs> he, no. meant, he meant Matt Finish. Um, yeah. Matt, 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 oh, Matt, Matt Finish yeah. first. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, he he oh, meant uh, Matt Finish. Yeah, M A T T E E. How do you spell that, Josh? I, yeah, M A T T E. I've lost my ability to think and talk. Uh, <clears throat> hi, Tim. How are you? Good. How are you guys? Good. Good. It's exciting to be here. I. Uh, a week ago today, uh, my wife and I flew back from Washington, D.C., uh, where she was testifying before Congress, which she does, you know, because she's a member of the Irish Republican Army. Uh, <laughs> is that right? <laughs> I shouldn't have said that on the radio. But, uh, no, she, she isn't really. But we were flying back from Washington, D.C., and we were sitting on the shuttle bus uh, taking us back to the rental car place. And this nice family came on. It was a couple and, like, a 7-year-old boy. And we got to talking a little bit, and I said to the kid, I said, so you didn't have school today? And this was Monday. Uh, and he said, no, I did not. And I said, well, that's because it's President's Day. And the only people who have to go to school on President's Day are presidents. <laughs> and he looked at me kind of confused, and he said, so tomorrow is President's Day? I said, no, today is President's Day. And he shot his mother the dirtiest look and said, why didn't you tell me? <laughs> he was real upset. Like he'd missed Christmas. <laughs> it's like, what's going on? What is? It? What do he and his friends do on President's Day that he's so upset that he missed it? <laughs> These parents, they've got a problem. I, uh, I guess so. Uh, now, um, you're famous for your uh, birthday celebrations. And um, I you, am. You keep, I am you... so famous that I cannot myself get into the celebrity birthday uh, list. Uh, oh. So I'm not that famous. But <laughs> yes, I do. I have celebrity birthdays for you today. If you are interested. Sure. Yeah. 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 Yes. Um, we'll get the cool. music up in just a second. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but why don't you start, and then I'll throw it in when I'm ready. <laughs> okay, that's cool, because I can't hear it anyway. So um, I'll just start and as if everything's going well. All right. <laughs> hey, everybody, it's time once again for Tim Cavanaugh's Cavalcade of Celebrity Birthdays. I'm comedian Tim Cavanaugh. <laughs> Celebrating birthday number 64 this week is Tony Robbins, the man who answers the question, I wonder what Lurch would be like as a motivational speaker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Business tycoon Mike Bloomberg celebrated birthday number 82 this week. Oh. His net worth is an estimated $60 billion. That's I was thinking much. for his birthday... What do you give a man who's worth $60 billion? Adoption papers. <laughs> hey, I've been an orphan for 25 years. I need a dad. <laughs> Celebrating birthday number 68 this week is Kelsey Grammer. Hmm. This fall, he'll be teaming up with Tori Spelling on a new show called Kelsey and Tori. Because let's face it, who's going to watch a show called Grammar and Spelling? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Hey, the late great actor Sidney Poitier would have turned 95 this month. He had an amazing life. His highest point was Lilies of the Field. The lowest point is pushing up daisies. <laughs> <laughs> That's too soon. I know it is. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> he's, he's beloved. To serve with love. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is interesting. I didn't know this before. Turning 57 this month is actor Benicio Del Toro. His Spanish name translates in English as Benny the Bull, who is the mascot of the Chicago Bulls. <laughs> now, in his work as the Bulls mascot over the years, Benicio <laughs> has killed 27 fans. Oh, my. Only Slamson the Lion is responsible for more deaths in NBA arena. <laughs> oh, no. 
because he kills a lot of people in his movies. Yeah. Oh, yes. Sure, yeah. Hitman and stuff. He's a bad guy. That's what I was thinking. And then you put the disguise on him. Mm. Nothing to stop him. <laughs> NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell turns 65 this week, beating the over-under of 64 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of the NFL, NFL great Jerome the Bus Bettis turns 52 this month. And you know what happens to a 52-year-old bus. Yep, it's donated to a church group. <laughs> That's right. Nice. Yeah. I think we've all seen those things on the road. Okay. Uh, last October, I went trick-or-treating with my niece and her friends. My niece went as Barbie, who's turning 64 this month. Oh. As everybody who saw the movie knows. I went in costume, too. I just wore a tiny Speedo. I told people I was Aquaman Jason Momoa. <laughs> and, man, I got more Snickers than any of my friends or nieces <laughs> could <buy. laughs> Jason Momoa turns 45 this month. You know, he's married to Lisa Bonet. Hmm. You know, and she's just little. I mean, she looks little to me. Mm -hmm. And I, I would just worry, seeing those two going into a bedroom, that <laughs> she's not going to come out alive. <laughs> <laughs> she's a big guy. Yeah, yeah. The word asunder comes to mind. <laughs> yeah, a torn asunder. Very nice. And that's biblical, too. <laughs> and Momoa sounds like it should be a biblical name, but I, I he's... Um, He's actually half Hawaiian and half Iowan. Oh. <laughs> His mother is from Iowa. How about that? He grew up just, just south of, of Des Moines, Iowa. So he's Des Moines. <laughs> <laughs> Your thoughts, Tim. I, 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 I like it. Okay. Uh, one other thing I found out, he went to the same high school as Brandon Routh, who uh, played Superman in one of those movies. Right. Sure. So that's pretty weird. You have Aquaman and Superman in the same high school. That is. It is weird. What are the odds? You'd think they would have gone to school in D.C. <laughs> oh, very good, very good. D.C. Comics. You're a Marvel. Oh, right. my God. Uh, right. Okay, Did you know Superman and Batman, both their mother's names are Martha? No, I didn't know that. Yeah, oh. chew on that for a while. <laughs> that's amazing. Back to you, Tim. You know what? I like it when coincidence takes over for comedy. <laughs> Same. I think that's fun. Yeah. So, hey, does anybody want to guess how old singer Rick Astley is? Mm -hmm. I didn't think so. I'm going to say 71. <laughs> he's 58. Oh. He's 58? Wow. Wow. He looks yeah, Rick Astley, 58. believe it or not. Uh, we've all been Rick Rolled here. Uh, <laughs> turning 64 this month is Prince Andrew, Duke of York. Mm -hmm. When asked what he'd like for his birthday, he said uh -oh. an exquisite 12-year-old Scotch McAllen or McDougal or whatever last name you can uh, Yeah. Yeah. Likes the young girl. Likes 12 years God. old. That's tough. Yeah, that's, that, that, that's that was... A, that yeah, was okay. the, Epstein Island. Is, yeah. Wow. Oh, boy. Yeah. Okay. Hey, how about a celebrity birthday riddle? Oh. What famous comedian beats Chris Scissors but loses to Chris Paper? <laughs> Chris Rock. Oh, you knew Chris it, Chris Rock is correct. <laughs> and one more riddle. What Oscar-winning actor beats Chris Rock? Oh. Mm. Will Smith. <laughs> uh. How did we not answer that? How did you not I get that? Yeah. I don't know. Didn't get it. Oh. Yeah, you got the Chris Rock one. That Just was really common excellent. sense. All right. Yeah. That's a little one-two punch for you. Okay. Um, Princess Alexandra of Luxembourg turns 33 this week. For her birthday, her father gave her a cardboard crown because that's what everybody gets on their birthday from the Luxembourger King. <laughs> oh, man. Very good. Luxembourger yeah, King. That's a good one. Very good. <laughs> All right. All right. We've lowered the standard, but that's okay. Uh, Matt Groening, the creator of The Simpsons, turned 70 this mm. week. The Simpsons is such a great show. It's been on for over 30 years, and it's still funny. And after all these years, they've finally taken a poll asking, who's your favorite Simpson? Finishing first, Homer. Finishing last, 
OJ. <laughs> <laughs> He's still way down there. No. Uh, I'm glad. I, yeah, yeah. He, he yeah being a murderer and all, I'm glad. <laughs> Yeah, he's out of jail. He's back in my act. So that's the important thing. <laughs> now, speaking of your act, uh, Tim Cavanaugh, um, a Thursday. Oh, yeah. Thursday at the Burlington Memorial Auditorium in Burlington, Iowa. Friday, this Friday, Diamond Joe Casino in Dubuque. Saturday, the Olympic Theater in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And Friday, the Lebowski Center for the Arts in Owasso, Michigan. All right. It's Mr. Tim it's Cavanaugh. It's a week from Friday. Yes, uh, Owasso, Owasso, Michigan. Yeah, very, sorry, very cool. Yeah, this Friday's Diamond Joe. Then a week from Friday is the Lebowski Center. Very good. Thank you, Tim. Right. One of them has a casino and one does not. Yes. Uh, okay. Good to know. Uh, now, do you want to wrap it up here? Yeah, I do. Um, I think you guys do, so I think I will. Um, I've got one, two. Uh, okay. Just a couple more jokes. Uh, born back in 1819 was Christopher Latham Shoals, who invented the typewriter. Now, when I took typing back in high school... I had a crush on a girl who sat next to me in class. My plan was to dazzle her with my incredible typing prowess, which really <laughs> turns girls on. Christy, you could back me up oh, on yeah. that. Well, wouldn't you know, I was the one student in the class who got stuck with the typewriter with the spastic colon. Oh. <laughs> Very hard to impress a girl when your equipment isn't working. <laughs> sure, sure. Mm -hmm. I started to feel sorry for myself, but then I found out that the girl behind me was missing her period. <laughs> <laughs> That's rough. Yeah, that is. She spent the summer with her aunt. <laughs> Very good. Very good. I don't know what. Hey, hey the late... Do I have time for another one? One more. Hey, the late... Okay, not waiting for a response. The late <laughs> Fats Domino, the great rock and roller from the 50s, would have turned 96 this week. He was so popular back in the day that other singers started to copy him, giving themselves a first name that implied that they were heavy and a last name that was a playing piece from a game. So, Fats Domino led to Chubby Checker, mm -hmm. who led to Lardass Tiddlywink. <laughs> never really caught on. No, no, for really Lardass. <laughs> well, thank you, Tim. Tim Cavanaugh, once again, um, tomorrow night at the um, Burlington, excuse me, Thursday night, sorry, at the Burlington Memorial Auditorium in Burlington, Iowa. And then it's Dubuque on Friday at the uh, Diamond Joe Casino and Saturday at the Olympic Theater in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Thanks so much. you guys. Have yeah. a great weekend. Very funny. OJ. Yeah. Okay, now, uh, this portion of the Bomb Tom Show, Joshy. Yes, brought to you by Cheese. Cheese, cheese, Who doesn't cheese, love cheese, 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 cheese. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese and Sausage. Their famous squeaky cheese curds are made fresh in the morning and most often delivered to your doorstep in about 48 hours nationwide. Matt writes in. He says, Josh got me to buy some Gouda, Marble Jack, and jalapeno oven-baked cheese. I'm going to make some stuffed jalapenos wrapped in bacon. Do it. That's going to be terrific, Matt. Thank you so much for checking out Gardner's. I know you'll love them. Try Gardner's new limited-time flavor. Now, listen, it's only available today, okay? This is the last day that you can order this. And it's maple bacon flavored cheese curds. Oh, you've got the sweetness of the naturally oaky maple, plus the savory bacon flavor. It tastes like Sunday morning. Today, the last day, and it's available. Be sure to order it now. That's maple bacon flavored cheese curds today. Another popular <laughs> item to try oven baked cheese. It arrives pre baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it, even microwave it, no matter how you cook it up, slice it it, cube it, and eat it. It's so good. Try a little bit of everything with the Bob and Tom Sampler Package. It's the perfect introduction to all of Gardner's most beloved products, including the eight-year-old super sharp cheddar, my personal favorite, bacon oven baked cheese, buffalo wing cheese, teriyaki meat sticks, garlic summer sausage, and so much more. Are you tired of those charcuterie boards where you, what the heck is this? Oh, that tastes like mildew. Not when it comes to Gardner's, that's right. All good products, nothing too fancy, but nothing uh, that isn't high quality. Go to GardnersWisconsinCheese.com slash Bob and Tom. Right now, receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com slash Bob and Tom. And make sure you use that slash Bob and Tom page. It really lets them know that you're coming from us and it helps us out. We sure appreciate you guys giving them a shot. That's GardnersWisconsinCheese.com slash Bob and Tom.
Thank you very much, Josh, a man who knows his way around cheese. Mm -hmm. Coming up, booze, poop, what do they have in common? We're going to find <laughs> out. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom. For your information, these are two of the... Either way, there are a lot of strollers, yeah. Uh, yeah. and uh, I oh, yeah, we're we're eating uh, some milkshake. She, Christy got the chocolate. I got the vanilla. Should we do that thing where we like do the like the flavor kiss, like uh, and get like, like a mix? Oh, what do you mean? I thought you were gonna do like the like we were married and do this. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm now going to sell this spoon on eBay to the creepiest <laughs> listener because this was in Christie's mouth. That is so. Crazy. Okay, so Josh, we're about to walk into the Midway at yes. the Indiana State Fair, and I know we should probably ride a ride together. I want to ride the crazy mouse. I want to ride the no. log flume. No, uh, no, I what can't do you, ride those. Why not? Are okay. you afraid? Yeah. The only thing I like is the Ferris wheel. No, that's the only thing I'm terrified of. We're no, not riding we the Ferris riding, wheel. We gotta ride the Ferris wheel. You're never going to get me on that. <laughs> oh yeah. I, uh, oh my gosh. I, I genuinely do not like this. <laughs> oh my God! You hear it? Fine. Oh, we're Look stopped. We are stopped. <laughs> Look at this lovely view. We can see the Coliseum. Oh man. You can see the track where they, you know, have some racing. And I'm sure. You can see the midway. What a beautiful. I can see midway. downtown. You can see downtown. That's right. Oh, <laughs> I can't take it. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there might be one way to relax a little okay, bit. Okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm not here to make you feel better. <laughs> I'm just grateful that you decided to ride this with me. I don't know. Maybe we're stuck up here. We haven't seen you move That's for nice. a while. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, I hate the way it moves. I can't take it. It's okay. it I feel like we are going down. <laughs> we are swaying far too much. <laughs> we are not swaying, Josh. Ooh. We are not. All right. Oh, we're done. Oh, oh damn it. Man. Josh, I'm really sorry. I had no idea that that really would get to you like that. You know what I'll do? Since you did that for me, I'm going to ride one of your rides. I oh, you really like that, didn't I? Maybe I shouldn't do that. No, I don't really want I'm backtracking. No, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean it. <laughs> I'm not too worried about that. I think yeah, I'm going to stick with uh, oh, I'm going to okay. stick with uh, most of the just the. We pretty much ate a lot. Yeah, I'm going to stick with uh, the things I can see.
Um, show. Here we are. Uh, coming up, as promised, a little bit of the Mr. Obvious show. Oh, Ooh, he's good. But before we get to that, we have Christy Lee still at the news desk. Have we missed anything? GI experts explain the reasons why you may be experiencing strange <laughs> bowel movements after a night of drinking. Oh, so GI, not soldiers. Gastrointestinal problems. Not military. Not, yes. not the military. Not soldiers. Thank you. Gastroenterologist Dr. Susanna Sophie told uh, the Huffington Post, alcohol definitely makes you poop. Duh. Anybody who drinks knows this, since it increases how fast contents move through your GI system. Dr. Lauren Bleich, or Blyke. What a lovely. (laughs) B-L-I-C-H, added that when you are drinking, the body's trying to remove the alcohol quickly, and the colon does not have enough time to pull water from the digestive tract and reabsorb it into the body. So with more liquid in the large intestine, you may end up with... That's why I don't worry about softer, this. Softer, most... No, no wait. This is how it's written. I softer, just, most, wor- most <laughs> urgent stools. Look at them. I just go ahead and vomit. It's fine. Oh, oh sure, yeah. Before, yeah. 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 before it goes down the other way. Right. Yeah. Right. I'm sorry. So, softer what? More urgent stools. <laughs> is there anything more Tom, fun? Look at, Look at him. He's been he so happy since stool. we started this. I've never uh. heard the phrase an urgent stool. <laughs> well, you've had it all that's day. The, uh, that's the import of Foreigner's song, Urgent. Uh, okay. <laughs> urgent stool. You can hear him whispering, stool. Wow. Urgent, 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 stool. stool. So, <laughs> this, the essence of this is if you drink a lot of alcohol, you're going to have unusual... Anybody who's had a, a good night the next day, oh, you have, yeah. yeah, you have. Isn't that yeah, what but runs. Runs. headaches is the the word dehydrated? Right? Yeah, probably. Mm-hmm. But... Is that what I said. I heard that. Yeah. So you're. Yeah, I always say it cleans your ride out. Yeah. <laughs> the oddest stool, of course, is the one you left on your boss's desk at the Christmas party. <laughs> That's a good night of drinking. Given, oh, given the means, <laughs> oh. and the opportunity. And I'll add that you would not get caught. Would you do that? You know he would. Well, we know he would. Which, who, though? <laughs> yeah, who yeah, was a lucky question, recipient? Right? Yeah. I don't have an office. You took my office away, like, three times. So I mean, There's plenty of room in this building. There's a hood of your car. <laughs> <laughs> would you put a dump on the hood of my car? Well, and there's the famous uh, Chicago style. Oh, you know, yeah, the Chicago what? sunroof. What's the Chicago? The Chicago oh, sunroof. No, Chicago no, sunroof. No, 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 what movie is that in? Uh, I think it's in Breaking Bad, isn't it? Yeah, no, it, it's either that or uh, Better Call Saul. Okay. Does I he think throw up into the uh, no. He sunroof? somebody craps in through in the Caddyshack. Sunroof. I think he throws up. Oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, um, Spalding. So disgusting. Yeah. By. Uh, well, thank you for that, Christy. Oh, yeah. you're so well, welcome, sir. You're from a couple of uh, GIs. GI uh, experts. Now, um, uh, we promised we'd Give get a little, a, little of, uh, a little bit of a little bit of Mr. O in today to send it out to outer space. So here's a little something uh, for uh, oh yeah, baby, for Mr. Obvious fans. Bring it to me. Ah, uh, Heidi Ho, Mr. O here. It's the Mr. Obvious Show. I am your host, Mr. Obvious. Let's go right to the phones. Uh, hello, uh, Mr. Obvious Show. Uh, hi, is this Mr. Obvious? Uh, yeah, yes, it is. Are Are you calling from your car, sir? Oh, uh, yeah. As a matter of fact, I, how, how could you tell? Well, I I hear the car phone there. Oh, well, yeah. That's that's just what it is, huh. Mr. Obvious. You're you're a wizard. Uh-huh. Um, okay. Yeah, I called for my car phone. Here. Right, right. Uh, got one of these. It helps me do business. But, well, I'll tell you what I was calling about. I just, uh, first of all, I wanted to say uh, dittos on that sunshield idea you had a couple weeks ago. Oh, yes. Uh, for those of you who didn't hear that program, a gentleman was having trouble with his car getting far too hot during the day. He'd leave it to go to work or whatever, run some errands, and he'd come back, and his car would be very hot and couldn't touch the steering wheel. So, old Mr. Obvious uh, suggested a sunshield there in the front window and uh, hit the uh, worked uh, really well for him so uh, well, yeah mr obvious uh, i tried that same uh, suggestion uh-huh when i've got a really cute little garfield uh-huh. those are nice oh it works great uh-huh. cars, okay cars nice and cool oh uh, great thanks for calling well, sir no wait mr obvious yeah uh, here's my problem uh-oh um i i had a perfect driving record pretty much uh never <laughs> got any speeding tickets no accidents <laughs> nothing like that uh-huh well in the last two weeks i've been involved in five separate accidents really yeah and, Along with that, you get a couple of close calls that uh, 
wasn't really an accident, but <laughs> close. Maybe, uh, maybe you need your eyes checked. Maybe your vision. Well, uh, my wife suggested that, and I went to the eye doctor, and he checked it out. And, uh, and I said, I got 20-20 vision, so that's... That seem to be the problem. Huh. Well, maybe that's a problem uh, with your uh, route to work. Uh, can you well, can you tell me where you are right now? Well, no, no, not re not really. I can't I can't really see any any street signs or uh, uh, well, what, landmarks. What, what's in uh, What's in front of you there? Uh, is there a, a big truck or something in front of you blocking the highway? Uh, it might be. I, I really can't. <laughs> What do you mean you can't tell what's in front of you? Just look right, uh, right straight ahead there. What do you see? A big truck? Or? Uh, I'm looking straight ahead, and uh, I, I can't see out because there, uh, I'm seeing a big garf. <laughs> Wait a minute. You have the sun shield in your windshield while you're driving? Yeah, I mean, you know, it keeps the car cool. No, no, no. You're supposed caller. You're supposed to take that out of the windshield when you drive so you can see the road. Take that out of there immediately. Grace, no wonder you've had so many accidents. Goodness gracious. Take that out of there. Take the, take the sun shield out of the window? Yes, yes. Take it out right now. The car's going to get hot, isn't it? No. Roll, roll the windows down or something. Just get that out of there. You're going to have another wreck. Oh, that's not a good idea. Let me go ahead and reach up there. Get that out of the window. Uh, oh. Hello? Hello? Caller? Well, uh, join us again next time on the uh, Mr. Obvious Show. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. O. Uh, yeah, you want to uh, make sure that you're not moving when you have oh, yeah. Garfield. In. Oh, I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's an idiot. Thank you. <laughs> yes, uh, now, uh, idiot. Uh, <laughs> we return to Christy Lee at the news desk. Anything going on over there? Brighter lights are coming to New York City subway stations. The move comes as part of a change that transit officials believe will make the subway system safer. The MTA will install LED bulbs in all 150,000 of the subway's light fixtures by the end of 2026. The new bulbs see, uh, see pizza rat. Yeah, better. The new bulbs emit a brighter white glow and are touted as being more energy efficient isn't than the old orange tinted fluorescent isn't lights. Isn't it possible that this is a, a, a constant job where you get done? Oh, you'll yes. you never get done changing light bulbs. Oh, I right. would, I would think. Right. Yeah. Just just a team of men. Changing light bulbs. Well, there are two things you could do here in New York to make the subway safer. You oh. could either uh, new light bulbs right. or start prosecuting criminals. Uh, but one or the other. Oh, oh you're going with the light bulbs? Well, All right. I believe we have a hardliner with us. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. <laughs> well, now that you can see better, you can see the, you know, random hobos humping in the tunnels. <laughs> random hobos, huh? Warm down there. The chuds aren't going to care for this. That's no, for sure. the no. chuds. They like their darkness. They do, don't they? That's yeah. why they live there. Yes. Yeah. What does that chud stand for again? Cannibalistic humanoid underground dweller. You're yeah. aware of these, Tom. They're out yeah. there. Uh, no, I'm not aware of these. Well, You're not? you better be. Some people think that that's a movie, but it's actually a documentary. Yeah. <laughs> Is Frank Langella in that? Why do I think he's Daniel in that? Stern and. Uh, Daniel Stern, that's right. Yeah. A number of <laughs> leaders in state and federal governments are beginning to endorse school cell phone bans as teachers are complaining of students on Snapchat, listening to music, even watching Netflix while in class. Among the countless other examples of how smartphones distract from teaching and learning, they're trying to find a new way to curb the access to the devices in many schools across the country. That is, is got to be an impossible mission. It has to be. I can't no win. Check them at the door, I guess. Would be Man, that's way. tough. If I'd had this gizmo when oh. I was going oh. to high school, forget it. God bless you, teachers. That Good is not Lord. an easy, <laughs> easy mission. Well, no. I watched... Uh, the Godfather three times today. <laughs> I don't know, I, I don't know how much death. longer I can hold out. <laughs> Good Lord. So what are they doing? What are they trying to do? They're trying to outlaw them in schools. They're trying to actually legislate it. So find out. Man. Maybe they can keep them in their lockers. I don't know, man. Yeah. That's tough. It is. A, it's. I, I didn't know. know they could actually bring them into class. I mean, I always thought they had to leave them in the lock. I yeah, I would have so assumed too. that yeah, also. No, they could right? have them on them. And if they yeah. need to make a phone call, they check their phone and pass. Do it on the yeah on right. the breaks. Right. Apparently yeah. not. Yeah, I'm with you. I would have gotten nothing done. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Yeah. You can't blame the kids. Kind of. It's like they now, grew up I, with them. What that's the right. Some concerts now. Don't you have the they they give you the sleeve? You put it in the lock. Yeah. Is that by artist request? Yes. Mostly. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll start requesting this. Really? I think you should. Well, see what see what happens. 
<laughs> a lot of your stuff ending up on the on the internet. I did a show with uh, Greg Warren one time, and uh, Greg was uh, he wanted there to be no smoking at this venue, and it was in like this bar, and of course there was going to be smoking. <laughs> but Greg was like, "Man, I'm I'm kind of going through something." I he had some kind of uh, long thing. He's sure. like, "I'm gonna I just re really would appreciate no smoking." And the owner of the place was like, "Yeah, that's fine, that's fine." <laughs> we get there, and there are signs everywhere that says. Due to uh, a request from Greg Warren, <laughs> <laughs> they threw him under the bus so hard. Oh, <laughs> How'd that show go? Yeah. The show was fun, but oh, man, oh. he, yeah. He, what he, a way to endure yourself to the crowd. He saw those, he was like, damn it. It's going to be a lot funnier if I could smoke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, Speaking of entertainment, we have a couple of entertainment stories. Uh, you might see somebody famous in the uh, audience of Price is Right today if you watch the show. Really? Randy Travis, apparently. <laughs> Randy Drew Travis? Yes. What? Oh. Drew Carey found out Travis watches the show every day and invited him to visit. So he's sitting in the front row wearing a price tag name tag, but he's not a contestant. He's just yeah, there visiting. I don't know. Poor Randy Travis. For those yeah. of you who think, man... Wouldn't it be cool to switch places with Randy Travis? <laughs> no, 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 it wouldn't. That's his one joy in life: watching the prices. Right. <clears throat> yeah. Patty Boyd is selling off the love letters she received from George Harrison and Eric Clapton. Oh, cool! Thanks, Tom, Patty. Good job. Babe. This might be something you're interested no, in. No, <laughs> what a sweet, what a sweet, <laughs> loving woman. Yeah, no, she... God, I don't need this. Uh, Somebody will buy this. I was gonna wait until Eric died, but ah, what the hell? <laughs> They're also gonna sell the original painting that was used for the cover of Derek and the Dominoes' oh, Layla album. Oh, oh man. Online bidding will run March 8th through the 22nd at Christie's. Is that gonna be in the millions? It's got to be, right? Painting, probably, right? I don't know. So. What does it look like? I don't even know what it looks it's like. like. What is lay, it? A painting? The woman house? laying on the side? Oh. Of like a it's a uh, pasture? It's a cow? Yeah. <laughs> in mid-leap. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Uh -oh. Just, just going over a uh, uh, fingernail moon. Uh, oh. oh. And that's then, not correct. Uh, but thank you. Um, Anita yeah. Pallenberg is selling a used condom from Keith Richards. <laughs> Man. Oh, and Don Rock Henley. And roll, right? Yeah. Don Henley returns to court today, and uh, that was ridiculous. more cross examination in that New York trial over ownership of the handwritten lyrics so to songs why, why by the they, Eagles. I don't understand how they're allowed to ask Don about all this stuff. In his yeah, I don't life. either. It's so, it just Especially, doesn't seem obviously they, if those are his lyrics, he wrote Absolutely. them, give them back to him. He insists he did not give. He says he did give them to biographer Ed Sanders, but he did not give them to him permanently. <laughs> He says. The guy was writing a book. He gave him to, for, to reference them. Right. But, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Three collectible experts are on trial. Yeah, just I don't even talk about what happened yesterday. Taking a cross. Uh, yeah, it was Raked bad. across the coals. Oh, no kidding? Something happened in 1980. Real? I think they're trying to establish where his mind is and how much he can remember from back 1979. Uh, I don't know. Oh, is that their excuse? I think that's their just reasoning. Trying to make look bad. But it's, it did look bad. Uh, okay. Uh, now. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, coming up, as I mentioned a couple times, tomorrow on the show, very excited about talking with Peter Frampton. And you can vote for Peter for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame if you go to the uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame website. Uh, and uh, Peter's always a terrific guest. It's always interesting. He's back out. He's dealing with a, a pretty serious medical issue, but he's back out playing, playing great. And uh, he always has. And uh, I hope you can join us tomorrow to listen to that. Also coming up later this week, Bill Burr. Uh, Bill's out on tour. He's got the he's, he's got a movie out. He's got a new stand-up set uh, posted on uh, Netflix, et cetera, et cetera. We'll look forward to talking to him. Right now, I want to remind you that maybe you're going a little bit uh, stir crazy from stirring the same food every night. Tired of your own cooking? Sure, you are. Uh, tired of somebody else's cooking? Tired of the same restaurants? This is where Hello Fresh comes in. They're going to uh, knock it out of the park for you by uh, helping you out. They do the grocery shopping. They do the measuring. You just put it together sometime in just a few minutes, sometimes in just a few minutes, and you uh, uh, pop it in the oven, depending on what it is. And they've got every kind of variety of food you could think of, from vegetarian way over here to good old-fashioned comfort food over there. And uh, one of my favorites from HelloFresh recently, those delicious meatballs. What are you working on over there, Christy? Crispy cheddar frico cheeseburgers with caramelized onion jam and roasted broccoli. That's right. They've taken cheeseburgers to the next level.
level with something called Frico, with this apparently is like a cheese crisp inside the meat. 30 minutes, it's easy to make, and you'll do it in uh, five, six easy steps. You have these beautiful burgers with some great roasted broccoli, and it all happens thanks to HelloFresh. Here's how you do it. You go to HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. The BT Show Free part will allow you to get a free breakfast for life as long as you keep your subscription active. HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. They do the shopping. They do the measuring. You're going to save money. This is significantly cheaper than having food delivered, not to mention better and fresh and hot. HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. Knock yourself on the butt. That's right. Shake up your life a little bit. Have some great food. A lot less food waste than a fun just putting it together to cook it. Once again, HelloFresh.com slash BT Show Free. Up next, it's our history lesson. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Add to or continue the conversation. Check out the Bob. Uh, let me see this uh, pair of panties with uh, well, it looks like the a, cushion. Yeah, see, and it's is it a regular pair of panties? God. Oh, look oh, at there that. You go. Four yeah. of us could fit in these. <laughs> Should I try these on? Can we see your butt right now? I mean, <laughs> sure, Bob. Well, I want to see the before and after. Well, well, I can't. well she's in a skirt, though. You really uh, can't. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I don't know. I'm, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you have yeah. monitors? No, I don't have them on. Well, that's uh, really uh, rude. <laughs> wow, that's, that's your big ass. Wow, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Nipper attack. <laughs> like, I Nipper. Kill. 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 Get him, Do Nipper. you have them on? No, your ass looks very nice. You don't need to put them on. That's not what you, that's not what you said. No, I didn't. You see, you had a big ass. No. All right, we need a before of Christie's butt. Take as long as you like, Dean. <laughs> Come on, smile. Uh -huh. Now, do you just put them on? Are you going to put them on? Can you? I'll oh, remember. Uh, can, uh, Christy, the padding. Put them on right the now. padding goes in the back. Yeah, now. remember sure that. Right. Just like pants. Oh, oh, she's she's, she's slipping them right on. So, okay, wait a second. Now she's slipping them. She has trick. a skirt on, so she can just put them right on. I didn't know we were. Okay. Okay. Dean, get some of that while you're at. Come on, Dean. You're not wearing. Come on, Dean. Are you wearing hose? Come on, what are you queer, Dean? You're not, wearing, you you're not wearing hose, are you? <laughs> Women don't wear hose. No, are you wearing, but you're, are you wearing traditional panties right now? Yeah, boring. Okay. It's Friday, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just boring, ugly. Mm -hmm. No, no, I mean, you, but you do have panties on, because those, yes. have, those okay. haven't been laundered. You might get some. So do you. Uh, <laughs> come on, Dean. Make love to the camera, Christy. Go for it. Okay, now she's, now she's Dean, slipping. you can't. Could you, could you, <laughs> get, let's allow a little bit of dignity. <laughs> Christy, <laughs> Christy Lee is now slipping on the, um, the booty pop okay, where's the cameras panty right. augment. Or, uh, what does it say in the on the? Okay. Okay. Now she's. Let's see. Now I've said you got, you got, got those on. on, so. So now, now she's got the now, padded. Well, I'm curious on. if you sit down, do you feel the big cushion? Is it like being on a? Uh, no, that's me. On lawn furniture. Oh, yeah. that. Well, uh, that. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, baby's got back. Oh wow. You got. Looks like you've Let's got. Take some, a look at that. Huh? Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, it looks like you've got a huge ass tumor. Uh, <laughs> you've got ass you have tumor. You have shelf ass. Nice. So step uh, out from behind the monitors. Okay. Let's see what. Uh, let's see. What oh yeah. Oh Oh yeah, my she, God. Yeah, look she's at that. got. Yeah, she's got. Baby's got back now. Well, oh, that really does us pop yeah, them out there. Really, it, it really accentuates oh, yeah. oh, the, the yeah. backside of your backside. Oh yeah. Oh that. Look at that. Uh huh. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you.
nobody can abruptly <laughs> switch to a completely different thought, like the Magic Man. He's one of the best. If he get his feet set, hey, look out. He, and, and then, also, he's having a good game. He had a good first game. Now. <laughs> Contradictory thoughts in the same sentence? <laughs> like magic. Kevin stumbled because his leg gave out on him, in a sense. And uh, so it's not 100% that leg, but uh, he's doing, you know, he's playing really well. He, he's not like he's favoring it at all. Magic. <laughs> Dan Marley is continually, continually to help off of Byron Scott. To get Magic Johnson sports casting my way, call 1 800. Oh, get it out of here. <laughs> Morning laughter <laughs> just might be the best medicine. I can hear you. Oh, no. You're talking out your ass again. Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7. I was flying from South Bend to here. I was yeah. on a plane this big. It was like a pack of gum with eight people in it. What happened was we took off from the South Bend Airport Hair Care and Tire Center there. I don't know if you've ever been there. We got halfway here. We had to go back. It's like a 12-minute flight. Mm -hmm. uh, we had to go back. We had engine trouble. We lost some oil pressure in one of the engines, and they told us about it over the speaker system of the plane, mm -hmm. right, which was stupid because they could have just went... Hey, we lost some oil. They got just little turn around and yelled at you. The guy sitting next to me is losing his mind. He, he, he goes, uh, he goes, hey, man, hey, man, if one of these engines fails, how far will the other one take us? And I was like, all the way to the scene of the crash. <laughs> Meeting Greg Warren, former uh, state champion wrestler. You're the son of a wrestling coach. Now, well, I assume your dad was also your wrestling coach. Is yes. that correct? Yes, he was. Yeah, you know, people are always asking me. They're like, you know, hey, that must have been tough. Your dad was a wrestling coach. He must have pushed you really hard. Mm -hmm. He did. I mean, but you think about it. He pushed me in athletics. That's sort of a normal thing to push your kid in, right? I mean, you know, there's people out there who spend their whole lives trying to find Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you like to have that guy pushing you? you know? Do you even want to find Bigfoot, son? Because you don't act like it. <laughs> you don't have a tracking map. You don't have night goggles. You don't know how to make a plaster mold out of a footprint. <laughs> what, do you think he's going to show up, son? You, oh, wait, there's somebody at the door. It's Bigfoot, Greg. You found Bigfoot? <laughs> That's not the way it works, pal. You better shape up, because right now, I don't think you could find the neighbor's dog. Hi, this hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Everybody all right? Everybody oh, okay? Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Real right. well. Christy, Josh, Great. Hayes. Good. Yeah, thank you for asking. How about day. you? I'm all right. I, I've never uh, felt uh, better than I do right now at this point. I can't think of anything. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Cosby, here he is with his joke of the day. I am so excited. Tonight, it's the World Championship of Origami on TV. <laughs> it's on pay-per-view. <laughs> Paper. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one, Ace. Oh, I like that. One. There's something there too about uh, on paper. This looks like it's going to be competitive, or you know how they set up games. Yeah. Uh, it's very, it's very, very, very. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, Ace. Yours was hilarious. Okay. You're right. Uh, time now to review uh, today in history. Time now to review uh, today in history. Um, we'll February begin... 27, 22724. A rare uh, quiz on today in history. Oh, oh okay. Um, yeah, let's see. Uh, I, Chick will probably get this one right away. B. Oh, man, do I not what like is that? song. Uh, I Will Survive. Gloria Why? Gaynor. Yeah. Gloria Gaynor. Gloria Gaynor. T.U. And uh, 1980, that was the first and only year... The Grammys had a category for best disco recording. No hmm. kidding. Did yeah. that win? Yeah. Remember this tune? Yeah, I think it's a good one. Yeah. She's a great singer. There's Christy loves this scene. Oh, Cake has a good cover of this. Do that? Yeah, really? Yeah. 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 I like that one. You know what I did here? Uh, Saltburn, I guess. There's a scene where oh. murder, murder on the dance floor. Yeah, dude, that sure a, that's is. That's a damn fine song. I'd never heard that before until a damn uh, fine movie. Like a I couple of months. Ago. Well, I bet you didn't mind that scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's dancing around with his, 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 his yeah, thing. Oh, his thing naked, out. Naked, no naked. reason to be shy. Is it the guy from uh, Barry. the Banshees? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh, it's him. Barry okay. Keegan. Uh, well, uh, that's um. Uh, I didn't realize that they had only had that category for a year. I know that the Disco Lifestyle Awards only year once. <laughs> mm. It was 1980 as well, wasn't it? What happened? Did I we... think it peaked in 80. The wasn't, Disco Lifestyle Didn't Awards. Sammy come out? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, we'll, we'll feature that tomorrow. Okay. Huh? Right now, happy birthday. Uh, 19, trying to be a team, team player. 1902, John Steinbeck. 
Oh, what Grapes those? of Wrath guy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a, he's the patron saint of books you're forced to read in high school. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Cannery Row. Yeah. Read that one. Okay. Um, That's um, a pretty good movie, too. 1932, Elizabeth Taylor, Serial Bride. And just a total knockout. She had violet eyes, right? Back mm -hmm. in yeah. uh, Butterfield ah, Oh, or my black gosh. Black Beauty? Hell. Just buxom and gorgeous. Yeah. Um, <laughs> ass for days. Spankworthy. Oh, oh, come on. 1934, um, <laughs> Ralph Nader. Oh, oh it's just hey, gorgeous. It's just yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, that means lately. He's uh, 90 today. He's still alive? Holy moly. Wait a minute. He's, not, he's old enough to run for president. <laughs> you very, very funny. He, um, he uh, wrote that Eeyaw. book. Sorry, he wrote the book uh, Unsafe at Any Speed. Yes. About the Corvair, right? Yeah, and, about, uh, but, and he was probably responsible for getting seatbelts in cars. But uh, mm. I've seen a picture of him, I would say, unhot at any age. <laughs> Ladies, we think? Yeah, he wasn't very attractive. Yeah. But uh, very bright I always guy. got Ralph Nader and Jerry Brown mixed up, and I don't know why. Hmm. Well, I have this sort of the same look to a degree. Yeah. Kind of, so, yeah, dark hair, uh, wormy guy. Happy birthday yeah. to the uh, lead singer of uh, Skinner these days, Johnny Van Zant. The only one left. <laughs> with my attrition. Your thoughts, Tom? <laughs> Family reunion, he just has lunch by himself. No, he's not his brother. His brother's a lot. Well, well, let's not let's get on get facts. His brother's the way special. Okay, how about this? Hey, one? welcome to the reunion. Can we get a, a picture of my team? <laughs> Happy birthday. Now I'll I'll run this man. by uh by Josh. Yes, please. This woman calls herself J Wow. <laughs> Jay, uh, wow. Oh, you should know this. Yeah, yeah know this. I think you should know this. Bad television of the early aughts. Jim Tan Laundry. Um, <laughs> oh, she's some, one of those ladies? Yeah, one of the, uh, yeah she's one of those. Beach. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Savage Beach. You're very close. Jersey Shore. <laughs> yep. Jersey Shore. Nailed it. Savage, <laughs> Beach. Savage Beach. No, I didn't, I'm, I didn't ever watch that. No, yeah, I oh, hated yeah. those people. Uh, yes, me too. I didn't even know them and disliked them profoundly. My kids watch that I'd now. watch Jersey Shore if there were more shark attacks. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> they think it's hysterical. 1827, the first Mardi Gras was celebrated. Celebrated in New Orleans. Was there a guy named Marty Gras? Yes. No, it means yeah, Martin. Uh, Marty, S. meaning. 1897. Boy, it was hard to flash back then. Wasn't 1827. It? Oh, yeah, Holy harder. Hell. Wow. Yeah. 200 wow. years ago? All those clothes they had on. How many years is that? <laughs> Marty is. is Shows your boobs. Tuesday, right? We'll wait. It's right. <laughs> Give me a minute. <laughs> Ooh. A lot of layers. <laughs> Pictures of it looks like Tuesday was a lot less fat. <laughs> Fat. He really laid it on. I liked it. Well, it's Fat Tuesday, right? Yeah. Yes. Of course, yeah. yeah, yeah there's nothing more than... disgusting than a fat Tuesday. Uh, no, fat, I'm just saying. Just look at the pictures. It's, a, it's the hard <laughs> truth. Um, let's see. Oh, here's the one. So full of did, crap. Did you, ever have to pay, did, you, did you ever have to play this one, Chick? Paul McCartney and Stevie Wonder record Ebony oh, and Ivory. Yes. I sure Absolutely. did. Absolutely. I sure as hell did. Those are, I took years off my life. <laughs> Wow. I preferred Paul and Michael. Yeah, that was a good the one. The girl is mine. The yeah. girl is mine. The doggone yeah. girl is mine. Yeah, of course she's yours because you want little boys. Oh! Yeah, yeah, shouldn't it have been called You Can Have Her, Paul? Yeah. <laughs> Not going to fight you? What am I going to do with it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll babysit see. while you guys go on a date. Oh. oh. Okay. Um, <laughs> God, what a monster. He sure was a monster. Uh, <laughs> oh, Happy gonna... Madison is founded by Adam Sandler on this date in 1996. Oh. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, the movie or the production company? The production company okay. made, made a bunch of great movies. Oscar winners like Little Nicky and Jack and Jill. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Tiger Woods in 92 He's, became the youngest PGA golfer in 35 years at the age of 16. Adam Sandler's doing an outer space movie where he... Yeah. So it's supposed to be really good. Um, I forget the name of it. Space Man. And that's pretty much all the good stuff. Space Man. Uh, that happened on this date in history. Uh, here's what we learned on the show today. We opened with uh, Ace Cosby joke of the day. Yeah. And Still closed with one. And Exploding Pandas was the joke of the yeah. Boy. Bamboom. Bamboom. And bamboom. 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 The punch. Uh, Tom usually showers at night. It takes about five to ten minutes for him to shower is what he said. I think, I'm guessing it takes you longer than that. Just depends. Yeah. And it's, you have a system for towels as well, don't you? The, the fresh towel is used initially, and then that towel goes on the floor, and then you get another fresh towel for the next that's correct. Oh. Amazing. You have a towel lying around all day. The bacteria is multiplying. That's how you get scurvy and oh, uh, yeah, sure. that's right. And syphilis. I'm sick all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Do you use the same towel all week long? 
Pretty much. What are you at a prison camp? <laughs> no. Do you have you any know, towels? I, you have a washing I have machine. Plenty right? of towels. I have. I have. Li I have been twisted by you, and now I go. I used to go once a week, and, and the lady would change my. Yeah. But now it's it's once uh, once every three days. Yeah, I mean, that's not, that's well, so, so day I one, you're drying alone. off, digging deep in your ass crack. I, the next day, you're wiping your face with it? Yeah, I no. just washed my ass crack. I never wash, I never dry my face <laughs> with a towel. How about your butt? <sighs> Did you wipe your butt with your face? Yeah, that's exactly, that's, it's tricky. Bring, yeah. in those, bring in those towels. <laughs> Josh, Josh, Josh and I have a scheme to make some big money. <laughs> Christie's I thought butt you, towels. Uh, I thought you had a match. You, um... Your your ass and his what is it? My ass and your face. Your face. My my, my face, face and your ass. And your ass. Sorry, it's an old one. What a mess. We'll okay. do yeah. better tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Well, we have to, uh, yeah. Uh, Peter Frampton will be our guest tomorrow. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Even though we're not too much to look at, you can also watch the show on our YouTube channel.